It is six minutes past the hour. Welcome in to the kickoff hour here. The Good Time Gang settling in. We're all live uh, in studio today, and we thank you for making uh, your schedule, you know, every day uh, be with us uh, as we start the day together. Rick and Bubba, as well as Adler for the main show start. That starts in about an hour from now, and so uh, we will get things off. That's why it's called the kickoff hour, and we've got a packed show for you today. The headlines are as crazy as ever. Some updates for you as well. So let's bring everybody in. Over to my left is Mr. Greg Burgess, and to my right, it is Michael Helms. What's up, boys? How are y'all? Everybody right, good? Boys. Good? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Okay, let me just uh, right out of the gate yes. say. Shaving a haircut. <laughs> Coach got it peeled. Peeled not. Peeled not. <sighs> Do the lady uh, Gamecocks, they take you more serious when you look sharp like this? Like you come in uh, going, I, you look like, hey, you better listen well, to me, ladies. Not really. <laughs> I mean, it's the same either way. I have an up. I have a question for you uh, to get an update, and I was thinking about this this morning coming in. Your dry erasable board that kept falling. It's, it's on the. It fell again. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I was it, wondering, like, have, uh, have you ever punt. fixed that? <laughs> you might want to just let that go. It, let's uh, just leave it. Let's just leave it leaning there. <laughs> we we actually had we talked about that yesterday because we, I've got two dry <laughs> small dry erase boards. Uh-huh. And so the last two weeks we've had to use those because the big one. And when the big one fell, it took a big chunk out of the one of the corners, mm-hmm. and I can't have that on my wall. Yeah. And so um, now for those now for those of you that do not know, you tried to hang it up with gorilla tape and duct tape oh, and, right. and all that. You were yeah. trying to tape it to the wall yes. uh, and and pin it up because it wasn't your standard wall. It was. Is it a concrete wall yeah, or it's a kind cinder of, block? Okay. Yeah, and painted, and that's yeah. the whatever the paint. And is it just not, wouldn't stick. Yeah. And um, and you didn't want to, I guess, screw into the wall. I didn't. I didn't want to go that far with okay. it. Probably should have just done that. Um, <laughs> it'd been easy yeah, and it'd yeah. still be up, right? And not have a busted up corner. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. But yeah, yeah we. I've got to get another one at some point, and uh, and I'll do it the right way. Okay. Yeah. So and that's kind of a Debbie Downer for us right now because mm-hmm. one of the things that we do is we game plan on the board. Yeah. And game planning on those two little bitty boards that are the size of this monitor. Yeah. It's not the same no, no. at all. It, and because it, it was probably bigger than that TV. <laughs> everybody so, get head back together around, get a little closer because we have yeah, a minus so, corner. Yeah. Meetings are not the same. No. And, no. and planning's not the same. Yeah. No, no. Look, I'm yeah. tired. <laughs> yeah. I can't see, so, coach. Well, yeah. come on in a little well, bit. And I know yeah. it's tiny. Yeah. So, um, all right. Well, I just. I was just coming. I was just thinking I about. It. I was like, you know, we haven't gotten a, a board update. It kept and falling. Last time we heard, I think it it fell for the last time. You're like, okay, that's it. And as far as the haircut, shave I don't even know. know. Shave, 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 and a haircut. I don't know that any of them saw me yesterday without a hat. Oh, because I didn't have any meetings with them. We just had practice, mm-hmm. and we were outside. I had a hat okay. on. Got it. There's a chance hat I may guy. have taken it off mm-hmm. at some point. Like when you like really like trying to drive tall, a point. Or, like, yeah, let me take yeah. care of man. I mean, yeah, you know, oh, I get, like I get animated. Eraser. I get animated at times. <laughs> uh, and so that's a possibility. Yeah. And one, one of them did. I did meet with one of them for a few minutes um, before the before practice, but she didn't say anything about it. Yeah. Shame and a dead gum. Haircut. I was thinking when I left here, so I had no intention of getting a haircut. So you're supposed to somebody okay. attack you and cut it. <laughs> no, no but, get in here. <laughs> but it, it hit me. That we're leaving on Thursday early. Oh. We fly out this time mm. at like nine ish in Atlanta. So mm. that's gonna be an early start. Oh, that's tough. So you were going down a lot down and the road and it just hit you. I was like, you know what? You're not gonna. It's gonna be a week or so. Mm. And right now is really the only time you have to do this. Right. So just go see if there's anybody in there. And if there's not, jump in. You know, Greg, they're quick. If nobody's in there, they get you in and out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they they got me in and out. Yeah. Good. So yeah. you're you're fired up, ready to go. So that's the first thing I go. noticed when yeah. I looked up. Well, it's short. Like uh-huh. the last few times I've gotten it. Even shorter than I yeah. normally do. Yeah. So well, but if when you go in and say three and one, if you go in say three and one, it's going down there. Three and one is it's short. I bet you they love three and ones. Yeah. Think about you it. If you're a hairstylist and somebody comes in and goes, I need three and one, they're like, yeah. Oh, cool. I can yeah, just I buzz this one. This this will be quick. This is it. <laughs> my line my line to them is three and one. Uh huh. You're not gonna mess it up. Have fun with it. Is that what you That's say? what I tell them every time. <laughs> I think you could do that yourself. Probably so. Yeah, right? yeah. Probably I don't so. know the back yeah. get kind of tricky. You know, I don't know the blending techniques. Yeah, mm-hmm. it get kind of tricky. I was asked about um, 
you know, there's all kinds of technology that's come out with shaving your bald head. You know, I mean, you got you got these these devices that are, are easy uh, to do, and I get I get emails a lot from people. Hey, man, this is, I've tried this. Yeah, I try because the bald community. I mean, we that always I keep we're, seeing where they do like this. Like yeah, yeah, your head. it's like a ball it's or some cool, weirdly. Yeah, yeah, it does look kind of yeah. neat. But there's just to me, there's nothing that that beats just I'm shaving my head. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 baby bottom soft right now. If you want to touch it, you want to yeah, touch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, um, and, and so, but I get that all the time. And somebody asked me the other day, how much money do you think you've saved on not having haircuts for over, you know, however many years? Oh, yeah. And I, went, I, I was like, well, it's been a minute, but razors are very expensive. They are. Uh, and, you know. Not as expensive as a haircut. No, right? probably not. I mean, but, but I mean, you you get you a couple. You're twenty something bucks. You and, know, and, and you gotta I got to tell a, you, your time's worth something. Yeah, and you're you're using your time to do it. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's a good point. Um, and you get hurt your rotator cuff. Right, but I mean, just uh, and Terry, I guess she was uh, even though she doesn't use use it, she was absolutely done with my um, my shower mirror that that. Uh, oh really? Yeah, it has a little has a little suction cup Peach deal, ball. and you just put it against yeah. the wall. And over the years, and I don't know how long it's been, but it it has fallen so many times. Yeah. It'll scare you in the middle of the night. Yes, it's like it will. somebody's come busting through the door, but it fell in the shower. Yeah. And I go in there, and then you got pieces everywhere. It's yeah. broke off here. So over the years, I, there was really only a little small portion of the the, the mirror that was still in, intact. Uh, everything else had chipped off, and yeah. uh, then she said, "Okay, that's it." And uh, something came in the mail the other day. I'm like, "Do you order? What else did you order? Because you never know, you know." Yeah. Uh, and uh, I always see the uh, my Simply Safe doorbell camera go off, and I'm like, "Hey, what did you order? Because it is somebody dropping something off." She said, "I ordered you a new mirror. You ordered me a new mirror, yeah, for the shower. It did what you using? I, how do you even see through you? I, I don't know how you day? function." And uh, she got me one. It's as big as a small TV. Oh, really? uh, it is huge. It oh, is wow. absolutely huge. Can't and believe it. Uh, you know, they only hey, you know, they claim it won't fog up. That that's yeah. only for a period of time. And then they start to fog up. But right now, buddy, you could stand in there and <laughs> I need to upgrade. <laughs> it's like my... you're standing in the bathroom looking in the mirror. Yeah. It's that big. So I had the one that well, it's one sure enough good one to what you general. have, but y'all make fun of this because and it, it fell like you, you yeah, know. Gosh, it did, scare you and, to death. And mine was not necessarily uh, breaking, mm-hmm. but it just wouldn't stay up. Yeah. And I was done trying to kind of like the whiteboard. So I just hold it in the mirror. Really? I hold it in yeah. the shower and I'm like, this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I have a little trouble. I need to get one, one on the wall. Yeah. But. <laughs> well, you know what I could do? Speedy, you, what you could do is like every now and then, like, because the way it, the way it, the little suction cup sticks is that it's like a dial. Yeah. So you just turn it to the right and it's like, <laughs> Oh, it, yeah. it hangs in there. Yeah. Hey, down. buddy, what you could do is unlock it and clean everything and then and clean it, it again. Yeah. And then how do no, you put the bigger not. one up? Did it's you? the same thing. It's the same it thing. It, wow. It's got a suction cup. That's, it's pretty big. So this big. one's going to fall now. It's pretty big. It's like the bottom of a Coke can big. Okay. okay? And you just, and what you do is you kind of want to wet the, yeah. the, the, you know, the, bo- the bottom of it a little bit and then get it in there. And then it'll click. If it doesn't click, it's like sucking in there. It'll click okay. in and, buddy, it's there. <laughs> Right. It is there, but every now and then it'll fall, and over the time, over time, it's kind of like when you your yeah, iPhone or whatever out. it falls, yeah. you're like, oh god, please don't crack. And uh, there's a couple of times I went in there, and, and the old one was intact, nothing was was uh, yeah. wrong with it. But then over time, they can only fall so yeah, much, like breaking you know, things. The, like it had a little holder for your your razor, yeah. well, it oh, broke, and sure. then you have then you it, have the razor broke because yeah, it fell right, and then a, a corner of it broke to the point where if you touch it, it's going to cut you. Uh, yeah. And she, I think, <laughs> said, "Okay, that's it. That's it." And that'll but now it. I got, I got a nice one. I got a sure enough good one. It's good. Didn't want to even ask her how much that one costs. I wouldn't. Uh, I just moved on. <laughs> but um, there you go. So I, that's just the visual. I, I know you, a lot of you can't get out of your mind that yeah. I shave in the but shower. Everybody's picturing you shaving in the shower now. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I know how to <laughs> defog everything. I use, you know. <laughs> <shampoo>. <laughs>
Something's up. You can't quite pinpoint it, but you can't deny it either. All you have to do is trust your gut. Now listen to it and prepare with My Patriot Supply at preparewithbubba.com. Since 2008, My Patriot Supply has helped millions of American families prepare for the uncertain future. Many of them choose three-month emergency food kits sealed inside ultra-durable four-layer packaging. These ready-hour meals last up to 25 years in storage. Stock up on all the food kits your family needs at preparewithbubba.com. Each kit, $200 off, and they'll ship fast and free. Find the link at rickandbubba.com. The people of Israel need help, and we can all make a difference through Ma'oz Israel, a respected Jewish organization that believes in Christ like we do. This top-rated charity has over 50 years in operation. Lives are being destroyed by the horrors that terrorism has brought and now world pressures that are impacting people. The atrocities of war and its pain will last for years. Emergency war relief is needed to help folks regain hope, have food, medical supplies, even needs for children in school. Make a difference now by going to Israel Needs Me, Com. Helix Sleep does it again with an innovative kids' mattress made to flip. Why? Well, the firmer side is great for younger kids when they need more spinal support to aid proper development of their growing bodies. You simply flip it over when they're a little older, around 8 to 12 years old, when they want the softer side for sleep. Handcrafted and assembled right here in the USA, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders, including the kids' mattress. Go to helixsleep.com slash bubba. helixsleep.com slash bubba. Let me guess. Your medicine cabinet is crammed with stuff that doesn't work. You still can't sleep. Sleep, you still hurt, and you're still stressed out. CB Distillery's targeted formulations are made from the highest quality, clean ingredients, and with over 2 million customers and a solid 100% money back guarantee, CB Distillery is the source to trust. Get 20% off today at CBDistillery.com with the code Bubba. That's CBDistillery.com and use the code Bubba, or you can find a link at RickandBubba.com under the spot. There's a popular saying out there health is wealth, and folks, I couldn't agree more. If you're dealing with everyday aches and pains, I want to tell you about Relief Factor, a daily drug-free supplement developed by doctors. It's not just a pill that masks pain. Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients that work together to help reduce or eliminate pain. Try their three-week quick start kit for only $19.95. Go to relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. The best thing to bring with me wherever I go, my Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Raycon's offer amazing audio quality at half the price of other premium audio brands with noise isolation, three customizable sound profiles, and a 32-hour battery life. They're perfect for listening to anything, anytime. That explains the tens of thousands of five-star reviews. Get 20% off plus free shipping at buyraycon.com slash bubba. That's buyraycon.com slash bubba or find the link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. Oh, look, honey, the ants are back. Wow. We leave one itsy-bitsy speck of food out and they appear out of nowhere. Yeah, it's pretty hard to believe we used to try to get rid of these guys. Now they're just part of the family. To be honest, I liked our family the way it was before they came. I guess it's time to call Cooks. You don't have to live with pests. Get proven protection from Cooks Pest Control. Call or go online for a free quote. Cooks Pest Control. Springtime is all about fresh air, freshly clean homes. It's also the perfect time to give a fresh look at Simply Safe Home Security, the only home security system we use and recommend. The system blankets your whole home in protection. It has sensors to detect break ins, fires, floods, and more. Get 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you go to simplysafebubba.com. That's simplysafebubba.com for 20% off. Also, find the link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. There's no safe like Simply Safe. A wave of concern is washing over America. Recent studies reveal that an astonishing 56% of our fellow citizens report feelings of anxiety or dread about the upcoming presidential election. Hey, this is Rick. This is why we're standing with AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens. Now listen, AMAC is more than a senior discount organization. During these challenging times, they fight for common sense and hope our nation returns to traditional American values. Now as an AMAC member, uh, we're not only going to enjoy money saving benefits, but also the AMAC magazine, a free social security and Medicare advice, a trusted voice in Washington, and a community of like-minded patriots who love this country. Take advantage of this election year special. Four years for $30 and be part of the solution over the next four years by becoming an AMAC member. You're strengthening a movement dedicated to preserving the principles we hold dear. Join now. AMAC.US slash Bubba. That's AMAC.US slash Bubba. There's also a link at rickandbubba.com. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass 
the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, we're rolling back 21 minutes past the hour. We thank you so much for tuning in to the Rick and Bubba Show. I have a question that I want to ask, but I don't know if we're mature enough to do it. Uh, we're not. Uh, it's it's huh? that's something. Yeah. And buddy. it's always fascinated me. And, and um, I'm not like this is legitimate. It, it, it is, and, but I don't know if we can get through it. Uh, but Greg, I'll say this: legitimate questions. I don't know that this is the panel for it. Good Th- point. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Because I, it is legitimate. Yeah. It is I super got, so legitimate. I think you, there is a article that explains. <laughs> well, um, who's leading us off here? Uh, well, here's the headline, <laughs> and it's a story that's in our show prep today, and it just is jumping out at me. It's the latest thing I, I've I've printed for Rick and Bubba. But sometimes we we discuss some of the stories that will make it to the main show, and I don't know that they'll even look at this and go, "Hey, let's discuss it." They'll probably have better wisdom than us. Uh, but well, it's very, um, I mean, it's interesting. There's a conjoined twins story. And we remember they had the series on TV. We, we've talked about them before on, mm-hmm. on the show years ago when they, they had the reality Just the Hansels. Tele- Is that yeah. who you are talking about? Yeah. The reality yes. television yes. show. Um, but uh, apparently Abby Hensel's husband has been hit, and she's one of the conjoined twins, has been hit with a paternity suit by his ex-wife who – uh, he split with two years before marrying the famous conjoined twins that, that Greg just mentioned. Abby now is 34 from Minnesota, and she tied the knot with Josh Bowling, uh, 33, a nurse and Army veteran in 2021, according to the public records. Uh, Abby is a conjoined twin with sister Brittany, uh, and they, the two appeared on the TLC show that, that yeah. Greg's talking about. Well, we just really, to be honest with you, that's about where this story ends, and it was really more about conjoined twins. Uh, and but, and they here they are on the wedding day, that, and they both appear to be smiling. Well, here's so my point. did they not both get married? Did he marry? That's what I'm saying. Did he marry two people? That's illegal, right? Well, I think you'd probably make it. Right. Court would make I'm an just exception saying, for this though, if that's what it, they wanted to do. Are they considered separate? Or are they considered? I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just asking. Well, it's like it's well, not like considered Brittany. conjoined. It's not like yeah, Brittany. no. But what yeah. kind of rules follow? And let's don't even talk. I, I mean, right. but let's just Grand. say, let's just right. say, right. Conversation. Right. it's not like Britney can leave the room. That's more. Li- I guess what I'm saying. Let's say that well, you I, put hey, a curtain wanna, up, hey, or, or let's say, look, me and my wife need to have a serious talk. Well, how are you going to do that? Right. Put your I headphones mean, on. I mean, or something. I don't. I mean, what why, do you that's do? some challenges. And do they both, um, like, do they I, both? Well, um, well, just, I got, let, 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 just hang on. Do they both um, experience? Um, the emotions and 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 feelings and everything that it, the other one has, like in other words, if Abby loves her husband, does Brittany love him too? I don't think it works that way. Okay. Not from a and not what, from an emotional. I can't remember. What that. about physical? Well, that's a that's like a if, question. I got. What, what they share. Yeah, like if 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 Abby Some and her husband are, are like blah, 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 locking up, kissing. Does what does Brittany do? So These are legit questions I have. I know. I uh, wish you'd have left the sound effect out of it. Well, but, I mean, you can you even know. take it further than that. We're not well, going well, to. Then that, well, I just honestly, say this: marriage, a, marriage is a beautiful thing. It is, and, and it should be celebrated. And I just, I don't know. I have so many questions. I, I feel like, and I don't know anything about this. Okay, mm-hmm. but I feel like if you make the decision to marry one of these girls, you marry both. That, that yeah, thing. I'm just saying you do. And you do from from start to finish, and I mean, I I mean, I just right. I, I feel like that's the way it is. You got to yeah. be committed to, hey, I'm marrying both of these right. girls. Well, because I'll say this, it yeah, shows because if she's a jerk and y'all can't get along, that's gonna be tough. You know, that's it. What if that? What if that? The they don't like each other. Can I ask? Can I? Can y'all turn the mics off and I ask a question? Hmm. A medical, trying, a medical well, I, I'm question. I'm trying to research it, but. <laughs> Um, uh, sure. Hold on just a second. Let me do this here. Uh, let me see here. Me it's me- I mean, listen, I've been watching the resident a lot on Netflix, oh, hey. so I'm into the medical world right now. Okay. Wish I was Conrad Hawkins. Okay. Here, let me give, um, let me give everybody this one here while, while you ask us a question. One thing led to another and before I noted, it, there was knives and guns and everything just went haywire. They cut my beard. And forced me to eat it. Basically, <laughs> I did, it right, use that right, terminology right, just right, in case the mic right. was left. Okay, on. well, my, I tur- okay. turn them off. All Let right. me just tell Greg the mic is back on now. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, see, I'm looking at a picture. They picture. They 
Yeah, like on their wedding day, well, they're both a, standing there in a beautiful wedding dress, but they're, it looks as I'm though they're both getting married they, because they're both just smiling and laughing, yes. and it looks like a, such a, a nice event, but you just wonder what in the have, world. They each have to work together on the arm. Like I say, they have one arm <laughs> each, and it works a left and a okay, right. Okay, now you're getting to where I was asking. Uh, so they both, uh, right. Well, there's there, there's that question, and it needs to be asked. Um so you're saying, Greg, uh, show me again. It's like, you know, there's not like, we're not like this, and we both have two arms. I got they you, have, yeah. They're connected, Correct. and they have like one's left left arm and one's right. The right arm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Shows them like driving. So they work together. Wow. I, you I'm, can look both ways easy. Yeah, I okay. can't ask that. What I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just trying to... Trying to, I'm, there's, there's, I'm, no like blind, say, there's no blind. There's no There's no blind spots. I can tell you that. I'm just saying, driving. there's somebody there constantly, right? And like I say, you can't even have a conversation. Mm-hmm. No, like you can. say, what if? What if she goes? I know you love him, but I don't can like I, him at all. I, right? But I gotta yeah. How do you? Him. How do you love him? I can't stand him. Yeah. I'm like, we well, leave the room. Why well, can't? Do they? Well, do no, they share two legs? Is there three legs? I think Is there's there? Just What's wrong two, with you? It's a question. I mean, it's a legitimate question. I know where this is going. Well, yeah, but I'm just stop shaving hair. I mean, listen. Uh, and this is where we just, and I don't know, somebody asked if, do you think the conjoined twins have two mirrors in the shower? No, they probably have one. Probably not. That's back to the last segment. But uh, anyway, it just it was just a, more of a conjoined twins uh, question and answer segment. Do they here. have? I'm sorry about that. And I, I don't want y'all to think we're being insensitive. These are questions we no, have. Right. I don't know how to ask them. I mean. It's medical. I mean, the fact they're getting <laughs> uh, married, I mean, I mean, they're already married. It's I'm science. Sorry. This, is, this is just science, guys. Right. There's so many questions. Oh, and it all stems from the picture that's on the, like when you click on the, the article, it's, it shows them getting married. And they're both standing there. All right, let me ask you this. Well, they, Here, of course let, they're standing let, there. Let me ask they, this, they're together. Let me ask this question. Good and night. it may not be physically possible. How to ask okay? That. Yeah. But let's say, what's Abby and who? What's uh, the name? Uh, Brittany. 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 Right, let's say Abby and Brittany want to have a child. Oh. Okay. okay. Greg, I'm follow me. That. I'm reading right. that. <laughs> Listen to my question. If they want to have a child, right? Do both of them have a child, or can one of them just have a I'm child? I'm not sure. Mm. I'm not sure. Do y'all think I asked that about as, yeah, as I think, clean I think so, as I could? And I'm going to say they both oh, whoa, have whoa, one whoa, whoa, whoa. child. Listen, I got the answer. Oh, is there two of everything? They have. Uh, they each have a heart and lungs. Okay. But all other organs, including the reproductive system, is shared. Okay. All right. All right. So they would that. have to cons- both consent, I guess. No, I'm, I'm being, being serious. No, I mean, oh, here's a so. Uh, well, I guess what I'm saying is, shouldn't they what say what Abby and shouldn't there? they say Abby and Brittany got married? You would think so. That's the way I would word it. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Instead of saying just Abby yeah. got married, what if Brittany wants to get married? Now we got us a. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? We if, got, what we got a lot. We no, got no, a lot no. of people in the room. What if? What if no. somebody else wants to marry the other one? You remember then the Guinness Book of World Records when I was a kid? They always showed these conjoined Siamese twins. Yeah. yeah. And they fathered like a bunch of kids. Yeah. Just saying. So many questions. Um, and uh, thank you all for the emails and, and uh, <laughs> a lot of the facts here that we were needing. Uh, but, uh, Greg, that was a good find there. Yeah. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be right really back. studying it over there. Isn't yeah, it? I'm going to go ahead and cut these off and let's get to break. Hey folks, Rick here. Something's up, something big. You can't quite pinpoint it, but you can't deny it either. All you have to do is trust your gut, listen to it, and prepare with My Patriot Supply at preparewithbubba.com. Since 2008, My Patriot Supply has helped millions of American families prepare for the uncertain future. Many of them choose three month emergency food kits with 22 food and drink varieties. There'll be no food boredom with over 2,000 calories per day. There'll be no starvation. And sealed inside ultra durable four layer packaging, these ready hour meals last up to 25 years in storage 25 years stock up on all the food kits your family needs at our special website preparewithbubba.com and you'll get each kit for 200 off protect yourself protect your people get your kits at preparewithbubba.com they'll ship fast and free 
Go to preparewithbubba.com. Each kit is $200 off for you. You can also find that link by going to rickandbubba.com, rickandbubba.com, look under the sponsors. But you saw the Fox News story on house stealing, right? When's the last time you checked your home's title? Is it still in your name? Fox reported on a growing, devastating crime called house stealing. You better protect your home's title from scammers and identity thieves who could take over your home's title and wipe you out financially. The titles to all of our homes are easily found online. A criminal or a renter, even a family member, simply forges your signature on a home sale form and refiles as the new owner, bam, your home is not in your name. Don't think your homeowner's insurance or common identity theft programs protect you. You need Home Title Lock, and they're our choice. Home Title Lock is the premier detection technology that protects your home's title. The instant they detect activity or something suspicious, they mobilize to help shut it down. Has some criminal taken over your title? Find out for free with this offer. You'll get a free comprehensive scan of your home's title and 30 days of legendary home title lock protection. Go to hometitlelock.com, use the promo code BUB, or visit rickandbubba.com. Resolving to eat healthier this year? That was easy. Actually doing it? Not so easy. That's where Field of Greens comes in. Better nutrition is a key to health and longevity, and a healthy diet could even help you avoid health risks that run in your family. Field of Greens is your healthy superfruit and vegetable habit. It's the only fruit and vegetable product that literally promises better Better health at your next checkup. Your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Do your vitamins or green drinks promise better health? No. I love this stuff and definitely feel healthier taking it. Each superfruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you're resolved to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. And we got you a 15% off first order with free rush shipping. Visit at fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba for 15% off. Or go to rickandbubba.com. Find the link under sponsors. Oh, look, honey. The ants are back. Wow. We leave one itsy-bitsy speck of food out and they appear out of nowhere. Yeah. It's pretty hard to believe we used to try to get rid of these guys. Now they're just part of the family. (laughs) To be honest, I liked our family the way it was before they came. I guess it's time to call Cooks. You don't have to live with pests. Get proven protection from Cook's Pest Control. Call or go online for a free quote. Cook's Pest Control. Our friends at TheraBreath have some good news if you have bad breath. Try TheraBreath Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. TheraBreath is dentist formulated by Dr. Katz himself. TheraBreath doesn't mask bad breath like those burning alcohol mouthwashes that can actually irritate sensitive mouths. It's alcohol-free and free of gluten with no added dyes or colors. Find TheraBreath in all your favorite retail and drug stores. Look for the bright orange cap or online at TheraBreath.com. You can find a direct link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. TheraBreath confidence in every capful. Folks, seeing what's happening over in Israel is upsetting, and now thanks to our relationship with Ma'oz Israel, this is a Jewish organization that believes in Christ just like we do. Together, we can make a difference. It's one of the top-rated charities you're going to find out there with over 50 years in operation. The people of Israel need help, and together we can do just that. Go now to IsraelNeedsMe.com. Lives are being destroyed in Israel by the horrors that terrorism has brought, and now world pressures that are impacting so many people. People have been hunted down on the streets, kidnapped, slaughtered in their homes. Soldiers, women, elderly children, entire families. Innocent lives are shattered with communities in despair. Emergency war relief is needed, and we're asking you to check out IsraelNeedsMe.com. Join us making a positive impact. The atrocities of war and the pain it's creating will last for years. But in our own small way, we can help the folks regain hope, rebuild their lives, have food, medical supplies, things you need to survive. Go to IsraelNeedsMe.com. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick 25 minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for being with us here on the kickoff hour. Rick, Bubba, Adler are scheduled to all join us here right after top of the hour today. This portion of the show is brought to you by Cook's Pest Control. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Here comes that it, gun cookie. Hey, look, when Cook, hey, when Cook's Pest Control, when their truck is out in, in front of the house. Last almost, week, they came to my house. I almost want to stand there because I know the neighbors are looking. And I'm like, yep, that's right. 
You look at him and go, looky, looky, looky. Look, look, looky, looky, looky. We got Cookie. Um, anyway, uh, we love Cook's Pest Control. Jay Isom and the crew there, they always do such a great job uh, as they uh, service all the Rick and Bubba Show members, and they celebrate 30 years together uh, it, it, with us. And uh, it's been a minute, hasn't it? Uh, and they've sponsored... Uh, a lot of things, and Cook's Pest Control and Centricon is the unbeatable combination for termite protection. Look, Cook's Pest Control is the best. We feel they are. They do such a great job. Don't mess around. If you have ants, spiders, fleas, ticks, who loves those? Rodents, termites, nesting wasps, roaches, other bugs and critters, just call them uh, or go online right now. Cook'spest.com. Go there today for a free thorough inspection evaluation for your home or, sm- or business. There's no obligation either. They even offer services for contractors and new home construction. If you're in that market, uh, be thinking about Cook's Pest Control. Uh, we uh, love Cook's Pest Control, and we know you will too. Again, it's cookspest.com, or you can go to rickandbubba.com, look under the sponsors button. All right, so as we roll back, just a, a, you know, we've updated you on uh, Helmsy's dry erasable board that won't stay on the wall. Uh, we have another update, and we want to ask Greg: How is Lisa's voice? Is she still, still whispering? Is she still? She's still <laughs> the the whisperer. Huh? Yep. Yeah, I'm starting to get used to it. Still quiet. Still quiet, house, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. Hey, hey. And I, but I keep going. I can't hear you. I don't know what you're right. saying. Right. Oh, I'd have done that if I'd known that's what you wanted. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's strange, man. Uh, it is strange, and and you feel like it had to do with some type of upper respiratory thing. Yeah, that's just I a think, side effect I think of she, that. She coughs so much. I think it's it damn, just yeah, and, and you know messed her vocal cords up. That's just my guess. Yeah, and and the, bud, the of buddy of mine that's the other one of the other parents for UAH, he lost his voice, but his was more. I mean, he was a whisper, but it was almost like it was a little bit like that. And and he he blamed Penzo on pollen and just allergies. It just took his voice. But yeah, she is still currently still whispering. Wow. Now, unless you may wake up this morning and be hollering and singing. Right. (laughs) Probably not. (laughs) No, probably not. Um, Helmsy, I did watch a little bit of the NCAA women's um, basketball uh, last night as there was a rematch of the national championship game from last year where LSU and Iowa faced off. Uh, Caitlin Clark scored 41. She did. Uh, she just, uh, I, when I tuned in and, and I didn't get home till right at dark. And when I turned it on, I think it was, uh, starting the fourth, I, I guess, uh, about six, seven minutes left. I, I can't remember, but, um, I pretty much had control. LSU was trying to make some runs, but they just couldn't quite pull it off. Uh, and so they, uh, they won to go to the final four. I think they play, uh, Iowa plays UConn now, uh, I believe. And I didn't. Stick around to see who the late game, who won that one, if it was USC. Or UConn won. UConn. Paige Beckers had 28 points. Of course, points. because they play yeah. UConn. Yeah, they won. Uh, yeah. it, she's also a superstar. Many think she's the best player in the league, not oh, wow. Caitlin Clark. And so she had a big night. And it was. It's, I watched a little bit of it, too. It's, it, was a, it was a good game. Well, I was also kind of towards you know the end of the game. I was just doing what I normally do, and that sometimes I'll – Check some of the social media. Either uh, Adler and I will DM uh, like some video that we might use for today, the next day's show or whatever. And I started seeing something trending about LSU and the national anthem, and everybody was irate that they weren't on the court for the national anthem. And of course, I missed all that, and so I'm picking it up late, you know, during the game. And it's all oh, it's, it's, I'm glad LSU's getting beat. They deserve to. How you disrespect and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, what is going on? And so I start looking into it a little bit more, and then I see that after the game, the LSU head coach was asked about it, and uh, she said it was an honest mistake. But apparently, for the national anthem, uh, the uh, the Iowa team was at one end of the court, lined up, uh, you know, showing their respect during the national anthem, and at the other end of the court, there was nobody from LSU there. Yeah, there were there was nobody on the court, which does look bad. It does look bad, and so everybody assumes right out of the gate, oh my gosh, they're disrespecting. They don't want to be out here for the anthem, and that's why you don't assume, right, right. And um, and the head coach was asked about it, and she said um, her players missing from the court was no means intentional. Her exact quote was, honestly, I don't even know when the anthem was played. Yeah. She told reporters, we kind of have a routine when uh, we're on the floor and they come off at the 12 minute mark. I don't know. Well, we, we came in, we do our pregame stuff. I'm sorry. Listen, that's nothing intentional. So 
the the LSU ladies basketball team is saying, "Hey, everybody, hang on. We weren't protesting anything. Somebody was, just didn't come on, get them. It was an honest Period. mistake. We we, yeah. we were we went back into the locker room and we didn't know that was going on. Yeah. Now that's what they say. And now, that make honestly, it makes sense. They don't. They're not all sitting back there going, "Hey, should we go out? Should we go out? Their routine is just like you said. And all of us have, depending on the sport, we're timing things down for the start. Mm-hmm. One of the questions I always ask when we play a match: Are we doing a national anthem or not? Because that affects the timing. Right. And this is a this is women's Especially tennis where person. there's where there's one person in charge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. When you got a bunch of people running a big event like this. Right. You don't think about things like that. You don't. You're focused on the game. You're focused on when somebody comes and says, "Y'all need to be out here in one minute," or "Hey, come be on the court in thirty seconds." Mm-hmm. Hey, you got five minutes, okay? And so I I believe Kim Mulkey on this because there's a lot of things going on, and so the, the last thing she needs to be worried about or is worried about is the national anthem and when it's being played. Right. And now somebody add, didn't get her. And somebody to, didn't get the team. And to add to the confusion, uh, we have an emailer here that said. Here's what's so weird is that there's a claim they haven't stayed for the national anthem all year, according to LSU Athletics. And being this person, being an LSU fan, I don't understand that. I, I don't. So, so now there's more. Con- so yeah. it's like, okay, when it came to this game, Who knows? they weren't out there. The coach is saying we didn't know. Somebody didn't come get us. We were just yeah. doing our pregame routine. And then others are saying, well, hey, they had not done that all year. But I don't know that because I haven't watched any, no, I hadn't any watched LSU either. women's basketball yeah. at all. So, Well, um, I will say this. I, if, I have if, no if idea. If Kim Mulkey's lying about this, mm-hmm. she will be called to the carpet on it because right. she has been very outspoken the entire year about she she defends everything. her players, everything. everything. You everything. bring up anything. It's like this dirty debutante. Oh, yeah, the, the, LA, that, the LA yeah. Times. The board. LA Times did. I mean, she – But, you know, if you Her press conferences that. are interesting. Yeah. You know, though, if you bra- embrace that, we all love the bad boys. Uh, I know. You know what I'm saying? It's I not know. a bad angle when you want people to yeah. watch your sport. Right. It's really not. Yeah. Don't take it personal. Just yeah. go with it. Right. Yeah. But they've said it's racist, yeah. misogynist, and all sure. that. They took it to there. Sure. Uh, oh, they, she I, had a uh, come after me, I'm 40 kind of moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And look, uh, they they maybe maybe the criticism uh, is – is well deserved. I, I have no idea. I just know as far as last night goes. I don't know what's happened pre so uh, like the regular you're, season. You've taken this call to defend them. I no, I'm reading the story and 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 doing a lot of things <laughs> that some of the blue check mark people aren't doing. Yeah. There's some very influential social media people that are out claiming all kinds of things just because they didn't see him on the court. I, I read the story and actually read y'all the quote from the head coach about why they weren't out there. Yeah, but I'm not sure that to your point, Helmsy, she could be, she could be lying. They might hadn't been out there all year. We've got a lot of phone calls about it. Now we got to be careful because they could be conjoined twins phone calls. But um, well, we'll take either. Right. Let, let's or jump, both of them. Right. Yeah. How about yeah, this? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> let's jump out and see if uh, what if the conjoined <laughs> twins played for LSU? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, they, you never know. Would it be six right. Right. Quarter five? right. Right. Maybe people can help us here a little bit. Uh, let's go out to area code two hundred five. Unscreened phone calls. Go ahead. Hey, boys, Blazers, Blazers, Blazers. Hey, What's man. up? How y'all this morning? Hey, hey, hey we're happening? great. How are you? I'm good. So, earlier this year, uh, my daughter's down at Auburn this year. We went to the Auburn versus LSU women's game, mm-hmm. and they sang the national anthem. And it was darn near time to tip off before LSU came out of the locker room. So, it, this isn't, it, as far as I know, it's not an isolated incident. It happened at Auburn. Because, I mean, of course, I'm sitting there thinking, are they going to come out or they could come play, you know? But right. I think, I mean, maybe Coach Mulkey's right. Maybe that's their routine and somebody just didn't get them out there in time. So, yeah, or, anyway, guys, appreciate the show and y'all have a great day. Okay, Thanks, buddy. Bro. Thank you. All right. So, there's one person confirming at least for the Auburn game they didn't come out. So, to this other emailer saying, hey, they, they haven't done that all year, uh, maybe. But that don't I, mean they're protesting it. They just, that's they, what they do. Yeah. Yeah. I, and there's no know. rule against it. If we no. did, we like coming out when we're about to tip off. Right. Yeah. yeah maybe maybe that's know. it. I don't know. Uh, let's go to Al- Albertville. You talking about the dirty uh, debutantes? <laughs> Two five six weighing in. What's up? Ramsey, <laughs> calm down. It's tennis. He coach tennis. What? Tennis. We're talking about basketball. Yeah, yeah. He he said, "Calm down." You're talking about tennis. Oh, a lot of um, people, you know, they just they're envy of people's lives. I guess and so. I guess that's what's I going on here. It. Two five Y'all six. Y'all still have national anthem. Yeah, yeah we do. Man. I mean, that's just a legitimate yeah. question. Yeah. I don't care if we're playing checkers. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> let's go to what Mike. a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> so early, what a dumbass. Well, I don't know. Let's go to Mike and Boaz. What's up? 
Hams, quit cussing, and Greg. <laughs> little, 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 little. What? What I don't know. That? What was that? I was kind of scared. Uh, he hung up. I, I'm they? not sure what that was. I don't know. Yeah, well, That's a good time to go to break early. here. Um, all right, so, so there we go. Unscreened so, phone calls. He's probably married to never joined twin. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> it might have been, well. All right, just don't don't say it. Just go to break. Yep. Um, all right, so there you go. So there's the update. There was that. That's the LSU's response to all the criticism that's out about the national anthem. But Iowa did win. UConn won. Now they'll face each other in the final four. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Okay, if you're facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt, or struggling to make monthly payments, you need to know there are special services available right now that can significantly reduce what you pay each month by 40% or more. And that means if you qualify, you could save hundreds of dollars every month. Most people don't know that these services are available to help Americans with overwhelming credit card debt get significant savings and immediate financial relief without filing bankruptcy. That's why accredited debt relief was established, and they've established a special hotline for you to call and learn what savings you might qualify for. They've helped consumers pay off over $1 billion in debt. They're A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief you need. The information's free. So call the accredited debt relief hotline now, 1-800-885-3500. 800 885 3500. Program and services not available in all states. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father in law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawontwait.com. DQ presents... The sound of BOGO-free blizzard treats in the DQ app. It's the sound of downloading the DQ app. Redeeming the sweetest BOGO-free blizzard deal. Telling all your friends. And heading to DQ. For BOGO free any size Blizzard treats only in the DQ app for a limited time. Download it today. At participating locations, limitations apply. DQ. Happy tastes good. Starting with one store in 1978, Boot Barn has become the largest Western and workwear retailer in the nation. Supporting those who feed, build, and protect America, we offer the largest selection of cowboy boots, work boots, Western wear, workwear, and outdoor gear. With over a half a million pairs of boots and thousands of top quality jeans and clothing, it's an honor to support the people who make our country so great. Boot Barn. Keep West. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth, and folks, I couldn't agree more. Some of you may be living with everyday pain. Now, this can affect so many parts of your daily life. I mean, it can affect the mood, uh, your sleep. What about missing out on activities? Our friends at Relief Factor offer a natural way to relieve that pain. It's 100% drug-free. Developed by doctors, Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients to help reduce or eliminate everyday aches and pains. Now, unlike pills that just mask the pain for a short time, Relief Factor helps support your body's natural response to inflammation so you feel better all day every day over 1 million people have tried relief factor and here on our team several of us have tried it so let's get you a special deal and let's see if we can help you too 
Go right now and see if Relief Factor can work with you with their three-week quick start kit that's only $19.95. Now, this is a great price to try it out for three weeks. You'll know in three weeks. You will feel the difference and know it works. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Debt woo, keeps you tossing and turning at night. You can't get away from it. But the truth is the system is designed to trap you in debt. Insanely high interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. There's a new way out of the debt trap. Pivotal Debt Solutions. Pivotal Debt Solutions isn't like the old school debt relief companies that string your debt out for years. They have new aggressive strategies that can end your debt faster and easier than you thought possible. Pivotal Debt Solutions can cut or even eliminate interest. They find programs to write off your balances so you owe less. Pivotal Debt Solutions can stop those threatening phone calls without bankruptcy and without a loan. The bottom line, they find every solution possible to end your debt permanently. Before you do anything, contact Pivotal Debt Solutions first. Talk to them for free. Find out how fast they can help you get out of debt. Just visit zapmydebt.com. That's zapmydebt.com, zapmydebt.com, or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba, pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick she looks like she's all right uh consider it hot bud uh we are uh rolling back uh, i got one more question no, <laughs> eight minutes uh, until top of the hour thank you, know, you so much brought up a point <laughs> <laughs> uh we uh we thank all of you for being with us today uh we uh <laughs> Took some on-screen phone calls there, uh, and I uh, don't know that we'll go back to that this hour, but we appreciate you hanging out with us. Rick, Bubba, Adler, all join us for Top of the Hour, at Top of the Hour for the main show today. I saw where the iHeart Radio Music Awards were last night, uh, and uh, there was a number of things that happened, but uh, one thing that stood out was Cher accepted the Icon Award from uh, her friend Meryl Streep uh, in, um, uh, last night. She was... Um, Share, uh, which is uh, kind of funny. She uh, and her, her and Meryl. I guess I didn't know they were such good friends. But um, oh, like sisters. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I have no Meryl Streep now seventy four. Uh, introduced uh, um, Share seventy seven. Uh, and seventy seven. Um, we get anybody under fifty? Mm, man. Well, Share, she's got that. Did her face move at all when she talked? Because you know she's got. She's had a little work. Yeah. Um, she don't look seventy seven. No, but no, she, she uh, does not. She doesn't. I'll give she, her that. Shows you what science can do. Yes. Uh, and I mean, she may um, have good genetics. I don't know. They sent something out, uh, posing together after the, uh, the show, uh, standing there, all the social media fans were like, Oh, look at him. Anyway, um, Cher last night received the icon award. Did you, is there one share song that you would go, mm. okay, I, I will listen if to that. If I could turn back time. If, if I, I had to listen to one, that might be it. Yeah. Or gypsies, tramps and thieves. That's not a bad share. That's funny. <laughs> that's not a bad share. Try it again. Man. No, I knew, I knew you that's know with them. <laughs> 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 that's not bad. Is she still dating that 18 year old? Oh, yeah. That's just even more weird. Yeah. Hey, mom. I don't I know mean, if he's Cher. 18, he's young. but he's young. Share She's, songs. I got to. I say mama, grandma. Yeah. If it's, what about uh, half breed? Half breed. Okay, I didn't know what you were saying. Saucy ever. I, I, yeah, gracious to They probably lie. couldn't sing that song now. Probably I'm not. Nervous wreck over here. Probably not. I'm um, looking at. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Turn back time. What? You Turn like believe it, it was a good one too. Believe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how many she people, how many people right one. now are doing their own share? <laughs> Y'all come on, everybody. <laughs> you like I got you, babe, with her and Sonny. I got you, babe. No, that's Kermit. He didn't oh, Okay. I got you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> babe, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, babe. 77. What if Cher was a conjoined twin? <laughs> you know she made that movie about uh, it had Matt Damon and uh-huh. what's his name in it, and they were conjoined twins. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty funny movie. Yeah. God, Is there any? That? Well, I can't ask that on there. Never mind. <laughs> she played herself. <laughs> the minute I movie. started talking, I thought, "Ooh, back yeah, up." Yeah, right. Uh, I... You like that? Goes. Hey, that's not that bad. Do shit. that again. <laughs> it's right through your nose. I got it. Okay, hold. <laughs> if I could find <laughs> no way. 
All right, guys, I'm sorry. We've just turned into <sighs> Sing and Share. Apologize for that. Right. Hey, she's Icon. Got a word for it. 77. Uh, wow. Crazy. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, Y'all didn't care. <laughs> There's your, no, there no, it I is. I was going to say that. Let's see. let's see. I don't want to guess him. Is it start with that? Didn't it say if What's I the could, other song she sang? Just like Jesse James or something? That was pretty good. Yeah, I'd, I'd could, listen to that today. Uh, right next day? Yes, he's absolutely. Adding it, he's adding it to his phone. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's what, just what, what, tennis, Hams. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do that. One, one, of you, one of you said, hey, ladies, everybody, <laughs> gather up. Come here. I do sneak a song in Come on here. the playlist every once in a while. Uh, yeah. And I, and I'll see. I'll just kind of watch to see who's looking and listening. Put half breed yeah. in. And see what they do. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Half breed. All right. Here we go. Oh, Indian drums and everything. <laughs> can't do that. Anymore. I just don't want to get us in trouble. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to have her come in and going, going "Hey, skin. buddy, thanks." Yeah. Sing if I could turn back time to this beat. <laughs> That's another good one. good one. Yeah, that's a okay, good one. Okay, I got to tell you something. That's before from way back. She, hey, I was before, a little kid. When before she got real crazy, I've realized I think I like more of her she songs than that. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. If I could turn. Yeah. You know. I may have a, about 20 minutes a day where I leave nothing to listen to Cher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about Bad 20 Ride? It's a Cher day. My I 20 Ride today will include Cher. That's it. If I can turn. <laughs> uh, what's this one? I don't, hold on, let me hear this one real quick. Oh, what's that? Oh, sounds wow. like a movie yeah, trailer. What is that? Somebody's was... got a knife following somebody down a dark hole. <laughs> bang, bang. I don't know about bang, bang. <laughs> Probably need to leave it alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. Hit the ground. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I hit the ground? I don't know about that. What about uh, just What like about Jim? Believe? You remember that one? I don't like that. What about just like Jesse James? I like, like, I like James? Believe. Yeah. I like Believe. Huh? I'm trying not to get us in trouble, Adler. Sorry, buddy. Playing She's not doing a very good job. Some a, little bit, a little bit late for that. She's an icon. They just playing some share. Sorry, buddy. She got you the play I, icon icons. award at the iHeartMedia Awards last night. Mm -hmm. Oh, you love that. You uh, like to work out. That. I heard you like to run that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you and Mr. Buddy jumping up. Yeah. You're like, come on, Mr. Buddy. <laughs> Turn back to me. Look, look down there. He loves I like it. it. I like it. Oh, bring all about, the share on. Uh, you, you talking about bring. haircut over there? Oh, yeah. haircut. Got his haircut. Got some share. <laughs> if I could turn back to I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> you had to place your chin. Find your chin down ever. here. <clears throat> look, just oh, like okay. Jesse James. Yeah, that's a good song. Now, that is a good one. Yeah, yeah Song for the Lonely. What about that one? I don't know that one. What about a factor team back time? What about? <laughs> Let's see. Love and understand. You boy, she's got a lot. Yeah, she's been around quite yeah, a while. Yes, she has. Because right. she was very young, I think, when her and Sonny were together. Oh, wow. yeah. I don't know if she's ever done this. We all sleep alone. I don't know if she has. Oh, she ever done that. that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You hear That's this on not a lot a bad of. Song, by yeah, you, you hear this on a lot of adult contemporary stations right here. <clears throat> yeah, it's not. Yeah, bad. this is not a bad song. She was 16 mm -hmm. when she met Sonny. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to stop making Caroline's it. older. My daughter, Caroline, is older yeah. Yeah. than when Cher was when she met yeah. Sonny. Well, right. Like yeah. I got to apologize to Cher. I think I like more of her songs than I yeah, thought. Yeah. We do. I hate to say it. I'm I, embarrassed, just, actually. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Me too. But I'm, I'll be rocking half yeah. breed. <laughs> <laughs> got to finish that. Yeah, don't stop. Don't stop Brilliant. looking around. It's like he says half breed goes. <laughs> well, you can't say it. It's a song. It's a it's song, a real everybody. Song. It's a song. And she was it's a, a title breed. of a song. She got the Icon Music Award. Yeah. Okay, so she, everybody give us a break. Bart Indian. Take it up with him. That's that's a song that we were just saying. That's all that we're doing. We'll take break. We're coming right back. Give it to me, Red, as we go to break. Here I go, here I go. Six minutes now past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Uh, we are in COVID-19 setup again. 
Uh, we start this hour as we have since the attack on America back on 9-11 with the national anthem. Greg and I are uh, on location, just taking extra precautions today. Uh, we'll update you on all of that as we all find our way to live in 2020, a year that we are all more than ready to say goodbye to. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Eddie Van Adler have already, already been giving you a kickoff hour along the Rick and Bubba radio network. Uh, and so you've been uh, settling in with them. Uh, and now Bubba and I will join the fray as we go forward and we will walk through another day. And hey, big things going on this week. But first, let's bring in. Uh, Bill Bubba Bussy. Bubsy, how are you, buddy? Rick, I'm doing well. I want to welcome everybody back. Hope they had a great Thanksgiving or what the government's calling the great super spreader event of 2020. Yes, uh, Bubba, as the great Palmas said, uh, by the way, <laughs> when I heard uh, Joe Biden over the weekend refer to, to a psalmist as a palmist, uh, I thought to myself, this is going to be a wild ride if he gets the presidency coming up in January, as sadly we all expect. Uh, but anyway, uh, a lot to look back uh, over the past weekend. Now, I am kind of fired up because uh, this is the week that we start the 12 working days of Christmas. So the first gift of Rick and Bubba Christmas comes your way this Thursday on the Rick and Bubba show. And I know, Bubba, you've been out shopping, you know, you know, social distancing with a mask on, of course. Uh, and, uh, and we have a, a great setup again this year. Remember, this is the radio contest that destroyed – a, a phone provider to the point that we had to change providers because the provider that once had our business did not want it anymore. Well, Rick, apparently uh, the, the bandwidth limitations, we were shutting down uh, operations they had in several parts of the country. So they have respectfully said they'll pass on that. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it, it, you know what? It's just it's just part of it. Um, it. It I think it shows how much fun and how much everybody loves the twelve working days of Christmas, which currently, as I speak today, is the ten working days of Christmas. We're still trying to nail down the last two, so we'll get that nailed down though, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun with it. And uh, the out, right out of the gate, uh, as you had mentioned, you're you're at home today. You and Greg both are uh, under safety quarantine today. Um, and Rick, I want to compliment your background. You look like any uh, tech giant that had to testify before Congress. You've got your official curtain. Mm -hmm. You had a little picture there on the side, I and like it. Uh, you know, lighting not not exactly what you are Perfect. accustomed to, but we can see you fine. And uh, so, uh, hey, it's it, it is the way it is in the year 2020. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'll tell you why that uh, that we're distancing today. And like I so said, you may see. Greg back uh, by tomorrow. I may be back, uh, you know, by Thursday, Friday, according to how all the tests go. But here, here's the thing of, of, of dealing with all this is I have literally moved. Now, Daddy's disruptive this morning, but the good news is the area of the house that I'm disrupting, you know, is where our now working class son. Uh, so he's got to get up here in a minute to go to work anyway. So, <laughs> uh, but we literally have moved locations in the house. Now, if you want to laugh, and this is our life in COVID, so I've worked to upgrade the the internet strength and the Wi-Fi strength here, and we even checked it last night, and we were triple what we had the last time that I was in COVID-19 mode. Triple, okay? And when, when I went to the place where I did it last time, under three times less Wi-Fi strength, the signal was worse today than it was all the days I did it last time. So uh, so I have moved down closer to the modem, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and so this is going to be a little more disruptive for the family. But it'll be like those of you in Birmingham remember the great Joe Rumor. Uh, and so what you may have in a minute, you know, uh, young Broderick will come through here, uh, you know, get him something out of the refrigerator. You'll you'll probably he'll he'll be go to the shower off to my right, uh, and I'll and I'll kind of speak to him as he comes to. Hey, Brody, how's it mm -hmm. going, buddy? Yeah, you know. And so I, I'm going full Joe Rumor, and we'll see how this works. This seems more stable for now, so this will be our plan going forward, and then I can kind of adjust and get it uh, set up better by tomorrow. But right now, I go with the standard curtain. Uh, I have a lamp here uh, over my head, <laughs> which I can turn on or off. Hmm. Adler and I can play with that in the break. But what happened was uh, the reason why I'm in this mode 
is we took our Thanksgiving and went from anywhere from 30 to 40 people down to nine. Uh, and, uh, and it was just, uh, my sister, uh, and her three kids. And then Sherry and I with, with our three boys. And then we went to 10 when, when, uh, young Broderick's uh, camtastic girlfriend came. So here, here was the deal trying to be sharp and thinking we were doing great. So uh, boomer comes all the way from New York city. Well, he and his girlfriend who he was going to drop her off in Atlanta, they tested not once, but twice before they ever left New York city to be sure they were negative. So then he drops her in Atlanta. Now he did leave out one important point, which we would have loved to have known on Thanksgiving <laughs> that, that he and his girlfriend attended a wedding in Atlanta. Uh, I would like to have had that information. Yeah. Didn't have it. Yeah. Rick, Rick, <laughs> we have another hour ready to go. And here we go. Uh, we start a brand new hour on a brand new day. Kickoff hours behind us. The national anthem gets us started. minutes past the hour from sweet home Alabama to the rest of the world here we go from the big boy studio out on the bleeding edge of technology both live and archived here we go uh, is it America's boldest radio stations that you have us live uh, on the Rick and Bubba Radio Network, hello, if that's the case. Are you listening live on the Rick and Bubba TuneIn app? Because you don't have a radio affiliate, Oh, well, hello to you. Uh, maybe you're watching us live on YouTube. Hello, Tubers. Eddie Van Adler settles in to drive you the rest of the way. Maybe you're catching the show on an archive. Uh, the archives are found on our YouTube channel and our podcast channel. Uh, audio only and there's also a best of hour available on our podcast channel and also for blaze tv subscribers so however you are here uh, we are thankful that you are here speedy the real greg burgess and helmsy have knocked out the kickoff hour and there's the silver tongue one the man with a golden voice professional lunch eaters man of the year the inventor of pizza and a cup shakespeare's worst nightmare and the master of the king's english Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussey! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, buckle up. It's time for Rick and Bubba.
third day, come on back to me. That's a good one. That's a dandy right there. That's a kicker. Uh, you know, the third day, uh, you, you remember, and don't we have one of their Dove Awards? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he gave it to y'all. Yeah, I think. I think was it them or Mac Powell uh, gave it to us? I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And, I, and yeah. I, I think it was when they they'd won so many at one point. He just gave us one. Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. He did. <laughs> yeah. So, I, do you still have that? I don't know where it is. No, I I never had it. I it, never had that. One. It, it was in the. Uh-huh. It was, yeah. We I didn't have it. the Dove Award. I really, never had the. Dove well, I mean, so uh, no, it was in the studio. studio. I mean, no, it was not in, it was here. We had it. Was it was here, it not was in here. The other studio. The other studio. It was in the other one. Yeah. yeah. No, you didn't have it as an individual. Well, I, yeah. I, got, guys, I saw I Bubba tell you, walk around if, with if it. If we had a Dove, we did in the old studio. Where is it? All right. So when you look over there, see your office. Now I do have the. What's the one with the the angel wings on it and the the little globe looking? What award is it? Is it? Uh, what's the other? Give me some other awards. Uh, Golden Globe, something yeah. else. I got, that was the Pulitzer Prize. No, it was. It was some, I got. Uh, um, I got John's, uh, the producer from Turner South. He John gave Perry. Us, An John Emmy. Perry. Emmy. Yeah. I got okay. his Emmy that he broke. Yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> okay. Remember, he gave yeah. it to us in two Rick, pieces. Yeah, the Dove was in your. Yeah, office. I had the Dove Award. It was in our main. It was in our main studio. You lost. And that. then when we were packing up to leave, it's probably in the storage it, in a box. Well, something. there's a box I had. Remember, well, I never found. Right. Yeah, and I maybe well, that's, found that. Box. All right. So during COVID, you know, it must be where my Viking helmet is <laughs> right, and right. my cape. Right. Yeah, I think I, it is. I set them aside to be special. Now I can't find. Them. Oh no! Yeah, so do y'all remember during COVID because we didn't know what was going on? We cleared the table yeah. of everything. Do you no, remember that? Right. I mean, we took up, yeah. we That's took the bell, office. the bell, everything. We, we didn't did, know what it, was hot. No, well, which and was all so a complete waste of time. Whenever we did that, <laughs> yeah. I, there's two boxes in the storage room. I'll go look. It at may be in there in the break. It may be in there, by the way. Okay. All right. So anyway, yeah. And you never found that box, Rick? No, never have. I don't know where it went. It had a nice picture of Sherry in it. But anyway, so the the. I'm watching the re, the uh, flashbacks on the YouTube channel in the break, and I just got COVID, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I, I saw you at home. Yeah, I, I, I'm at home. There I am. Oh. Well, I thought you just now got it. I'm yeah, sorry. I was about to say, wow. No, right there. No, there I, it is. That, I got it that one time, uh, the December <clears throat> of 2020, and I never got I, So far, I've never gotten it again. Huh. I mean, so I don't know if I'm, you know. Uh. Of course, you never know because it's going to be here every every forever right. now. So you can get it at any time. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, but I remember that was the the I was the. Did somebody asked me, and wasn't I the first one to get it on the team? Because remember, think we, so. we, had, we had a poll. <laughs> yeah, you were. It first. You were. I think were so. You? Yeah, because Blake you gave it to me. zero. Blake came home from <laughs> Thanksgiving and gave that it to him. You. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That was you. Uh, and so, then who got it? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Here. I don't remember. So I've had it one time. You remember Bob? Who else had it more than once? No. Greg? I've had it twice. I've had it twice. Bubba's had it twice. I've Greg's had it twice. Hamsey's had it twice. Well, but but you, we don't, how many times have you had it? Once. I really? think once, but I don't know. I had a head cold one time. Was that COVID again? Well, I have I, no idea. Well, I mean, does that, does that mean twice, or did you have you had it once for sure? I had right? it once for sure. But what I'm saying is, since then, yeah, well, you know how it's yeah. it's not as bad, well, and true. so you could have had yeah. the sniffles. I have or a friend that has it co- now. His whole family got it. Really? Yeah. yeah. This one. No, I don't know. So I don't know. I've only. Had I've it been, once, been tested officially, and, and come back positive once. Yeah, I, I didn't have, think I had it, and she came back and said, you have COVID. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I have. I, I had it the right. one time in 2020, and then I have been exposed to it. Oh, my gosh. I bet I've been exposed to it knowing. Now, who knows how many times unknowing. Yeah. Right. But right. knowing I've been exposed to it probably 10, mm. 10 12 times. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I don't know, hmm. but I mean, because it's all around us. I mean, you yeah. Know, so, uh, but anyway, so it's funny uh, watching those flashbacks. So it's possible that the Dove Award that Third Day gave us, <laughs> we took it because we thought it might have COVID on it, and we don't know where it is. Yeah, yeah. I'll go look back there in some of the boxes. I have no idea. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's interesting to take things like that. Like, there's a there's a, a guy now that um, that I'm just now getting to know. And he's uh, he's new to all this. He had never even heard of Third Day, and I was letting him hear, you know, because anytime someone's starting to try to get into music from artists who are Christians, they 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 don't know where to begin, and you don't know their musical taste. So I've I've thrown him a little Toby Mac, and I've thrown him a little. I even took him back to DC Talk the other day, oh. and he seemed to really resonate with Third Day. Okay, I, he was like, oh man, that's cool, and I said, okay, so maybe that that's yeah. that, that'd be oh, I, yeah. that'd be a good. I did a great it. job, but you know what I was going to say is, you know, haven't they done the standard? They broke up. Mac Powell did a bunch of solo stuff, 
And then didn't they come back together and do some revival tour know. or something and and I whatever? I, I, I haven't. Heard I don't know much the I don't know the current state lately, yeah, yeah. so I, I don't know though. Yeah, but that that just may be me. I've been yeah. you know living under a cinder block. Yeah, yeah. but as you know, it, it does <laughs> that does sound like the pattern though, doesn't it? Yeah, they come back together and they'll yeah. do a, like a revival tour, and then everybody goes back to their projects, you know that kind of stuff. So I think they recently did something together. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But they've been they have not been a band in a while. That's a good song you played a minute ago. That's I a dandy that. right yeah. there. That's, That's a good one. I, I remember when they were on a couple times. We went to BJCC with them and Toby Mac. Remember that? Yep. Yep. Uh, we'll be back 15 minutes past the hour. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming your way right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Put this under the column. I've talked about this earlier this year. <laughs> Our kids are killing us. <laughs> Right. So now keep in mind, we go through all this to clear him out of New York City. Right. Okay? Right. And then he drops off in Atlanta and gets in a mob. Okay. So now uh, look, I've, I, I can't, I've attended two weddings myself uh, during COVID with the mask and whatever, and never had an issue. Uh, but he, uh, he got word on Saturday as he was getting ready to head back to New York, pick her up in Atlanta and roll that she had tested positive for COVID-19. She has mild symptoms. He went back to New York City, tested there. He also came back positive, which is why we're in the situation we're in now. Uh, I am scheduled to be tested tomorrow. I don't have any symptoms, uh, nor does anyone else here in the house. Um, and I'm, uh, of course, you know, at the Thanksgiving dinner, we had two kids there, my nephew uh, and my son that have both had it. So they've already had it. So they weren't really an issue. Uh, but um, so, uh, so far, nobody else at the gathering that encountered Blake as having any issues. And you know, Bubba, our doctor is no fan of the rapid test. No, no. Uh-huh. He said, he said the rapid test is just either going to get you quarantined for no reason, or you're going to get everybody on the show sick when it gives you a false name. <laughs> right, right. So, so he said, let's, let's do the three day test, uh, which I will do tomorrow. Cause he wanted to be five days from, uh, being exposed, which tomorrow will be day five. Uh, and he said that that way we'll know. So, so, but we may not know till Thursday or Friday. Uh, so uh, I may have to stay here and, and look, we're just being overly cautious, but right. I think it's being, it's being wise. I don't like this. I don't want to do this. None of the guys on the show want to do this. Uh, but I'm trying to minimize exposure for you guys, uh, and anybody else. And, and that's the responsibility. I think we have to take, you know, do, do I, am I at the point now where I'm like, Hey, can I just get this and get it over with? You know, but that that that's that's my own personal deal. That's not I shouldn't put you guys in any unnecessary risk. So so not going to do that, and we'll suck it up and get it done. Mm-hmm. Well, and yeah, I think it's wise. Uh, what we're trying to avoid is it getting here and run through all of us, and then we have nobody to do. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. You know, we're we're too close to the end here now to uh, to blow yeah. it. So. Yeah. So it's it's a mild inconvenience, uh, especially for those of you that this has been a devastating disease. So we'll we'll, we'll make it work. That's right. All right, eight six six. We be big. We'll come back. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Pass the green. One minutes now past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Uh, we, uh, Greg and I, are in the. Uh, this is not DefCon Dippy, but Diffy because that means that Speedy and I were in studio. Everybody else was gone. I don't know what we call this one, uh, other we, than we didn't. just uh, you know, world, world and, and, and COVID. But uh, I'm on location um, at home. Greg's at home. The rest of the guys are there in the studio. Uh, and uh, as we mentioned, coming up today on the program, we'll talk to John Maxwell coming up next. Adler Christmas will also be different this year, as Speedy was telling you in the kickoff hour, if you guys were part of that. We, really, this is going to be pretty cool because it's actually going to be a television production that has been shot and edited, and we're going to see a, a clip of that today and tell you how you can watch it anywhere around the world. Uh, so it'll be a great, you know, we're setting up, you know, to watch it at home and, and that's going to be cool. So be paying attention for that coming up a little bit later on. Uh, some things may be inside COVID may have turned out to be maybe even more accessible and even cooler. So we'll tell you about that coming up a little bit later on. So Bubba, you mentioned when Rick, we were going be- before we like, do that, do we need to do we need to welcome little brother in? Yeah, that's right. If I not let it, baby yeah. brother, you out there, right? Check one, two, buddy. 
That's right, buddy. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> That's his liner voice. Yeah. Ready for his press conference. <laughs> Baby I'm brother's trying. got a little JSU behind his head. Yeah. I'm trying I'm trying to talk quiet and not wake everybody up. <laughs> well, Greg, Greg, what's getting getting you though, you're probably further away from waking anybody up. I'm I'm like down here. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, but I, I honestly I'm not so sure that I'm that loud. First of all, you Rick, know, when I you feel like night- you're loud. Don't worry. <laughs> well, I'm talking about for a 19 year old, you know, yeah. he's the kind of person that can like, I, I honestly believe he could sleep by the road. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I, I'm with you on that. You're not bothering him. I'm yeah, with so you on I, that. He, he probably doesn't even know I'm in here yet. So, <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, baby brother, you sound loud and clear coming from PV. You know, what really was a big moment for me is that PV has better Wi-Fi than Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rick, I was thinking the same thing. I was going to say it. <laughs> Of course, uh, I've got these crappy headphones on because I, I usually bring my good ones from the studio. Twenty-one minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, all right, so uh, things that uh, you need to know about. Yesterday's uh, re- recap of uh, the turkey hunt with I Gary. Uh, it is now on our YouTube channel. If you want to go watch that episode with uh, uh, what was it Sawbrier uh, Sports <laughs> YouTube channel? Yeah, so we have that on our YouTube channel. Bubba, you found the the Emmy. Yeah, I had the Emmy. I knew I had it. Uh, yeah, there's John Perry, mm-hmm. who was with uh, Turner South at the time. Uh, who used to produce our TV show? Yeah, uh, he uh, <laughs> he was awarded. It. This is a real. This is a real Emmy. I mean, it says property of the Emmys on here. I right. don't know if we're right. supposed yeah, to that, have this. Yeah, uh, probably, yeah. But uh, I think <laughs> after our TV show, he threw it and broke it. Yeah, right. That was and, it. Uh, that, that, and then that, that, I went and got it out off the rock, and uh, there it is. So well, I think you could just a little bit of gorilla that. glue. You could make that. Well, take that's that back. Uh, you know that's they got some pretty good gluing stuff now. But yeah, they do. Uh, that's going to be a tough. That's a heavy. That's a heavy tub, weight. You know, it's just a thin place yeah. right yeah. there. Yeah, tape it and then, uh, I mean, glue it, then tape it for a long time. And then, so we have a, we have a broken off. Emmy and then a missing Dove Award. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went and it's looked in the boxes. Uh, it wasn't where I thought. I did see a few the big boys, Academy. Uh, a cowbell or two, uh, yeah. and some coffee cups, but okay. no, okay. no Dove Award. Oh, look, it's maybe one of my drawers in there. I'll see if I can find it. Um, <laughs> yes, yesterday with April Fool's Day, did y'all see it? It ties into Bubba what, what we were going to update everybody on. <laughs> Mouth it. You know, everybody puts us on the uh, the mailing list of every political candidate oh, yes, in the world. One, by the way, and did, Thanks, you, did, you, did you see the one yesterday? And you get the email. And Trump says, "I'm letting you know I'm suspending my campaign." And then you click yeah. on it, it says April Fools. Ah. <laughs> and and, and I, I laughed pretty hard. I thought, well, that that that, 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 that is a good one. But we yeah. do have a Trump update. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, So uh, what, what what's the what's and the this Trump is no April Fools. No, no. Trump posted a one hundred and seventy five million dollar bond on Monday in his New York civil fraud case, halting collection of more than four hundred and fifty four million wow. that he has been fined in that. Uh, the posted bond also prevents the state from seizing his assets to satisfy the debt as he appeals the case. The New York Appellate Court had given the former president 10 days to put the money up after decreasing the bond. Again, people anybody this 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 whole case is really beyond politics. Even Republicans or people that don't like Trump uh, yeah. or Democrats, okay? This this should worry you because if this can be done to Donald Trump, it can be done to Joe Biden, it can be done to um, uh, DeSantis, it can be done to uh, the next Democrat, whoever it is, that's going to be in office. Uh, w- again, we we have a, a suit filed where there was no victim. No one was out money. The bank was happy with the deal. And they have intervened in something that they thought they had some wiggle room to get in there and make something happen, and they did. Uh, the, the, it, it wasn't even a jury trial. I, I don't I don't get a lot of this, but it's scary to me when no one has been faulted, no one is mad, no one is hurt, no one has lost money that the, that the the government can come and collect four hundred and fifty four million dollars from you just because they don't like you. Mm-hmm. 
And that's the bottom line, folks. I, I don't care. <laughs> forget politics. Forget right and wrong. Every now and then we have somebody call in. They think they're really sharp and got the answers. Yeah. There was no. Do, do people come and think they're really sharp? Oh, and got you know, the we've had a couple. Oh, yeah. He, he, that's the way he got better rate, got better there. No, the bank does their own. <laughs> the bank has testified. Look, we take what people give us. And if you've ever bought a house, you have mm. to give them a financial statement. Yep. They look at that. They do their own research. They they pull your credit. They look at what you pay. They look at what you got coming in. They they make a they score you for lack of a better term on their own system, and then they decide if they're going to move forward. Absolutely. Or not. That this is so crazy. This is so off the chart that this this is a turning point in America if they can do this. And and I'm not just saying that because of Trump. Uh, it doesn't matter who they do it to. This is ridiculous. Yeah, well, here's the thing I want to ask you, though, and, and see if you have any kind of insight on this. So we, we, we see what uh, what what's happening to Trump here and everything you said. We all completely understand what's happening. So then you look over here, and you remember the, the, the deal that people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw, shouldn't throw rocks, yep, okay? Yep. Well, can there be a bigger glass house than the Biden family? So here's what I don't understand. Are the Democrats just better at this kind of stuff? than the conservatives well i think because we i mean the conservatives have a a crime family right now running the country well i don't think he's running the country but the biden family is a they're, they're almost like a mafia type crime family they've taken joe biden's political career and they have cashed it out all over the world and and it's it's blazing obvious there and and the son hunter is is has done so many criminal things that seem so obvious so you see all this sitting there like sitting ducks, but the the Republicans don't ever really seem to win any of their attempts, and the Democrats seem to they seem to be better at destroying people than than the Republicans. Rick, I will say this: I do believe that they subscribe to a theory that the end justifies the means. Got it. And they will stick together. Yep. Thick and thin. Right. When they need a vote in Congress, it doesn't matter. They will get it done or they get completely blackballed and taken off committees and all that. The Republicans will not. They're not that mean to their own bunch. I don't think. Not, as, much, not, as, not as much fear. fear. Not as much fear. History would say that. You're right. Yeah. 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 They don't they don't run it like a mafia. Family right. As well, much. Well, well. Now, they, they do put pressure on. They do want things done. But in the end. They have people that vote their conscience, and they continue to do so. And it usually doesn't take but one or two, and they get the term rhino then, mm -hmm. um, that don't go with the pack. I mean, we've had that, that several times. And when you have razor-thin majorities or minorities in this case, the, the pack sticking together makes all the difference. So a perfect example. Let's go back to the 90s. Now, do I think they would do anything to get Donald Trump? Yes, I do, and there, there's the proof. Yeah. It's never been done before in our country at that level, never. Go. And anybody that thinks that's right, I'd like to have a conversation with. Vote Trump. So go back to, to the 90s. This the, will outlive Trump, by the way. See, that's yeah. the thing. The Republicans had Bill Clinton over the barrel. Had him. Yeah. yeah. Had, had the numbers. Yes. Had everything they had. Had the votes in the Senate if they if they choose to do so. To, decided to take it, him out of office. Decided it way. wasn't good for the country or the future of future elections to do it, so they didn't do it. Do you think if the Democrats had the Republican president over the same barrel, they would have carried Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, they my, took him out. that's, yeah, that's yeah. a yeah. – See, and th that is a good case because Clinton yeah. was guilty. Right. He lied. He under oath. This is the beginning of I, – I would say to that point – from a history standpoint, at least in my life that I've lived and seen, uh, that is where we started with degrees of how bad you are. You know, prior to that, we, the president, you know, they, they wouldn't, the president had some upstanding authority over things. And then after Clinton, it started, well, it's, it's, right. he, yeah, he, he's not too good with that. He does have a few lady friends, but you know what? We like him. He's a Democrat. We Look lowered the standards. Yeah, and it's just continued, it seems like, to trickle down since then. As far as But the Republicans had to vote, but several of them thought it was bad for the country to remove a president, and they they voted not to do it. They thought the, the just the process was Rick enough. And Bubba, yeah. Rick and Bubba. 
I found these laying around and I, and they're terrible. They sound horrible. Right? Yeah. Greg, yeah. Greg, you're full blown whispering like you're on NPR. I know. I know. <laughs> Is this coffee talk on NPR? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little loud. Greg's coffee talk. So, uh, <laughs> and, and you know, the, these are trying times. And uh, Joe yeah. Biden, who is uh, in some circles, the president elect, we'll see, <laughs> uh, wanted to calm everybody's fears uh, over the holiday break. And he wanted to share some deep words with us, Rick, from the well-known book of Palms. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Adler oh, got goodness. it. Here we go. And if we do, and I'm sure. Well, Joe's having trouble today, too. <laughs> it's freezing. It, it, we're, we're freezing up on us in there a little bit. Look, this is the deep state. They don't even want us to play it. They don't. They don't. <laughs> They're locking the it up. Thing. They're locking it up. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he'll try to get that worked out. Yeah, Just had her punch it up when it's right. Okay, look, we'll try it again. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> you can hear him screaming in there. We just you can tell him what he did, Robert. Well, I don't have the exact quote. I was gonna listen to him say it again. You know, not only that, Rick, but uh, I don't know if you saw he actually fractured his ankle uh playing tug of war with a dog. Another son that maybe he's God, a little too old for this. Funny. And yeah. uh and he is in a walking boot, and if he is determined to be the president elect and the and finally the president. He will be inaugurated with a walking boot on, and he will be limping. By the way, playing with his dog, uh, let me let me see if I can narr- actually interpret that for you. It means I'm old and fell down. Uh, yeah, that's you it. Know, that, but that, that's probably what that what that, that means. It to may your mean point, the but, dog knocked me down. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I lost my balance and fell. <laughs> Yeah, if I was actually a younger man, this would not have happened is what that means. But but th- what he was talking about, and I know Adler's struggling to make that audio work. Yeah. You know you know how you refer to, if you're going to you know t- quote something out of the book of Psalms, you would say, mm-hmm. as the psalmist said, you know, and he said, as the palmist yeah. said, and as you said, <laughs> uh, but he, he read from the very well-known book of Palms. <laughs> right. uh, and, uh, and, and, and if that, you know, now remember we've already, let me tell you what, how bad it is. Let me tell you when you know that your, your faith is inconsistent and we all struggle to be sure it's not, but, but you're now having an all out movement from devout Catholics, even in leadership to try to distance Catholicism from Joe Biden. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and this is not going to help. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you had one of the top cardinals come out and say that it would be nice if Joe repented mm-hmm. before he became president. I mean, right. that that's that's pretty tough. I mean, you know, if Billy Graham was telling us to get our life together that right before you become president, that hurt a little bit. Yeah. It? Oh, it yeah. I mean, let, let's say one of us are being sworn in. Also, Billy Graham came out. So I'll tell you one thing. Rick and Bubba need to repent if they're going to try if they're going to represent being Protestants as president. We'd be like, wow, that was that one hurt. Wow. Well, that's, <laughs> uh, I wish I'd have got a phone call on that one. Maybe before you went public. <laughs> but if you if you look at the policies of Joe Biden and you look at the tenets of Christianity and Catholicism, um, I think. Can you name, I mean, he's getting where he doesn't line up with it at all, which is why we're seeing this. Do you realize how many things he's in conflict with of the very faith he claims to practice? Well, he's got, he's got two biggies uh, right there in the front he's, uh, you know, in conflict with. But um, we'll see how all that plays out. That's, uh, you know, we've, we've had this kind of conflict before when he was in South Carolina running in the primary, you know, uh, uh, the I don't I don't remember what the title was if he was the priest or whatever would not give him uh, yeah. mass oh, yeah. there because uh, of some of his positions. You, I, I think I have okay. the audio if y'all to enjoy. No, Take a listen. Just this, this would be great if it doesn't work. I think I got it. Okay, good, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> it's audio wars. Yeah. And if we do, and I'm sure we can, we can proclaim the palmist. With the palmist who wrote these following words. Oh, my gracious. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Oh, gracious alive. Hey, Bubba, there, Bubba I some... didn't know he doubled down and said it wrong twice. Oh, yeah. He, tried to, oh, yeah. he tried, tried to correct it and said it even worse. Right, so the this... way y'all felt, that's what secondhand embarrassment feels like. It, just okay. so you know. That's well, what I feel like all I've the time. I've never had a a bad case of that like you, Speedy. Right, I yeah. certainly don't suffer from it at the level you do, but right. I'm going to tell you, I had it right then. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Am I the only, am I the only person with a hair on the back of their neck standing up right now? I mean, I, I really kind of wigged me out. Help him, Lord. Now, 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 Bubba, I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine if Donald Trump 
Remember back when he did? Oh was yeah, it two, he, was it one Corinthian or yeah, two, two Corinthians, Corinthians or whatever? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, it, and look, I, I didn't, I wasn't really. That didn't make me feel real good either. No, no, no. We we made fun of that and rightfully so. But but can you imagine if if if, if Trump or whatever said something about the churches in our country and said as the palmist and then then stumbled and said that as the palmist said the palmist guys knowing the word Psalms does not require you to be some some radical of the faith. <laughs> a lot of truth in that. Here we go. Uh, thanks for being with us. This happened Sunday at, at, at our house as uh, we had our gathering for the resurrection and uh, time together as family, breaking bread uh, and enjoying uh, this wonderful day of celebration. And guess at one point, I'm not exaggerating this in the least, this is what broke out at the house, Field of Greens taste test. <laughs> People were like, all right, we, we other family members like, we, we, we hear you and Sherry raving about Field of Greens. We don't know about. Then you have, this is the weird point, when you have two adult children that keep asking me if they can have one of the canisters. And I'm like, no, y'all all have jobs. Hmm. If y'all want Field of Greens, order it yourself. You're not taking mine. Hmm. And uh, Dad, we we like it, and but you know, I mean, we're you know we're hey, it's it, it's not that expensive. Can if you compare it to other competing people, they're trying to do the same thing. They don't do it as well. I mean, it it does the job. If you can't, you I'm, you're not taking mine. At one point, my mother, my sister, uh, various members of the family all have their own field of greens that have been prepared. They're trying various things. Some mm -hmm. tried it with orange juice. Mm -hmm. Some tried it with just water. Uh, and I was like, what are y'all doing? And like, well, we're trying to figure out what flavor we want to order and if, it, if we can just drink it with just water. So this actually happened at the house. Why? Because everybody has been hearing Sherry and I rave about it, and everybody in the family who's tried it said, you know what, I love this stuff. Uh, they do have different flavors. I, I don't want, because first thing my sister said, this is what she said, well, I don't know about the, I've, I've heard of these things before. It's like drinking river water. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> I said, no, it's not. Field of Greens is not. All this other stuff, these attempts at this in the past that you that you think are, are comparable, they're not. Take a drink of this, just put it in water and see. And she was like, you know, by the way, that does taste great. And if you don't, if water's not good enough for you, use some juice or, you know, whatever. People ask me all the time what I mix it with. I, I'm, I'm glad to help you. They have wild berry, strawberry lemonade, lemon lime, and, of course, I just do the original uh, green, which is fantastic. Uh, here's an email Mike gave us. He's a fan of the show, been listening for years. He said, I got my doctor's annual lab results, and all my numbers are outstanding. I started about a year and a half ago when y'all first started talking about field of greens. I take it every day. My cholesterol has dropped from over 200 to 138. My wife, who was skeptical at first, not anymore, she's asked for the promo code to order her own. That promo code, by the way, is is Bubba, fieldofgreens.com. Use the code Bubba, your first order, 15% off. Uh, look, it, your doctor is going to see the difference. Mine certainly has. It helps with digestion. Uh, you feel uh, healthier overall. Your immune system is saying thank you very much uh, for, the, for the fuel that we need. Your vital organs are getting what they need, all by using field of greens. Two scoops a day is suggested. I take one in the morning and then one later in the day. Fieldofgreens.com. Use the code Bubba. Save 15% or find a link at rickandbubba.com. Uh, right there where we have sponsors, uh, Bubba. You and I were discussing this in the break. Uh, you know, how, you know, you're 60. I'm about. I'll be 60 in October. We've seen the world change a lot, my friend. Yes, we have, Rick. And, yes, and, we have. And, we've and, seen man land on the moon. Yeah, and so we've seen a lot of technology. We've mentioned before when this show started, there was no internet. Okay, there were no emails. You know, that's there were kind no of websites. A, that's really a marker yeah. in today's world when you when all that came about. <laughs> but Bubba had, I think, the first <laughs> cell phone in our county. Okay, uh, I, I, but as, as Speedy has said, and some of our wives still think this is true, and it's one of my favorite lines from you <laughs> when you tell your wife they're no longer car phones. Right, you can get them out of the car. Yeah. Okay, so you can have it with you. Mike yeah. McCord can verify today. <laughs> I had a number, one number ahead of his, and he owned the company that had the tower. 
I remember not knowing about minutes, and, <laughs> oh, I, and I was in the. How about minutes? I, oh, minutes! I was in the how station. About Roman. I was in the station van yeah. on a very show enough good cell phone that yeah. was that was locked into that van, calling my friends all over the country, and uh, and of course that led to a meeting with the general manager. Yeah, I yeah, didn't. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought, hey, this. I thought it was just a phone. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the new thing now in technology. God love all of you out there. Uh, I understand it. I, I even understand it's important. And this is the never-ending uh, request for us to review something. Yeah, rate me. Rate review me, me. Review me. Can yeah. I give you a review and a rating on ratings? Right. Minus one star. <laughs> my, minus one star. I am so star. tired oh. of being badgered oh my to gosh. rate everything. Oh, my gosh. When you order something online. My goodness. They will harass you to no end. The reason I ordered it online was for convenience, by the way. Right, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have time to go get it. Right. So now I have to spend what appears to be half a day rating something. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to give it a star. Look, Rick, the other day, seriously, I ordered a piece of wire. I love this Okay, one. wire. I love this. Okay. I had to rate the wire. <laughs> uh -uh. Well, it's what I ordered. It right. got here. Right. No, we need more. We need you to tell us more about it. What? Well, it's it's metal. It's got plastic around it. It's got a plug on each. It's a wire. I don't know what else to say about it. Right. We need more. Right. We need more. Good well, wire. I just got out of it. I said, nope, not rating you. It's not a wire. wire. It's a wire. You know what? Here's here's the way I rate it. If I got it and I ain't complaining about it, it was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I think what you said, no complaints is a happy customer. Yeah, no complaints is a five. Yeah. You know, so why don't we just shoot for that? Yeah, yeah and, and, and there's the other end of the spectrum. Greg and I have found our mom, and, and you know, her, her and now in her 80s, I think she desires to go out and give a bad rating. Yeah. I, I mean, it's oh. like she, she thinks she has power now. You mm -hmm. know, because people are talking, hey, I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to go in there and do a bad rating. Remember, she did a bad yeah. rating. I'm they gave her money up. back if she would pull it down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get on Yep, wear somebody out. Right. right. She really does. If you, you better do. So, so this is the thing. I'm with Bubba on this a thousand percent. Don't, don't forget that we're asking for like five stars. Now, remember, we've already said on the, on the air that we've dumbed everything down. There, there was a time when a standing ovation re was reserved for something that was extraordinary. Right. Now there's some obligation to give a standing ovation to most everything. Yeah. This is somebody to bubble to your point of reviews that just did the basic job. Mm -hmm. I, I, I talked to mom about something about this because this is kind of how we were raised and it was different about the reviews. And mom was talking about, she was being thankful. You know, Greg's taking her to another appointment on Thursday, you know, where she's having a heart, Kathy, I'll pray for mom that I, I hate to say it. You start kind of thinking they'll find something so they can help her feel better. You know, that we're, we're doing things for our mom. And Rick, she, get her a stint. You'll be glad. That's what I'm thinking. I'm almost well, pulling for a stint. I'm almost pulling add for a stint. one or two of those. But They're I, good. But that I, technology's solid. But I said to my mother, and it was very sweet what she was, what she was trying to do one day. I said, Mom. I give my stint five stars. I said, Mom, there, there's no need <laughs> to give a standing ovation for children who are doing the basic thing. We're supposed to take care of our parents. This right. is not extraordinary right, what we're doing. Right. Okay. So I appreciate that. But, you know, I remember dad saying, you don't really have to be patted on the back or get a standing yeah. ovation for just <clears throat> doing what's expected of you. Right. Okay. And so what's happened now is everybody wants to be treated like they're a rock star when they've just done what was expected. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got my wire. It got here, you know, in a couple of days. I'm not unhappy. It was in my mailbox. Right. I, I opened it. I plugged I, it in. It I'm worked. not unhappy. And, and the and the problem is I can't I can't find myself. I no one has to educate me phones on the importance of it to, to businesses and people. I do get that. No one has to educate me on that. Bubba and I are oh, saying it really God. shouldn't be that way. But I had a guy who really, really did a he, I mean he he didn't. He met really would be my expectations if I'm at a restaurant and I'm, we're being taken care of, and I certainly am going to tip very well. But that wasn't enough. The tip, I think, would be the five star. Right, but, but, right. But, and, it, and, and it's not on him because the person, people yeah. he's working for want him to do this. And I even in my heart said, going to do it. He said, I mean, I'm just trying to pay and tip. Hey, right here, you see this link right here on your receipt? Ooh, I probably won't even take that receipt with me. But anyway. He, he never he, saw the house. He, he, no. he, goes, he, goes, he goes, yeah, would you – consider maybe and you'll get a free appetizer or dessert or something will you go on here and give a review of my service uh, so i've got to click a link when i get in my truck okay and then i'm and i and i even said to myself i think i'm gonna do it i like this kid i think i'm gonna do it 
Never did it. Never did it. I, I just couldn't. Never did it. I just couldn't yeah. work that into the day. You, you I, know, I just I just couldn't make myself get in the truck, sit through that process. I was kind of like, you know what? You did a good job, Hoss. The food was great. Your service was great. And I gave you a good tip. I don't think I should be asked more. Mm. Is there a better pat on the back than a great tip? I would be concerned with any business that relies too heavily on those reviews because it can be manipulated too right. easy, okay? Right, yeah. You don't think you couldn't stuff the ballot box on these things? Mm-mm. If you really want to know, if I'm a restaurant, look at the tips given. You can find out who's doing a good job. There People go. will put yeah. their money where they really oh. appreciate it. So if you got somebody raking in the tips, you go, hey, they're doing a dang good job right there. Right. Hey, you know, that, that's easy to figure out. And that you're not going to stuff the ballot box with that. DoorDash and the Uber Eats oh. people, they chase you for oh. days. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, okay, okay, I tip the person, tipped well, because I've learned the better you tip, the quicker <clears throat> your food gets here. The food got here in about the amount of time I would expect. I walked out from the building and someone handed it to me from their car. Five stars. I mean, it was it was it wasn't extraordinary. It met my expectations. You did your job that I paid you for. Yeah. And Rick, what I like is now they will ask you to take a picture of your food before you eat it. Now I'm already hungry. If you think I'm going to be posing for a picture, and plus, you know what I want to put on there? Hey, there's already pictures of it on the menu. Yeah. Yeah. And they're really good pictures. They use good lighting. Probably glazed it up with something. Yeah, to look it looks way better. better than it's really going to look a lot better than mine because mine's already going to be half eaten. Right. You know, I, I I'm eating. I don't want to give a review. That's why I call to have food ordered. I got a review request from. The post office. <laughs> All I did was hand them the package. They weighed it, put a sticker on it. That's it. What could go wrong? <laughs> what am I ra- do? They, do you, we have trouble with that do you ever? Think, do you think that's going to matter? The, I mean, let's well, be honest. Yeah, yeah, but, but they said here, you fill this survey in a circle, and I thought, I just gave you a little package, and you stuck yeah. a sticker on it. What, what, what could demanding. you have messed up? Hey, dang good job. Yeah, way how to, did you do put it better that than there? Hey, dang good job. Five stars? I mean, that's. I mean, I'm just like... Why do we why do we want to get a standing ovation for beating meeting the basic requirement? Yeah. Remember when we asked Dad to pay us for good grades? He said, I'm not going to pay you for something you're supposed to do. Right. Of course, yeah. he wouldn't have been out of a lot of money. No, but, he would not. So right. my rating right. for ratings, minus one star. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. More Rick and Bubba right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, I mean that—that's not even a big, a big stone. I tell you what, he's really coming in hot. He knows how to say psalms. <laughs> Who's he think he is? I mean, this is this doesn't require a theological, uh, theological degree. No, most people, have, most people can throw out of the twenty-third psalms. I mean, that, that's you know that that one kind of reaches out there to most everybody. I don't know, maybe it speaks English. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, that's a, <laughs> you ain't got to have your application in to go to seminary to get that one, you know? Yeah. Now, don't forget, too, he claims he's a devout Catholic uh-huh. and has many times. Uh-huh. All right. So I know we have John Maxwell coming up. We're going to break now. Later on, we need to talk about, speaking of this, huge ruling while we were gone yeah. concerning religious freedom. I mean, a huge one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and we'll get into that coming up a, a little bit later on in the program. So it's, it's coming up your chance to be part of John Maxwell's uh, leadership conference. It's Impact Leadership Conference. Uh, we'll talk to him about that uh, when we come back. John Max will coming up on the Rick and Bubba show when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Bubba, it is time again for Impact Leadership Conference, a master class in resilience, and Mr. Resilience himself is joining us again on the Rick and Bubba show, Mr. John Maxwell. John. Hey, it's great to be with you guys again. I look forward to our time every year being on your show. John, Uh, we're glad to have you, and I I know we've got, uh, wow, how about 2020? Uh, I think we need a giant pep talk for our whole country today, you know? No question about it. I call 2020 the wilderness year. I can (laughs) tell you that more people that have been lost are forging new territory, and that's one of the things I'm excited about, of course, uh, being in the Highlands on uh, December the second. I'm going to, I'm going to talk about resilience and, and what does it mean to, uh, you know, get back up and and uh, not lose faith and not lose your heart. So, uh, you know, I always love being, of course, with uh, Pastor Chris and and uh, I just always enjoy. Uh, coming and having the conference, and I'm looking forward to this one this year. It's going to be, it's even though it's going to be different, it's going to be great. 
John, let me let me ask you this, and I, I know today that uh, you're 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 you know we're talking to you. Uh, I know we usually call it Palm Beach, but Joe Biden calls it Psalm Beach. Uh, but uh, t- t- today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thank you, John. I'm here all week, uh, even on location. Uh, so, so let's talk about you know somebody. Maybe this is the first year. And here's the good news: you can register free for this at impactleader.com. And as John told you, it will be December the second. Uh, and and if someone is is maybe watching this or listening to this for the first time, they hear us talking about the Impact Leadership Conference but they don't really know what this is about. Can you kind of put in a nutshell, if I join this and I'm going to go to this and I'm going to be part of it, what am I going to experience? Well, first of all, the Impact Leadership Conference is about adding value to people. Uh, what we know is the fact that uh, when any time people give up uh, some of their time to, to go to an event or a conference like that, we want to make it something really helpful, worthwhile, practical in their life. And this conference is growing year after year. I think this may be maybe my fourth or fifth year, but it's been a while. But but it keeps growing, and it keeps growing because we keep adding value to people. So I, what I want people to know is that they'll just give us a, a, a morning. Uh, we'll give them some added value that will help them, uh, you know, be a be a, a better person, a, a better neighbor, a, a better husband, a better wife, a better leader. And uh, we're just all about adding value and improving people. I think that's what's made the conference a great success. And we have come together over the years, of course, to uh, highlight and feature Highlands College and and, uh, help people understand and become aware of the great work that's being done there and and the incredible, incredible future of this school. So anyway, it's uh, it's just a time for people to come and, and learn and grow. So if you like to learn, if you like to grow, you want to get better, improve your life, or hey, hey, or maybe you've got somebody on your team that you want to improve their life. Maybe you <laughs> want to. It's it's kind of like don't come alone. My goodness, bring your team with you. And one of the great values of that is, after an incredible morning of 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 adding value and teaching, if you have your team with you. Uh, boy, then you can spend a you know a couple of hours to just kind of review and and reflect, and and learn from each other, and and you just kind of are more united in the things that you really want to develop in the future. So, uh, I, I would I would encourage anyone listening, one to intend to improve themselves, but if you really want to improve it, bring your team with you because I promise you, I promise you, no doubt about it. At the end of the morning, uh, you'll be able to look at your team members and and with great integrity say we're all going to. It is eight minutes to the top. We were just discussing the never-ending requests for reviews. and So we're in a time now where you can pay for the product. You can even tip well for the service, but you will still be asked for a review. Yeah. Helmsy said that he even something was happening involving. And this is a little different. Uh, a haircut. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the haircut is just coming I in. I got the- uncomfortable yesterday. And- a haircut. Hey, hey. So. Hey, oh. So, and it's just on the tipping Stand scale. Not. And I couldn't tell if huh. this was strategically planned mm-hmm. by the two ladies in there well. or were they just genuinely being uh, nice about what had just happened. To okay. Them. All right. Okay. So I walk in. There's two ladies in there. A, a gentleman is leaving, mm-hmm. and they're going through the cleanup process. Somebody evidently had just left too. So we got a bunch of hair on. Oh, the we're sweeping hair. We're sweeping hair. Up. Understood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm sitting there, and Same. they ask me my name, and I tell them, and they're entering the system, but whatever. Dang. And together, they're kind of going through it and pulling me up. And she says out loud, the late one of the ladies. That was so kind of that gentleman to tip me thirty dollars. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh that, and I thought, that's great. And, and I'm Something sitting we would there, do. and I'm sitting there thinking, well, it's a complete setup. It is, yeah. Like, and and by the way, it's working. Like you're pulling at my heartstrings right here. Like I need uh, to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I would have told her I saw his haircut on the way out. It wasn't that good. Greg, oh, Greg, oh, all right, look at you. Yeah, and so I tell you one thing, Michael Ham's got his money worth. Oh, money yeah. worth. every time, he baby. Did. When I get up, they the ought to chair, pay you to do that. Three and one. When I get up from the chair now, it looks like somebody killed a squirrel. Yeah. On the floor. <laughs> so, so, cool. so I just felt, I felt like they were strategically planning were. against me. Yeah. They were. Yeah. That was. And, uh, it, 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 look, and it guys, was a good one because it worked. Like it yeah. was really. I, I sat there for a few minutes going, 
I can't tip them thirty dollars. But right. I mean, Hams, what do you I, get I'm paid for that haircut? What do you get for that? Uh, Twenty two dollars. Okay. Have you uh, have you ever looked at a flow Because I think it worked. Right. Good. I think yeah. Flo, you remember the flow I tell them. Oh, yeah. I said this in the kickoff hour. I tell them three and one. Can't mess it up. Have fun with it. Okay. That's what I tell Three them. Three and one, time. have okay. fun. And I'm a I'm a really good that's the thing. I'm a good haircut tipper. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't go out there tipping less than ten dollars. Right. Every time. Sure. But but I could, I thought they were really trying to get me to tip more they by were. those comments. I don't mean to say this. I don't mean to say this because I don't know these people. Do y'all think the thirty dollar tip was real? Well, that's that's what I. Well, let me read. say this. I, 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 I had a 15. person that I knew. Fifteen. <laughs> this was years ago. Hang on, hang on. Fifteen. All right, there we go. I, I had a person I knew, and this was years ago, and, and was a hairdresser. Mm-hmm. High dollar. High dollar. What does that dollar? mean? Dollar. Women come in and spend hundreds. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, gotcha. High you know, dollar place. Okay. We're, yeah. we're not talking about the barbershop. No, no, we ain't got the spending pole out. And, she, and this was years ago, so Barbara it's probably Barbara. higher now. Yeah, yeah. But she said she had her tip clip right there. She would stick a 20 in it so people would see it and feel oh. smart. You know, Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Smart. Heard play, hey, play the game. And I think they were playing a game with me yesterday. Yeah. I really did. They I, were. I absolutely did that. You got to load the tip jar at the beginning of your shift. I worked at a coffee shop my freshman year at college. Of course you did. And if I put just <laughs> change... In that in that jar, I would get nothing but change th- for the entire shift. I put, if I put a couple dollars in that jar, I would get a couple dollars yeah. over the shift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow, that was beer money. So, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. right. Yeah. Bring it on. Nothing you know, to be proud of. And you know, back to the reviews. I've hey, had I've had haircut. folks that, and I appreciate this. They even apologize. It's yeah. like, hey, I'm sorry, but this is how we either get incentives or bonuses or whatever if could you do it's almost like they apologize like i know i'm being a bit but could you give me a review because they're having to play the review game and i know it's frustrating I, to I us i understand that completely. but 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 some even just come out and go hey i'm so sorry especially dealerships and service departments yeah. and all that that's just, that's how they get kicked back what about when they go ahead and tell you and i need you to give me the top rating yes that's all they care that's about. that's it they tell you that if anything less, that really anything less, we get punished. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. How accurate is that? No, it's not. It's not. It's all a if, game. If you really want to know, look at look at the tips. I agree because re- they can look at that. Reviews that's a, that's in the thing. Reviews are manipulated. Yeah. E- everything you look at because of we all know how the system works. So even when you see a good reviews, you think, well, they, all those reviews have been manipulated. When y'all go to Amazon exactly. or whatever, do y'all look at reviews Never, to order no. something? Never. Sometimes I'll look at reviews. Um, Never. If I've got a couple products that are the same thing under a different brand, and I'll let's say I'm buying a TV, I may go look and of see. Of course, yeah, yeah. You know, that, you, you but know that's what I it. That's for? really the, the negative thing. ones. I yeah. want to see the negative what the, ones and what, what the they said are. about it and go, yeah. okay, no, yeah, good. I, I see yeah. that. But if you have it. a real good one and a negative one, who know? How do you know? Right. You're right. right. Most of yeah. the time, the negative one are is unreasonable. The people. negative yes. people went yeah. out of their way to do that. So or, I don't know, really, mom. If it's yeah. if it says if it says Ganelle Burgess underneath, pay attention. But they they honestly did. They paid her to take it down. They did. They gave her money. She cut a deal. What was it on? Yep. Or what? Uh, what was, was Amazon or something? Y'all remember what Adler? You you looked it up. That scam where I would get like um, like uh, they would pl- seen plum, stuff, plumber yeah. t- stuff. Like uh, it was uh, like yeah. uh, I don't know, just these little itty yeah. bitty things. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. the mail that just cost like forty five cents, and I would just get them in the mail. I never ordered it. <clears throat> yes, that's because if you uh, what did they say? If you accepted delivery, then they could put write a review for that for Some, it or something. I think so. And and. It's, it was Adler, f- Adler found the, the, the scam or None whatever. Of, there's ways to get around all this. Yeah. Yeah. What, what yeah. was the term for it? Uh, it, it starts with a B. It was, it was really hard to understand. Yeah. But, but but anyway, you deliver it. If you accept delivery, uh, you don't even have to pay for it. But Brushing. Yeah, brushing. Yeah, they get to write a review. Well, and it's what it's all about. They give themselves five well, stars. Why do they get to write a review? Because, because they ordered something. Because they, they, they act as you. Because you... I think that's the way we saw it. Is they they it's act a nice way of saying it's a scam. Yeah, yeah, that's what well, it is. But the uh, and they write a review. But going, we said oh, it, I love it. We said in the break. Oh, you should send me something I really need. Mm-hmm. We said in the break that we're know. we're old enough to remember this. There was a time where you went out and you busted your tail and you did a good job, and people paid you for the job. They tipped you for an exceptional job. Right. And then if it was super exceptional, I'm talking about five star level, you would then contact the business by letter, and then as we got more high tech by email or a call, Mm -hmm. and you would say, hey, I was into your establishment the other day, and -and so-and-so was exceptional. And I just want to tell you what a good job they did. And I really, really had a great experience at your restaurant, at your store, 
whatever with your service, but not anymore. Now, as we said, in, in we're, we're living in a time where we celebrate mediocrity. Everybody wants to be declared five stars when they're not. Mm-hmm. I mean, you realize five stars? Is, Look at our country. I everybody mean, can't be a five star no, right now. Yeah. No. <laughs> our <laughs> country is about a star and a half right now. And then sometimes it's just you, as we said earlier, you met my expectations. Rick, that, that to them is a five star. But that's point. no, a five star is exceeding yeah. my expectations. Your food came exactly. and Rick, it was hot and it's what you ordered. Five stars. So I'm supposed to celebrate <laughs> that you just did what should be expected? <laughs> five stars. On what I paid? <laughs> Top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Well, you, you heard us talking uh, about, uh, you know, uh, aging parents, uh, but now it's starting to feel like that the word aging is just Bubba and me now. Uh, I mean, yes, uh, I still have one of my parents still living, but I remember, you know, going through this when they were aging, dad, you know, had uh, had a hearing problem. And once he got to where he could not hear, uh, we begin to kind of lose him as, as a member of our family and in the conversations. And man, he he used to be the one that would uh, that would be leading the conversation. So it, it is sad to watch. Now, a lot of times when you have uh, hearing issues, one of the reasons people are still having those issues is that hearing aids are just too expensive. Can't can't afford them. Uh, well, the folks at MD Hearing understood that completely, uh, and 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 they said, you know what, this is this is not right. Something needs to be done. And what's one of the things you can do if you think something needs to be done? Do it yourself. Uh, so they did in 2024. Uh, if you're still paying thousands of dollars for hearing aids um, that don't ever even work right, uh, you need to go to MD Hearing. It's FDA registered rechargeable hearing aid that costs a fraction of what typical hearing aids cost. MD Hearing's Neo model cost over 90%. You didn't think I was going to say that, did you? 90% less than clinic hearing aids. And and the Neo actually fits inside your ear. No one will even know it's there. It was founded, as I said, by an ENT surgeon who solved the problem and said that something's got to be done. Uh, all, MD Hearing has sold over one and a half million hearing aids, and they offer a 45-day risk-free trial with 100% money-back guarantee so you buy with confidence. Are you ready? Here's the call to action. Go to mdhearing.com, okay, mdhearing.com right now, and you want to use the code Bubba, okay? Uh, that's the new $297 when you buy a pair offer, plus they're adding a free extra charging case. That's a $100 value because you are part of the Rick and Bubba show. So go right now to mdhearing.com, use the code Bubba to get the $297 special when you buy a pair, including a free charger, mdhearing.com, the code Bubba. better because we've learned and, and we're going to apply the, the stuff that we've, we, we've uh, had the privilege of being a part of today. John, over the years, I know you've been a, a great speaker and you've been a coach. Uh, you've also written a few books and got a lot of this down on paper, which is good for people. How, how many books have you written now on leadership? Well, total books. I've I, so, they told me the other day that I've written 86. So, you know. <laughs> I, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of writing. <laughs> well, well, yeah, it's a lot. Of, well, well, first of all, when I, somebody says you've written 86 books, they're kind of amazed by it. I said, well, don't be amazed. First of all, the first qualification to write 86 books is you have to be old. <laughs> I mean, <think> <laughs> that's hey, right. hey, if, if you're not old, you can't write that many books. You've got to have a lot of years. So I'm not sure it's amazing. It's just the fact that I've been consistent in writing to, again, to add value to people. I, I've never, I didn't write or I didn't become an author to be able to say I have written a book. I became an author to add value to people and influence people that I would really never know because they'll pick up the book someplace in the world. And, and, uh, I had no idea, you know, 34 million books later, I had no idea that, um, I'd be able to help so many people, so, but it's, it's, it's something I love to do. It's, I've, it's, people ask me, what's your favorite book? And I always say, it's the book I'm writing right now. I just, <laughs> you know, it's, it, and in fact, I think when, when the book I'm writing right now, isn't my favorite book, I think I'll stop writing because I'm not probably giving it my very best shot. And, and why would I put out a book that wasn't my very best shot? So I just love adding value to people. And, and that's one of the, again, that's why, you know, 
Uh, Chris Hodges is an outstanding, incredible leader, and I've known him for years, and we have a great friendship. But I've watched him just uh, develop an incredible community that does nothing but add value to everything that he touches and every person that he touches. And, and so to partner with him in this impact conference is just my honor and privilege. And I always uh, look on my calendar and, and get kind of excited and say, Hey, I, I've got an event that I'm going to participate in and be a part of. That's just going to help a lot of people. That's why I love coming. Well, when you think about the times we're living in, I know that's probably the reason the topic is resilience. Uh, nothing is is normal, and and you know it's one thing to have to you know uh, have have be resolute to persevere over a short period of time, but so many people's lives and businesses and and everything is just completely turned upside down. I mean, I'm sitting in my house right now, doing doing the show as opposed to the studio because of you know the ongoing uh, issues and concerns with this pandemic. Uh, you know, businesses have had to rearrange and rethink everything. Individuals, uh, if if you're if you're a leader, you know, if you're you know the leader in your family, your your family keeps looking to you. So uh, now more than ever, this concept of resilience uh, is is paramount. It is. It really is. And and when when I talk about resilience, a couple things quickly. One is. Uh, I share with people that everything that they want or need in their life, but they don't have, but they want it or need it, but they don't have it. It's outside of their comfort zone. That, that's why they don't have it. And, and this uh, COVID has just taken everybody out of their, out of their comfort zone. And, and so I look at it and I say, It is six minutes past the hour. Thanks for being with us from the Big Boy Studio uh, out on the bleeding edge of technology coming to you from Sweet Home, Alabama to the world. Uh, don't forget, coming up this week, uh, Bill Bubba Bussy, uh, Hoover, Alabama, the land of 1047, WZZK. Uh, he'll be there for a celebrity roast of Hoover, Alabama's uh, police chief, uh, Chief Nick. Uh, if you want details, go to rickandbubba.com under upcoming events. Themanchurch.com coming up this uh, weekend. Two man churches. Andy Blanks uh, at West Mobile Baptist. That's a breakfast for men on Saturday. And then they'll go back into the small group curriculum if you want to join the strategy there. Then coming up Saturday night, Laurel, Mississippi, Salem Heights Baptist Church. They're continuing in the men's discipleship strategy. This is their next uh, man church service. Rich Wingo. We'll be there, and you find all those details at themanchurch.com under events. Uh, Bubba, welcome back. Uh, we've got um, – it is odd. Uh, Break, uh, breaking news. What? Caitlin Clark just scored another basket. Well, there you go. <laughs> you may not know that. So uh, Caitlin Clark uh, probably has done uh, more uh, for women's uh, uh, basketball than anybody that I've ever known. I I don't recall ever updating people on uh, on women's basketball very much. Uh, in my life as a broadcaster, uh, but uh, <laughs> but but what what guy. she's doing in uh, in women's basketball is incredible, <clears throat> and uh, and there's some other incredible women that also we're we're hearing about because of her. Uh, but last night, uh, we're, we're, are we down? What are we down to with the women's? This uh, the, they're the headed to the final four, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. this puts them in the final four. Mm-hmm. Yes, it okay. does. Yeah. So they beat last year's champion, Correct. right? Yeah, at, it was a rematch. At, uh, mm-hmm. LSU ninety four eighty seven. Bubba, you mentioned it. Caitlin Clark. Uh, puts up 41 points. Uh, <laughs> and, just incredible shooting, by the way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if she is left alone for half a second, and she she also passes the ball good, too. If yeah. there's other people mm-hmm. open, she moves it around. Yeah. But, 12 uh, assists last night to go along with that 41. Yeah, that, yeah. that's impressive. You but, hey, you, you better not take y'all off her for half a second. So, you don't need much room to drain one. I think we did a story about this, and I was going to ask you guys about this. So um, <clears throat> I know this may not shock you, uh, but I don't really um, – I don't know much about the WNBA, right, uh, right. Which, which makes me like most Americans. But um, So Caitlin Clark, um, I would assume, 
is doing pretty well under the NIL thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. We ran very that much list. so. Yeah. Can she she's probably going to take a pay cut? Well, I should say, I mean, yeah. you, you well, she'll keep those sponsors. She'll keep those, keep those yeah. sponsors. Right. See, that's yeah. the people think they're taking pay cuts now. They're not. They actually just carry that on with them. Right. Well, I guess that, then you've answered my question. Her endorsements will pay her more than the WNBA will. Oh, oh yes. yes. Not Big even time. close. Yeah. It's not even so, close. So, well, let, let me ask you, and I understand that some people would sign on to her and want to sponsor her, but. Yep. Are some of them going to be like school sponsors? I, mm-hmm. I want to support my school, and they wouldn't no. support them as they move on. But she's got like State yeah, Farm. Yeah, yeah, like the, the, the yeah. list big we corporate. ran were yeah. like yeah. big national Ooh, names. Okay. Right. Yeah, hers were big ones. But yeah. I think the, the starting salary, the rookie salary in the WNBA is like 74000 a year. Yeah. Okay. So really what you're seeing Something here like is Caitlin Clark, the WNBA needs mo- needs her more than she needs them. Because and, she and, brings a lot of publicity. And let me, there. Speedy. I think, uh, and and correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't the three point league? Who is that? Who owns yeah, that? Is yeah, that uh, uh, Ice Cube? Ice Cube mm-hmm. owns it. Has offered her more money to go play in that league with really? the guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did not. know. I mean, it was after like, five million. It was dollars. like me. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah, I think that's right. Mm-hmm. Of course. So, so she's got options. Right. Good for her. Uh, I think I think the, sh- the three point lane, if she, if they can get her the ball quick, she might be able to pull it off. But th- it is going to be a little different shooting over a grown man yeah, than shooting over women. Yeah, it see, is. we don't know where to stop. You got yeah. this. Yeah. May, this may have been. This is just ridiculous. It is. It is. Up. Listen, there's no bigger fan of Caitlin Clark yes. than than me and what's going on now. But let's not get crazy. I, if you Real break down stupid. the people that are at the highest level, yeah. let's say the NBA, you got to think back to when they were in middle school and high school. Then even in college, yeah. they were the best, and they owned everything. Now you they might go to the NBA, you don't even know they're on the bench. Yeah. They're that good. Listen, okay, at the okay. highest level, <clears throat> and you're telling me that she could jump into that? Ka- Caitlin no. Clark, no. Caitlin no. Clark, Paige Beckers, this freshman from USC, what South Carolina's been doing, NC State. That's phenomenal yes, in your world, yes. but stay in your world. Just stay okay? there. Uh, that, why that's, can't that be enough? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's amazing. For his lead. And yeah. I get why he's no, doing no, it. But, but, that's a but, good business but, decision but, on his front. But, yeah. Greg, uh, well, there Greg, has even been, if she don't come, just everybody talking right. about it. There's been national sports hosts of shows saying that she needs to try out really? for the yeah. NBA. Yeah. Oh, for so, the NBA? Oh, yes. yes. No. Yeah. Oh, she needs to be on a run. I they think don't, the three hundred three would be tough. For people them. don't know. The NBA. They don't know where to stop. I mean, she crazy. is the best of the best of where. Let her continue and go to the WNBA and have a great career. Can we not stop there? I don't understand. I don't know it. why that's not enough. I but, don't know. Well, it's back to the fake world again. Let's, really, let's stay in the real yeah. world. We're seeing this with the trans athletes. It's, it's yeah. a big difference. Yeah. Can't, can't, they, can't we just talk that she's the one of the best female? Basketball players, if not the best that we've ever seen. There you go. And leave it at that. Yeah. Right yeah. now, she seems the best. He throws them in. And that, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that, that's a big accomplishment. It and is. like you say, the WNBA needs people like her because she's got fans all, all you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, big yeah. Man. yeah if They've she, never even, well, I mean, I, I never paid any attention to female basketball, but I'll pay attention to her Well, stats. it's like we were talking about if they in the NCAAs had come to our town, I would have gone to watch yeah, her I play. Too. You know, I would I would have made an effort to yeah. go see her play when I don't know the other players or really follow that league. But because yeah. of that, she is the best of the best. I want to see her play. And she'll bring that to the WNBA. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. All right. So then we get into this. And I I, don't, I told Speedy in the break, I, I'm just so tired of, of the fake world and I don't want to participate in it. So I don't want to pretend that LSU is doing something that they really aren't doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to be fair in all this with the thing involving the national anthem. Uh, I do think you might want to ask the coach what's going on before you start going out and and saying that they're unpatriotic and they hate the country and and all this. But there is something that people are talking about. And and maybe they do, but I'd just like to – Give them the Tap benefit. the brakes a minute. Yeah, yeah get them exactly. the benefit of the doubt. Tap the break. And, and yeah. why don't you tell us what you're doing? I know it's a strange concept. Yeah, right. You right. actually go to the person and ask them what they're doing um, and why they're doing it. But um, in, 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 you go ahead and uh, assume. But anyway, so the hour players were there out there holding hands during the national anthem, and the LSU players left the court before the anthem was performed. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I know in the kickoff hour, y'all brought this up, and mm-hmm. it stirred a lot of phone calls, and – we can revisit that, but um, from what I heard and see in the story, is the coach says we've been doing this all year. I, we we we're not out there during the national anthem. We're in there pregame getting our game plan together. Then we take the court after the national mm-hmm. anthem. This is not 
some new thing that we've done. We've yeah. been doing this. We've done this all season. Yeah, she was quoted as saying, "Our pregame routine is we come in a twelve minute mark and we're doing. Our, we don't. We didn't even know when the anthem was being played last night. She was referring to last night. So we brought that up in her quote, saying there was nothing intentional about it. We're not trying to be disrespectful. And then the callers and emailers started saying, "Well, we follow LSU. This is some. They've been doing this all year." They come out right before tip-off or yeah. whatever. But would so, it be the same reason she said, this is just what we do, and pre- this is how we do pregame? I, I guess so, yeah. It's not an indictment on the national anthem. Right. We we don't even know when the different places do the national anthem. Yeah. The 12-minute mark, exactly. we, we go in. Yeah. Now, if you want to play it before the 12-minute mark, I guess we'd be out The South playing. Carolina, the women's team, this happened to them over the weekend as well, mm-hmm. and they had to answer the same question because you had a bunch of people out there jumping to conclusions. Mm-hmm. And – um. And it's a, it was a time that so their what, coach answered it the same way. It's a timing issue. What mm-hmm. what does do, do the conferences dictate what they do pregame, or does each team decide how they do that? How does that? The yeah. conferences. Somebody had told you guys earlier that Conference yeah. USA they don't have anybody out there for the national anthem, right? In their conference, I think that's what uh, is speaking. Yeah, uh, there was a. Um, so I think you're right, email. but I think it is. Conference. Yeah. Conferences do dictate that, yeah. and we've seen it in football where. Uh, Big Ten does it different than the SEC, and and I don't know what those marching orders look like, but it is different depending on the conference. Yeah, and I imagine the NCAA probably has a say so in this at some point when you get to March Madness and the Final Four. Yeah. So, so, uh, so anyway. So uh, what? Who are the Final Four now for women? You got UConn, you got South Carolina, I think NC State, and then Iowa. Mm-hmm. So we and, and two... UConn has a phenomenal player as well. She may be actually better. As far as all around basketball player than Caitlin Clark. Mm-hmm. So UConn Paige and Becker. North Carolina State have men and women. Correct. 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 Yes. Yes. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. We'll come back. First phone troll of the day. Uh, we'll, we'll take that at 866 We Be Big. All 10 lines are available. You can make comments, ask questions, bring information uh, to the table. Uh, so we'll, we'll come back and hit that. And if you dial right now, you already get there. The real Greg Burgess will move into the call screening slot. And uh, we'll chat with you, America, when the Rick and Bubba show continues right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Don't look at yourself as being lost. Look at yourself as having a new opportunity to recreate. And, um, And we have to make a choice of either being resilient or resistant. And if I'm resistant... I find myself not learning and growing and developing in the new environment. But the moment that I go to resilience, I'm open. I'm open to, okay, what does this have to teach me? How am I going to become better because of it? What am I going to learn out of it? And that's a whole different approach. We're all under the same um, uh, pandemic, but we don't all respond to it the very same way. Am I going to swim upstream and and go get to where I were, or am I going to kind of float with the flow? And uh, no one, no one has ever drifted themselves to a, a great position or place in their life. And uh, we have to be very intentional at this time. But the people that will be and are are going to be people that are going to find incredible benefits and blessings. Yes, even out of the pandemic. And I know that for a fact. Twenty, you know, twenty twenty hasn't been a great year, but about twenty twenty three, we're going to begin to see the results of people that um, uh, got creative people that became intentional and all of a sudden began to make the best of what they had and learn new things and tried new things and created new things. And that's kind of very exciting to me. I, this will be a, this is what I also would call not only wilderness year, but the dividing year. And what I mean by dividing is this is a make or break year for a lot of people. And I, I, I guess I have such a passion to teach right now because I, I want it to be a, a, a make year for people, and it can be. And I want to just give them, I don't know, sol- sound advice that will just help them, you know, get to be who they want to really be. For the Rick and Bubba Show, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Uh, thanks for being with us. Hey, don't forget, uh, today, now Cyber Monday, uh, and if you're going to be uh, shopping online, rickandbubba.com, I mean, click on the store. I'm, I'm wearing, by the way, one of our – this hoodie's been very popular. I've got it on right now. For those of you that may be watching on, on YouTube, uh, a lot of big items there. Of course, our Christmas box is a, is a wonderful idea. It comes in a logo uh, a box with, with some cool stuff inside. It's got Rick and Bubba beanies, some Rick and Bubba socks. Uh, Bubba and I throw in some of our favorite snacks. Yeah, got to have the food in there. Got to have gotta the food. Got to have the food and in boy, there. And, that, they're good, too. I mean, both, get, both yeah, packs. That, yeah, and you also get the, the Christmas ornament. 
inside that box and a card, a Christmas card from the entire show autographed to the person or to yourself if you want it. But there's all kinds of cool stuff. So shop Rick and Bubba dot com uh, in our store today. So, Bubba, um, you, you, uh, YouTubers are, are in the news. Well, yeah, so- we, we've got so many things over the past weekend that have come about. This actually happened last week. But have you seen this video? The guy's name is uh, S.A.A. And then FOMBA, I guess, F-O-M-B-A. How would you say the first name S-A-A? I'm sorry, S-A-A. How would you say that? Wouldn't you have to say it's say or saw? Saw? Uh, Saw? Say? And then FOMBA? Is that how you would say it? F-O-M-B-A. Well, Rick, You may be shocked by this. I'm not familiar with this person. Yeah, I I am not either. Uh, But, Rick, apparently he's a big YouTuber, okay? And... To try to get more views, he jumped off the very top of the Pennybacker Bridge into the Colorado River in Austin. And I'm talking about he didn't jump from, like, the bottom of the bridge. He jumped from the architect over the top of the architecture of the steel framing that was holding the bridge into the Colorado River. And quite frankly, I'm shocked he didn't kill himself. Yeah. He only fractured his skull, Rick. That's all. Yeah, so good news is only a fractured skull. Yeah, I'm looking. This thing has an arch over the top of it, uh, as you mentioned, and he jumped from there into the Colorado River, thus fracturing his skull. Uh, you could tell he kind of lost uh, his balance as he was going down, and that's what I mean, because you shouldn't fracture your skull if you're going feet first into the water. But he started flipping. Uh, he, started he started leaning back. Yeah, he started. Yeah. You can see where his – his, his arms and everything, and his legs mm. are all flying everywhere. And I guess he landed. Well, frankly, like I'm, I'm shocked he didn't injure something else uh, trying to go in feet first. But uh, he says, Rick, into the camera before he jumps, I don't see no fun in living a normal life. That was from yeah, his, but- his, his YouTube channel. Well, I think I'm going to tweet out on, on my Twitter feed on Twitter and Parlor. <laughs> I think I'll put in, I don't see no fun in fracturing my skull. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he, he put out that he fractured his skull, and there was some bleeding. Some. Uh, yeah. Some bleeding. Uh, We're back. Uh, time for the Patriot Mobile phone troll. Make your phone money count at patriotmobile.com slash bubble. To the phones we go, 30 seconds a pop on the Patriot Mobile phone troll. That means, bam, the buzzer uh, will Ooh. end you at 30 seconds. No meaningless shout-outs, no shameless plugs. Uh, this is designed for you to make comments, bring them to the table. The real Greg Burgess on the phones. If you dial now, uh, you should get in. We will start uh, with Dana out of Pineapple, Alabama. <laughs> trolling, trolling, trolling. Keep them phone to trolling. Here we come, phone trolling, phone troll. Dana, 30 seconds. Go ahead. Hello. It was a big buildup for Dana. Yeah, boy. Dana? Um, yeah, go is ahead. Is this me? I'm Dana from Montgomery. Yep. Well, it's not pineapple, but Close it's... Close enough. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Your phone is tied to uh, pineapple. I, I got calling... news for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was calling because Auburn men's basketball was out on the court for the national anthem every game. Okay. I'm a huge Alabama fan, but I love Bruce Pearl. I love what he stands for. Sure. If you ever see him in a suit, he's going to have a lapel pin with the. Um, uh, yeah. Bruce is a great guy. Class act. No uh, doubt. Uh, go to. Uh, let's go to. And G- I, I'm not sure about the rules for basketball in the SEC. I don't know if that's league dominated or, or dictated or each team decides or what sure uh jada uh welcome to rick and bubba 30 seconds go ahead hey guys good morning hey hey uh i just wanted to bring up a few topics one uh the red heifers in israel becoming of age tomorrow and uh the eclipse on the eight just wanted to see what you guys thought about that did you hear the show yesterday at all? Um, no, we, we didn't talk red heifer. Now, what, are, are red heifers scared of eclipses? Is that what, what, is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, no, sir. Uh, it's just the, uh, the sacrifice on the temple. Of- 
Right. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're familiar with all the, the red heifer, and we, uh, we got pretty deep on uh, some of the uh, docu- – not documentaries. Well, maybe. I mean, some of them are an hour long. Mm-hmm. Uh, people talking about the eclipse and, and all the things biblically that may or may and not the be. last two clip, eclipses have crossed at a place called Rapture, right. Illinois. Apparently, that is correct, right. what we could see yesterday. Yeah, the, all these things are very, very interesting. They are, yeah. uh, and as we said on the program yesterday, uh, no mm-hmm. one knows. Anybody that tells you they know, they don't. Uh, birth pains, yes. Does that mean the day or the hour? It doesn't. Uh, I'm, none of us know. No one who says they know knows. Uh, but uh, kind of back to what we talked about yesterday, uh, I'm always interested in these things. They usually don't dominate my time. Uh, but they are interesting. But they're, but yeah. they're very interesting, but... Because, you know, I hope at some point when people hear these things, they go and they actually open their Bible and read about it. There you it. go. That's, uh, you know, you can go to the to the authority on it. Let me ask you this, because this does come up from time to time, and maybe we've covered this, but of all the signs of the end of time, is there one that really you hang your hat on that you watch or keep up with a little closer? Uh not really. Uh, I, I think uh, the, the rebuilding of the temple, but then yeah, you, that's mine, right? But there. then you get yeah. into the the cornerstone. Are you pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib? Because if you're pre-trib, uh, as far as the church is concerned, none of these signs mean anything. Uh, we could be that many people believe that everything that needs to be fulfilled for the church to be taken has already been fulfilled, and then the rest of the stuff happens in the in the tribulation during that time. Yeah, uh, but. The I think a big marker, and I think we agree on this. Yeah. We haven't discussed it lately. Yeah. Um, the temple has to be rebuilt in Israel on the Temple Mount because it's going to be, you know, um, defiled. blasphemed and yeah. defiled. Yeah. Uh, now, now some of our brothers think that's already happened, no. but I, I don't read it. That I don't way. agree with that. No. Um, so for it to be defiled, it has to be rebuilt. That will not be an easy or quick process. Uh, I, to me, when you start building that, you, you, Hey, you're in the two minute warning. Yeah. There, know? there are people that think we're already in the tribulation too. And I disagree right. with that. And cause we're, I, fr- I don't understand that. Well, concept. we're, we're fresh off the study of the revelation. I mean, fresh. <clears throat> so, uh, so I was immersed in uh, all sorts of commentary and all sorts of, of biblical studies on that. And what I'll say about the tribulation, uh, and this only this show would do this, <laughs> Um, I know things are horrible right now in many ways, but as Bachman Turner Overdrive yep. said, you ain't, ain't seen, seen nothing, nothing yet. yet. <laughs> Dying, <laughs> baby. And, and one of the reasons, which I may, I do lean as a pre-trib person, one of the reasons that God's wrath has, is, is, still, is still being held back to a degree is because of the church. Right. Uh, the, the salt and light of the church is in the world, so God's wrath is still in play, but it's minimized by the salt and light of his church still doing the job it's, we were called to do. And when yeah. that church is gone, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you. When that word, when the, the church is gone, God's wrath will now be unrestrained. And or is, as we like to say, hammer time. And it is mm. not. Yep. It, you, you don't want to be here for that. If your plan is I'll wait and repent when I see the tribulation because I'll know it's real, you, that's not a bad plan. That's, and, a, and I, that's, you know, a, that's a really bad plan. I, I've heard this red heifer talk for mm-hmm. my entire lifetime. Mm-hmm. And there was a guy in Texas growing red heifers and raising them. And, sure. you know, this guy, and heifer that guy, and red heifer here, red heifer there. Here a heifer, there a heifer. But, but again, <laughs> for, for that to be used in the sacrifice, you have to have the temple. So to Correct. me, the temple is the it's key biggie. to it. And uh, that like, you don't want to get locked in too far on one thing, but to me, that's the biggest hill to climb, so to speak. And Temple we, Mount. And yeah. we've said no here, pun intended. and I don't mean to <laughs> speak. Because that, that area is going to be hard to construct anything in. Yeah. I don't mean to speak on behalf of the entire show, but, Bubba, you said it yesterday, so I feel pretty confident we're all on the same page on this. Here's what we know is true. At this moment, as I look at the clock in real time, every single one of us, Rick Burgess included, I have never been closer than I am right now to one of two things. My earthly death and facing the glorified Christ, or his return. I've never been closer to either one of those, never, than I am right now. And that's good enough for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's intense enough for me. Yep, yeah. yep. Uh, we continue. Uh, let's go to Jack. Welcome to Rick and Bubba. Jack, go ahead. Uh, yes, yeah, Bobby Grass Green Acres. 
Thanks for the Thank call, you, buddy. <laughs> What's on your mind? Hey, guys, I just wanted to ask about uh, what, what do you think about some of these states mobilizing the National Guard for the eclipse day? Well, the way people act these days, uh, something weird like that, and the nut jobs that are out there, it might be smart. <laughs> what what are they what are they expecting to happen, sir? Do you know, or what have you heard? Uh, I haven't I haven't read anything. They they. I, I haven't. Eat. You're the first person to tell me that states I mean, are yeah, doing that. The only I, I kind of feel like there'll be a run on sunglasses and welding masks, but other than that, I don't know <laughs> well, anything really of value during that four minute period. No, really, I think if, if that is true, what he said. But there are a lot of people, and you're hearing it, that are end of timers. Oh, yeah. And and so oh, th- yeah. some of this stuff is going to make people act like a fool. Well, I, I bet, up in here. I bet we'll have a cult do something weird. Mm-hmm. You know, they love these big events. Yeah. There's somebody mixing up Kool-Aid right now. All right. We uh, <laughs> we didn't get a lot of calls there because yeah. of the red heifer call. Right, but we'll uh, <laughs> we'll come back and take more of your phone calls. But no, it was good. I mean, she asked They're questions. Pretty cows. Yeah, there's so many things have been said. Pretty last cows. Uh, <laughs> they really are. We'll, we'll, we'll take your phone calls next. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. But a right. uh, little gray there on that exact definition of that. But uh, good night. Yeah, I, I usually start the day and have on my list of things to avoid fractured skull. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, just his uh, ability to get that high. I mean, on that bridge, just just getting up there to jump was was it looked like to me a challenge. Just the way yeah, the, 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 I, yeah, the bridge I, is yeah, structured. That w- wouldn't that be enough if you were a YouTuber? Look at me, I climbed on top yeah. of the arch. Yeah, yeah. I'm not scared to be up here. <laughs> I don't want to live no normal life. I'm on the arch. <laughs> yeah. Look at me, I got up here. <laughs> I just, you know, I kind of have to wonder if this was to to get views. Uh, they said the event garnered about yeah. 8,000 views in 48 hours. I would want to get a few more views out of that, don't y'all? I mean, guys, guys, we've I thrown biscuits and got that many. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this this YouTube uh, that, that those of you that are watching today, today's archive will garner anywhere from fifteen to 18,000 views. Uh, so i got to tell you something. If I'm fracturing my skull, <laughs> jumping off the arch of a bridge, I, I got it. I got to exceed eight thousand. <laughs> yes, Rick. I'm just thankful that people will watch and listen to this show, and we don't have to fracture our skull for Amen. views. You know what I'm saying? Amen. I've had people say the show makes them feel like they have a fractured <laughs> skull, but that's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's a few things we've done for the show, you know, but not fracturing our skull. No, we're we're gonna skip on that. Yeah. Don't try you to know, pass on that one. Well, we you know, speedy adventures of the past. Some people have said, you know, we've always said, what's left for him to do? Well, this is one. Yeah. Rick, oh, yeah. easy. Send you to Austin to jump that, off the bridge. Yeah. And, of course, Ryan would want you to be on fire I when you do. Well, I'm not going to set myself on fire or fracture my skull. Well, and uh, but that that I'm with you guys. That The 8,000 views has to be a little disappointing. And, and I know that we have another, Bubba, you were telling me, YouTube story involving YouTubers. You know, we're forgetting, our, 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 y'all were talking about it, that Mike Tyson came out of retirement and boxed over the weekend. Mm-hmm. And, and we can come back and discuss this in a minute, but I want to be sure I have this correct. So there was the undercard. Uh, first of all, Tyson fighting is enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, Roy Jones Jr. Is that who he fought? Yeah, and yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get the audio and video after the fight. It was declared a draw. Which was and, shocking and, if you watched and it. I didn't think Mike Tyson would go along with that, uh, being that uh, of all the trash talking he did before. But he was very he, – he kept saying, I'm good with it. I'm good <laughs> He could barely talk, but he, he kept saying he was good with it. He was out of breath. But one of the undercard fights is what's getting all the PR, and that is Nate Robinson, who fought uh, Jake. Is his name Jake Paul? He's also mm-hmm. a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Jake Paul knocked him out cold. Yeah, you remember they started this trash talking a while back, and I think Nate actually started it. Rick, if you could see this. You could. Yeah, I mean, he what? knocked wow. him out. Watch him hit. Let's see it all the way through, Adler, when he hits the ground. Did you see it? Because yeah, he, he is out cold. Yeah, mm-hmm. they uh, it shows him, and Nate's in the corner here, and then he tries to come out, and with the, wow. right, with the right cross, he just gets hammered. I mean. The, the, there is you – can, you don't get the full – feel from what we saw there of the of the video i saw where he falls like a pine tree and and it just shows him he's not moving yeah, no, in the ring he's I mean, laid out and everybody started putting up the uh you know the the rocky scene where apollo creed gets knocked out but how about this this youtube guy is a pretty big boy you know 
He, he, well, pre- yeah. he pretty yeah. pretty well built and, and apparently has thrown a punch or two. Yeah. Bubba, it, it sounds like I just heard us say that one YouTuber fractured his skull. <laughs> the other one fractured somebody else's skull. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Now, Nate Robinson but, played in the NBA, and I understand he was on the practice squad for the Seattle Seahawks for several years. So he's, a, he's an athlete, too, but wow. He got that old chin dotted for him, <laughs> yes, didn't he? Yes, he did. Top of the hour. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, before we went to the break, we were talking about the big boxing match this weekend. And we got a lot of sports to cover. Trust me, there was a lot going on this weekend. But yes. we were, uh, we were, we we're going to talk about Mike Tyson's bout. But one of the undercards, Nate Robinson, former NBA player, former dunk champion. How many times, Hams, did he win? Three-time Time. dunk champion. Uh, he also went on after his NBA career to play on the Seattle Seahawks practice squad and is a, is a great athlete. But he took on this guy, Jake Paul, who is a, apparently a YouTuber or something. And has boxed before. And, and he's a beast, man. He's a big old boy. And it didn't work out well for Nate. He got knocked out. But I wanted you to see this other video, Rick, where you get a, 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 a better feel of what actually happened. You're eventually. Yeah, make him think. There you go. Faint step. Oh, there's a faint from Jake. Oh, yeah. Cody. Oh, my God. Lord have mercy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. What, a, what in the world? <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were watching. Here we go. Uh, we'll continue your phone calls right now. Uh, you can call us at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Uh, Greg's still there, and we'll, we'll chat with some more of you that were on hold, too. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're talking a lot. Uh, it's, brought, it's been brought up with the eclipse, and, you know, we talked red heifers and all this stuff. But one thing that we all know is, uh, you know, uh, where Israel stands as the center of the universe uh, with with everything uh, that uh, that is is to come, uh, and you know, let's face it, uh, face it, uh, the folks in Israel right now they need us. Uh, Miles Israel is a great great organization. If you look the reviews that they get uh, and and how they have been just patted on the back, and they, every time that you know they they go up for review, they receive the highest ratings for those that vet out charities. You know, you need to look at that kind of stuff because some charities can be. You know, not everything they, they claim, but you, you will love the integrity of Ma'oz Israel. It's a Jewish organization. These are Messianic Jewish people. They, they believe that Christ is Messiah, and we can join them and together make a difference by going to IsraelNeedsMe.com. Now, the people of Israel need our help, and we can help. I mean, you're talking about lives being destroyed, uh, the horrors that we see. I mean, terrorism has just, um, uh, you know, uh, wreaked havoc uh, on the people of Israel and now the world, the pressures that are being put on them, impacting so many people. Uh, they've been hunted down on the streets, kidnapped, slaughtered in their homes, soldiers, women, elderly, children, entire families. Uh, innocent lives are shattered with communities in despair. Emergency war relief is needed, and, and we're asking you to check them out right now by going to IsraelNeedsMe.com. And, and let's have a positive impact. Let's, let's help. The atrocities of war and the pain that it's creating is going to last, unfortunately, for years. And, of course, the, uh, the people of Israel are very familiar with this. And this is a small way maybe we can help them regain some of that hope and rebuild their lives. And things like just food and medical supplies and children in school. Uh, let's make a lasting difference right now. Uh, maybe maybe it's time for you to do something with what God's given you that really matters uh, for the people that he loves. Israel needs me. Dot com. Direct link also at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Uh, to the phones we go, uh, Ashley is in Mobile, Alabama. Ashley, welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you today? Doing good, fellas. How about y'all? We're good. good. We're good. Uh, this is for Helms, and I don't want to throw him over the butt, but the past several times he has hosted the festivals, he has not played the national anthem at six o'clock. He always plays the welcome to the show. Any reason for that? Yeah, I'm boycotting America. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you the state of it right now. I'm I, 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 would you? 
Uh, I, I like here it is. I got 90 million things going on in here and, and in that one spot. And I just, I just don't do it. That's the thing. I've got about six different things I'm trying to play and yeah. time down yeah. and, and all that. And the banks and the, you got different banks here, banks there. And I just, I don't mess with it. Brought yeah. to you about buys to read. I mean, yeah. A best of yeah. is a little, it's, it's, it's a, lot, a lot going on by yeah. yourself. Yeah. It's very, very complicated. And, and Helms, you just laid it out. I mean, when these guys are hosting it, they're here by themselves. And, and honestly, sometimes it's one of those things where I'm so caught up into doing everything. I don't, I don't even know what time it is. Right. Well, another and, thing I'll tell you from, you know, the, the sitting in the one seat, uh, you know, Monday through Friday on regular weeks, you know, there's always been for me, I, I think to me, look, I, I, we're doing it and we do it for good reason. You know, I stopped playing different versions of it because everybody has some reason they hate the version that I was playing. And I got tired of that. It's kind of like the flag people. We want to be patriotic, but you get nitpicked so much you get tired of doing it. You know, oh, you're not doing yeah, it right. Yeah. And, uh, and so, but I will say this. If you're if you're in your automobile and you're listening to the car or you're you know at home, we have just taken a six minute commercial break, and then the national anthems. That sometimes some of them were three and four minutes long. We play one now that I think is what yeah ninety seconds, two and a half. But do you realize how long the people been waiting for something to happen on the show? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you you could be in route somewhere. And and you all you ever heard was a commercial break in the national anthem. You never yeah. heard any of the show, yeah. and, and so there's also on best of shows they're trying to time out the breaks to fill a segment. So I, I'd show a little grace on that, uh, or not. I really don't care. Well, that's right. just the way I do it. And well, you sometimes ask, I do play it. That's yeah. the thing is, yeah. but sometimes you get in here, and to your point, it is crazy that you hit a button over here and certain musical artists is playing it. So you get that argument. Yep. Why are you playing that? They don't. Right. They don't. They're doing this, or they're Democrats. Well, well at that's some a, point you just go. You know what? I'm going to play yeah. the best of bit because yeah. like, that's my job. I don't move on. I'm well, not worried about that. Well, that's the reason why I now do the military choir only because there was yeah, so much bickering good. over what version of it you played and yeah. whatever. When I tell you, when when things even like patriotism, when they when it becomes legalistic. It yeah. really takes the whole joy out of it. It really does. And and, and, and you get to the point where you're like, who, let's yeah. just not fool with it. You can't make nobody happy. <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, we continue. Uh, let's go to Brant in Alabama. Brant, go ahead. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good. Oh, great. Good. <laughs> hey, y'all were talking about uh, online reviews earlier, and I had a situation with a uh, local auto repair shop recently. And uh, so first week goes by, and I call up there and say, hey, is there an update? You know, what's the problem? I just got a bunch of excuses. Second week goes by, same thing. Third week goes by, and I go in there physically, and I say, hey, what's the deal? You know, is there any update? Basically, same excuses. Well, the fourth week, I uh, put a review on Google. I was kind about it, but I just explained the whole situation. And, hey, guess what? The next day, I got an answer back from the auto repair shop. Well, now you sound like my mom. I mean, it's like, you know what? This review (laughs) thing, you have to remember, they tell you how important it is. And when they don't do the job well, you find out they mean it, I guess. Because uh, it, when you put a bad review, you got you, you, it shouldn't be like that. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't take that, but well, uh, apparently it works. What do they say to get the airline's attention? Go on social media? Go on social media. And tag them? Yeah. And they'll, quit, they'll respond quick then. Yeah, it's different. Craig in Virginia. Hey, Craig, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. I'm going to try to get this on 30 seconds. So have fun with it, Bubba. It just, I like, I'll do something crazy. Like if they're pestering me for a review, like if it's a restaurant, I'll make long, like three paragraph comments about the tile in the bathroom. <laughs> so what I would do with your wire is I would say uh, insulators are tremendous. The clamps hook easily to the, to the, uh, the body's neck bolts. Can't wait for the next big lightning storm to test, to test out this, this cable. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I would just do something crazy like that and have fun with it. Go on Amazon and look up the banana slicer and read the reviews for that. It's hysterical. <laughs> well, like you know what? I could have fun with it. Usually I don't have enough time to do it, but, right. uh, I, I may start doing that. That's funny. Uh, my, Michael, uh, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Michael. Is that me? If your name's Michael. Yes. Okay. That's me. Okay. Uh, interesting tip strategy. Uh, we do uh, donuts at Homestead Hollow, and the lemonade guy there, uh, one one weekend, he put out two tip jars, one for women and one for men, and he put up a sign that says, statistics show that men tip more than women. <laughs> That's good. Of course, at the end of the day, you know which jar had the most money in it, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's really good. 
That, I mean, that, that's, that's and it a, works extremely well. Yeah, I was thinking where we live, you put one. an Auburn tip jar and Alabama tip jar and say, let's see who wins. Yeah. <laughs> I really fought. Mm. What? Really fought it there. I was really. Yeah, I know. I, 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 know. I, I thought I did good. You, well, you did. But, but you did, did you? Because the audience. A little disappointing. You, yeah, it was disappointing. Well, I don't want if you're to an audience member, you know, you, sprinkle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, that's good. Madison, <laughs> uh, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Thank Madison, go ahead. How's it going, guys? Uh, I want to get y'all's opinion on something. Uh, there's a company in Hooper that wants you to trade in your your the underwear you're wearing for a new pair. A, a company where? What was the location? Say again. The company was located in in, in Hoover, Hoover, in, Alabama. And they want us to trade in our used underwear for new underwear. Yes, yeah, they they even have they, they'll have people there. If you want to trade in the underwear you're wearing, they'll, they'll have somebody on staff to help you trade out your, your actual underwear. Let me tell you, whoever's got the gig of taking the used underwear, <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, what a terrible, good. terrible uh, gig. I, I don't feel like they're going to open those. It's just, a, it's just a ploy to get you to try their underwear. Yeah, is, this, is it Duluth Trading Company? It is. I, oh, okay, that sounds like them. Hey, I'm wearing them now. I, let me idea. tell you something. They get the, I don't get a dime from them, unfortunately. I wish I did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but that, oh, yeah. that it's the best underwear I've ever worn. Uh, I mean, to me, Tommy John's is 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 good too. Those uh-huh. two are my favorite. Yeah. Uh, but those are those two do really good underwear. Mm-hmm. When, when I put Tommy John's on, it's like it snuggled me. And then Duluth, I put those yeah. on, fantastic. Oh, you yeah. ever had the the ones that are butt naked? Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, I got some on now. Well, TMI. Well, Duluth me. Yeah. You know, good. I've never had any Duluth. Oh yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, yeah. Manscaped makes some good ones. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I, I hadn't worn theirs. I used the other products. I hadn't worn their underwear. Daryl, go ahead. <clears throat> Daryl? I hear mate. You, you got me. Yes, I do. Yes, no, I do. A few seconds, anyway. Starting to regret it a little bit, but, but go ahead. Oh, uh, Rick, come on now. You remember a while back when me and you were going to that sparring match for charity back? back it's been, been three or four years back. I was making fun of you about uh, cranking that chainsaw. Oh, the, I, the, I, the I battery powered chainsaw. I don't remember that, Daryl. I, I don't. Yeah, uh, I, we, you remember, uh, man? You remember? I said I'm punching a rut sack, get my hands all toughened up, man. Somebody remembers that. Good, gracious. I tell you I what's shocking believe. by the slur is that you remember it. <laughs> uh, but uh, so uh, the uh, that, that, that may be the most shocking part of the phone call. Could you not get his voice down? Well, yeah, I had it. I had it. <laughs> I mean, I was just trying to get my mouth to fill up with saliva before I did it, and I couldn't do it. Hey, 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 you don't remember that. <laughs> uh, do it. I was having a problem following the whole. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Where are you? Yeah, yeah that was uh, somebody changed up. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, um, I, I, the guys were telling me, uh, and you guys were talking in the break. I, I did not see this. Um, I guess the word event. Uh, I'll use that word loosely. <laughs> so <laughs> we we had we we had Tyson fight, and he claimed that he smoked dope before he fought. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, that, yeah. Says he uh, smokes every Snoop day. Dog, Rick. Yeah. And Snoop Dogg smoked in the ring. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, they had performances between each match, and he performed while uh, smoking a joint in the <laughs> in the ring. Mm. Uh, so, uh, and then it, it, one one person described the fight as was it Snoop that said it looked like my my two uncles fighting at a barbecue. Yes. Yeah. Now what? you got to understand something. Tyson is fifty four. Roy right. Jones Jr. is fifty one. So do we, Adler, let's look at the footage at the end of this fight. World champions is a draw. Mr. Tyson, what do you think of that? Okay, I, I, I'm good with that. <laughs> you think you won the fight? Yeah, but I'm good with a draw. Why? Because I entertained the crowd. The crowd was happy with it. Right, we'll be back to you in a second. You happy with this draw? Hell no, I ain't never said if I were to draw. I wear draws. I don't do draws. I like it. But the dude is so strong, man. And I understand why they say some things are bucket list. Because when he hits you, if it's his head, his punches, his body shots, don't matter. Everything hurts. So for me, I thought I did enough boxing on the outside 
tears out, but you know, I'm cool with the draw. I mean, we just might have tried to do it again. Uh, yeah, I think that was the plan all along. That's why <laughs> yeah. it was a draw. So yeah. now he's cool with a draw. Yeah, yeah. Once, well, he, got, <laughs> once he talked through it, he's cool right. with a draw. Right, and then once. Tyson started looking at it. <laughs> yeah, and they were they were trying to remind each other, hey, we got a check out of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, we live through it, and uh, so we all ought to be good with it. Now, the, the fight's part of Tyson's Legends mm-hmm. Only League, which aims to offer past star athletes a way to play once again. Uh, and – they're saying he wanted to start this off uh, with this fight. So we'll definitely have a rematch, it looks like. Um, does anybody know what the check was like? What kind of check did they get? Uh, Wasn't it see. charity? Didn't it go to charity? I, I thought I'd, I saw something about that, Greg. Now, they may have cut themselves a little too. I don't know. But I thought they promoted it like it was a big charity event. Well, no, no way they didn't get a check. <laughs> I don't know. It may go to the Tyson Ranch, his cannabis farm. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it could. I think I read Tyson got a check for ten mil, but I don't know. Okay, okay. not. Yeah, uh, they there was probably some overhead to the charity event, and I yeah. would imagine that Tyson getting a check was one of them, and probably Roy Jones Jr. got one too. Yeah, we were guess. talking in the kickoff hour about uh, the amount of money that Tyson has squandered, and Helmsy, what was that count? Six hundred eighty-five million. That's a, that's a lot. That's a yeah, lot. I'll be proud of that. that. <laughs> Mm. Did, did, I, did I this year he squandered over six hundred million dollars? <laughs> yeah, six hundred eighty-five yeah, yeah. million, Rick, to be mm-hmm. exact. And he did pocket ten million for this one, as Adler said. Yeah, I mean, no way that was all going to charity. Now a percentage might be going to yeah. charity, or after <laughs> we're going to get paid, and then we're going to raise money for the charity. Yeah, you know, ten percent may be going to the charity, twenty percent, I don't know, but but they walking away with a check if they're going to do this. Yeah, uh, JC watched the fight, and uh, he said. Tyson clearly won, uh, and they were all shocked. They said draw. Yeah, well, Michael spend that money in two weeks. Yeah, I started to say he won't get through the end of the year on ten million. I hope they yeah. spread y'all it realize, out. like Brewster's millions. Yeah. You know, you <laughs> Do y'all realize with the six hundred and eighty-five million, uh-huh. okay, that he made in his career earnings, there was a point where he was down twenty-three million in Man. debt, twenty-three million after making six hundred and eighty-five. Good night. He's got a, he's you have a to one man that. show that he does. And you talks have about to wonder who he breaks there? down how you can spend six hundred million dollars. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, and the language is rough, but you know, it's like, actually a pretty good show. Yeah, I'd like to see that. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I can't imagine. Of course, I, I guess any accountant that was trying to slow him down, he'd just get rid of, right? Now Don King got a chunk of it. Don't forget that. Oh yeah, Don. He ain't he ain't happy with Don King. No. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Greg, since you you saw this, it, it, wasn't it like didn't he go like hit theaters or? It was one was it a was it a, a TV deal or was it he in on a tour when he went around? It was like a it was yeah it was like a show people you know you see a one man show and it was yeah. on I guess it was in Vegas maybe. Yeah, but now what was the did he say Don King is the main chunk? Well, he took a big chunk, but his his his, his lifestyle though was off the chart. Like when you're buying tigers and <laughs> mansions and cars and he would he would get a car and just give it away and just he just it was just mad money to him you know. Well, you know, uh, another guy's had a lot of money. Nine minutes to the top of the hour. Uh, Thank you for being with us Uh, on another edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. Speaking of Biden, here we go. Ready to go. Well, the, uh, and I'm putting quotes around this, leader of the free world. Uh, who do you think's running? Just the whole, the Democratic Party? Do you, are you in the Obama uh, camp that Obama's think, running? I still think some version of the Obama bunch are calling right, the shots. Right. So, because none of us believe that the man that we see uh, that is a shell of his, of his former self, which wasn't all that impressive either, but um, that he is, uh, he, he's not, he's not. He's not even sharp enough no. to plagiarize now. Yeah. I don't know. That's true. I don't know who said it. I don't remember Greg. Cause I, this was a comedian back when we were younger. Uh, Bubba, I, you probably remember it too. And, and this was unfortunately a shot at Reagan yeah. when Reagan started kind of losing his cognitive skills at the end of his presidency. This person made a comment, which we've been using ever since. And I think it applies to today. Getting upset with Ronald Reagan when he was in the latter part of it. Now, this is what the comedian said. It's nothing compared to what we see now. 
getting upset with him about something going on in America would be like getting upset with Ronald McDonald about your hamburger at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. he, he had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Okay, you know, and, and, and I think we're I think we're that at that point with the president, but here he is. Uh, this go. whole thing where they do the egg roll at the White House, he's on the Today Show. Uh, he's trying to talk about it, right, Adler? And and uh, and it, it's it's um, it's a rough rough watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And was is Caitlin on the, here for this? Not she's not on this show. No, I'm just saying during the egg. During uh, this she whole was, thing. was she was she there for that? She was supposed to go to it yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's really? what I thought. Oh. Weather, I think the weather was. I was looking uh, for her in B roll. Was not as good as they thought it was. Okay. okay. So what is so special about this egg roll? Well, what's so special is this the open of the, this is the people's house, and for, oh, we expect for over forty thousand people to be here, the largest ever, and it just we just like to open it up the place and let people see this is their place. In the world, okay. he's got Do a swollen a jo- tongue. He's got a Jolly Rancher in his mouth. What's I mean, going on? That was clear. Do you have a license? A Jill's face says it all. She's so first pained. Of it. She, she wants is. it to end. She I really wish is. this would end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, please let this been end. There. Yeah. Yeah. Been there. Yeah. yeah. Um. Right now, what what is Biden referring to here in this clip? I don't know. What's the next one? When when B? What is Oyster this? Bunny? He's trying to say Easter bunnies. Oh, okay. Sister okay. bunnies. He says oyster bunnies. And I'm coming down to do that Easter egg roll in just a minute. Thank you all so very, very much. Thanks, everybody. And by the way, say hello to Oyster Bunnies. Come on up, Bunnies. Get up here so I can y'all. see you. What's on, an, get in there. What's an Oyster Bunny? He said Oyster Bunny. Pretty big bunny, bunny, huh? All right. Thank you all so very, very much. Get up, everyone. It's all Let's... yours. Rick, Rick, look at his hands. Look at his hands. Don't jump. Uh, yeah, he don't jump. Uh, Adler, can, oh, thanks, everybody. Let's hear that one more time. I was I'll ready. Sure I, got that I right. was ready to step in and say that, and, defi- uh, and defend yeah. the president yeah. and right. say where he started a little bit, but yeah. he didn't say no, oyster. No. But I'm wrong. No, he he said oyster. <laughs> now, clear. if you open yeah. that bunny's mouth, does it have a pearl inside? <laughs> does anybody know? <laughs> Here. Manny I'm Moto. coming down to do that Easter egg roll in just a minute. All right, then. Thank you all so very, very much. Thanks, everybody. And by the way, say hello to Oyster Bunnies. Come on up, Bunnies. Get up here so they can see you. <laughs> Let them see you. Say hello. Say hello to Oyster Bunnies. Oyster Bunnies. Oyster Bunnies. Oh, Let them see it, Chuck. Bunnies. Oyster Bunnies. Oyster Bunnies. <laughs> Let them <see> <laughs> Stand, Stand up. up, Oyster Bunny. Stand what up, what am I thinking? Y'all ever bit the side? I gotta have it again. Y'all I gotta have been... Oyster Bunny again. I, I I can't believe how clear it's Oyster. <laughs> Hold just a minute. Thank you all so very very much. Thanks everybody. And by the way, say hello to Oyster Bunnies. Come on, up. <laughs> guys. It's not even close. No. Oyster. Rick, that <laughs> Do you so... think he was saying our Easter bunnies and he said right. oyster and run it together? together. Or, or did so. they name the Easter bunny oyster or something? I don't think I don't so. Know. I mean, I'm I trying to find so. some way so that that could out. not be not as insane so. looking as it was. I'm thinking he bit the side of his tongue and he uh, just can't talk. I, I don't, I don't um, know what's going on there. Now, now the, the other clip here, this is this is the new thing. Uh, well, not new. Oh, he They've was been ref- doing this a long time. He was referring to oyster bunnies. Oh, that's funny. Gotcha. Oyster Bunny. How'd you Funny. find that? There was, uh, there was a lot of uh, pushback and blow up yesterday <laughs> about Easter being declared Transgender Day of Visibility. Correct. And it got a lot of headlines, got a lot of talk yesterday. Now, if I understand this correct, the press secretary is going to tell everybody that that was not the case. But oh, we have a copy of the press release. Yes. Yeah, so here she is. It's March. And as we know, for folks who understand the calendar and how it works, Easter falls on different Sundays, right, every year. And this year it happened to coincide with uh, Transgender Visibility Day. (laughs) And so that is the simple fact. That is what has happened. That is where we are. And I do want to say a couple of things because I think it's important here, uh, as you just stated in your questions, what we've been hearing out there, a lot of misinformation done on purpose. Uh, And as a Christian uh, who celebrates Easter with family, President Biden stands for bringing people together (laughs) and upholding the dignity and freedoms of every American. 
Now, sadly, and it's not surprising, right? It is actually unsurprising that politicians are seeking to divide and weaken our country with oh cruel, hateful, and dishonest rhetoric. It is dishonest <laughs> what we have heard the past 24 hours. It is untrue what we heard over the weekend. Well, well you should know something about that. Is she claiming that some people in politics, not them, All right. tried to demonize people, divide people? And, well, and, uh, uh, but here's look, here, here is, uh, here's a simple way to do this. Uh, have Easter on Easter Sunday. Have all your other days some other time. That's, that's really what we're talking mm-hmm. about. Now, after they say that they didn't declare this, here is the press release, and you'll see the, the picture of it here. And it is, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden, Jr., and he proclaims it. I mean, it, it, but but she stood up there and said, "No, we didn't." I didn't know he was a junior. I'm just learning that right now. Yeah, uh, did y'all, did y'all Joey, know that? He said, "Joey, have, yeah. have Joey, you when I when you see that oyster bunny, uh, <laughs> the uh, yeah, it, it's th- this may be the day that I yeah I, I understand what she's trying some, to say. Somebody said somebody still, said it went all the way back to 2009, yeah. which I yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, but I don't recall any president. Making some statement on that that's day. It. That's, that's the key. What it was. Yeah. That's the key. And that's yeah. the key. And and really when 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 you have Easter fall on that day, to Bubba's point. Yep. If it is that day and it's been declared for years, there's no need for the president to come out with some proclamation on Easter Sunday if for no other reason it's just not a wise thing to do. Yeah. You're the one dividing everybody. If yep. you just kept your mouth shut, nobody would have said anything. Yep. So Amazing. Top of the hour. If you leave us, uh, have a good day. Don't forget you can get the Rick and Bubba archives for any part of the show you missed. You got more. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. He seems to. He's made more money than he's the highest paid athlete for years. Yeah, you know? ever, I think. The good news is his 418 acres uh, that he has for his cannabis themed resort yeah. pulls in one million a month. I was going to say I, I'm sure he's doing. Think well about what that. I just said. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, well, it's, a, it's a new business model out there, isn't it, boys? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, you know what John Maxwell said: resilience. <laughs> <laughs> you got to bounce back. <laughs> Mike finally found something he can do. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Uh, and, and you know what? And they're trying to say this country needs to be changed. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Where, where else in the world can you have that kind of bounce back? Right. <laughs> I'll tell you where else. Nowhere. Uh, 15 minutes fast. 866. We be big is our number. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up. Thanks for being with us. Check our website, rickandbubba.com. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, had a great Black Friday. Hope you enjoyed uh, the Best of Show on Friday. We kicked off the Christmas season today. Everything's different. Greg and I are in remote studios at home. Uh, we may or may not have been exposed to COVID-19, and we're doing our testing. And then uh, we will return if we're negative. If we're not, we'll grind it out, and we'll stay here until we're done. So uh, so that's the situation. Uh, now, we had a big, big, big ruling while we were away. Bubba and I and, and Team Rick and Bubba, and not that we have to be – you know, all that in depth and our knowledge of the constitution to say over and over again, that uh, the church is protected from the government period. Uh, and the Supreme court, even when I think if, Bubba, if I have it right, you can inform us. I think even Cuomo tried to do a take back and they wouldn't let him. They're like, no, 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 we're going to rule on this. Cause this needs to be ruled on. Uh, and we had a big ruling for religious freedom over the uh, over the break. You know, Cuomo has uh, has locked everything down again, especially hard on the churches. Uh, he was having a uh, you know a little square off with some of the uh, Jewish folks there in the city about some of their get-togethers, uh, threatening uh, big time fines on them. Well, it, it made its way all the way to su- the Supreme Court, and of course they ruled against Governor Cuomo five to four. He is blaming the new conservative majority on the Supreme Court for a decision late Wednesday against the state's COVID-19 restrictions on churches and places of worship. In remarks to reporters on Thursday, Cuomo said he thinks the ruling was really just an opportunity for the court to express its philosophy and politics. He says they were making a statement with the vote. 
And you know what? I'm hoping they are a statement for the Constitution. (laughs) Thank you, Bubba. Hey, Cuomo, no, this is what the Constitution says. (laughs) This is what it says. You do not have the power to tell a synagogue, a mosque, or a church whether they can meet or not. You do not have the authority to do that. Constitution says they are protected. It is a one-way wall, even though the, the wall part never even got into the Constitution. The Establishment Clause, all it talks about is we won't have an official Church of England, a government-run religion, and they there, there can be no laws passed of any kind to restrict the expression of religious convictions in this country, period. Well, you, you know, the, uh, the fact that the court had ruled against these type things twice before, I think it was in Nevada and one other state, five to four. This was back when Ruth, B- Gator, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was still on the court. Now that, that seat is flipped to Amy, Amy Coney Barrett. It is a conservative majority now, and they certainly showed uh, that they could stick together. Now, Chief Justice Roberts went with the liberals again, which uh, that's a whole other story. I don't know what, what they – I don't know if he was just a bad pick to begin with or what his deal was. Uh, you know, you have that slow fade, it seems like. When they get there, they all start drifting to the left. But thank goodness for uh, the judges who have been so solid in their beliefs of the Constitution, the original intent, and has ruled on that. Um, Amy Coney Barrett went with the conservatives in this. It was the, the change to vote that made a difference in this. And... You know, again, there, there's there's limits of, of and there's there's common sense what some of these churches ought to be doing, but it's up to them to make that decision, not the federal government. It's very clear. It's it's in eighth grade civics level. I don't know why this was ever even voted the other way to begin with. Yeah, because here's the deal: church services can be available to you, but you no one drags you out of the house and makes you go to one. Uh, so if, if, if the church is meeting and you don't think you should be there, then don't go. Uh, but the government cannot tell the church when it's open, when it's not. Now, Gorsuch, did you see some mm-hmm. of his quotes, buddy? Oh, he, yeah. he laid it down and, uh, he, he said, you know, he said, I find it very convenient. And he even called it. He said that the secular movement in this country is trying to use this. And what they're saying is somebody cannot go buy wine. I mean, somebody can go buy wine. Somebody can go to the grocery store. They can go to the Home Depot or the the, the Lowe's, I'm, and I'm paraphrasing. Yeah, Bottom go get lottery says, tickets. Yeah, I, I, I find it convenient that uh, people with a secular worldview are trying to use this as an opportunity to not just to deny the church the constitutional freedom, That's right, baby. 30 years and change. Uh, From the Big Boy Studio, out on the bleeding edge of technology, coming to you from sweet home Alabama to the rest of the world. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bus. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for being part of the little party we call Rick and Bubba. You know, uh, when uh, the president was talking about the uh, the oyster bunnies, the oyster bunnies. Uh, do y'all remember last year when the one was trying to help him out and get him away from reporters, uh-huh. oh, and yeah. it was yeah. actually a secret service in yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. kind of directing him. <laughs> they thought Somebody he was emailed safe. me and reminded me of that. That was funny. Well, yeah. you know, I guess they thought he was safe because he was on the balcony. And they had a they had an oyster bunny on each side of right. him. Right. I mean, yeah. how much safer could you be? I, I guess they. Speaking of that, uh, a big, big, big win for me on Easter Sunday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, became a hero uh, to my kids, even though they're all adults now. I took Sherry to task last year because the oyster bunny <laughs> brought brought the kids hollow chocolate bunnies. And I said, mm, hollow? Boo. We don't give out hollow Easter bunnies here. Mm-hmm. We're going to have the, the full chocolate, completely chocolate, not hollow, completely full. There's chocolate all the way through yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, and so the, the 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 kids this year when they got their 
solid chocolate bunnies. They were like, oh, it's solid. And I just stood there and said, and you are welcome. That's, right. <laughs> that's like the ones you used to steal from me when we was kids. Yes. Yeah, oh, boy, so. that's a touchy little subject. At least you've gotten over yeah, yeah. Do you know that I one know, really? Too many peeps involved. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget. I, mm-hmm. I always remember him talking about the chocolate bunnies being stolen. Oh, yeah. Well, well, you know, well you Greg, you'll like out. this. Guess what I got from the oyster bunny? I hope it was peeps. <laughs> Hot, hollow, dark chocolate bunny. And oh, I was like, "What in the world?" Ain't nothing fun. And about Sherry that. said, "Well, look, you, you know, you, you're, you're doing a little better. I tried, tried. We tried to make sure you got one from the Oyster Bunny that <laughs> was a little doing." I said, "I've got dark chocolate hollow, and they've got solid chocolate milk chocolate." I went and bought myself uh-huh. those little candied eggs with the milk chocolate in them oh. that Cadbury puts out. Mm-hmm. The little candy, not the big mm-hmm. messy ones. I, I could eat. I love. They this. had just one huge bag, and I said, "Don't buy that." Don't do a, that. it was twelve. Don't do that. <laughs> but B, do that. you're going to eat it all. You could did eat a thousand. Did you get you some peeps? I didn't get no peep trick. No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. Thank, I, you. But yeah, Thank you. you, you very double, much. You like double peeps. Yeah, everybody knew you liked them that much. Let me tell you, I don't know who came. <laughs> and he up knew with, I like bunnies. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know who invented peeps, but I think they were somebody that was punishing their kids. I do too. I think. I think. I think the kids were in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, you'll eat this. Eating too much chocolate, eat this. Ruby Stay got, up too late. Ruby got four peeps on a stick for Easter. What? I turn around, and she's just standing and holding a sticky stick. Like, like they disappeared like that. She I'm likes like, peeps. my goodness. She I didn't, likes peeps? I don't think she ate all four of them right now. And around. did she... she like them or did she just didn't they know disappeared what they were? yes i think I, I think when you're real real young peeps are the best thing in the world and then as you get older you're like wait a well, second they're colorful yeah. mm-hmm. um i also prefer dark chocolate i just want to throw that out there. you don't I prefer like, it you, you, like like you think chocolate. it's sharp yes, yes. No, i like it you Here think we it's go. sharp to say you like dark chocolate no, over milk chocolate, milk chocolate, chocolate, chocolate is, is for little, children I'm a little more advanced than dark chocolate else. is for adults that, I, well, that's because everybody's trying to do better. Nobody I, likes dark chocolate. I have acquired than milk a chocolate. taste for dark chocolate because yeah. it's, oh, it's, it's, it's a like, little bit healthier. I can eat it. Yeah, but, boy, you better be careful. Right hey, but you, if you lay the milk chocolate beside it, you're going to pick the dark. Yes. Sometimes, yeah, I like no, the dark chocolate. No. I like it a little better. I think, little dove squares. Yeah, that's what, what I'm about talking them about. Little dove squares. No, Woo, they're good. Dove me. They're good. I'm going to say something that is horrible, and I can't believe it's coming out of my mouth. Oh, wow. I think that milk chocolate for the when somebody goes dark chocolate to try to do better and you acquire the taste for sharp. it, it's the same thing about getting all soft drinks. It is when you go back and drink a regular, it seems too, too sugary sweet. now. It is and now milk chocolate it's all, seems you're too all sugary. Over that. I don't believe that, and I hate myself yeah. for saying that. But, but it's true. It right. is true. Right. You're disgusting your brother, Rick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. I know. Is there any dark chocolate M-I-L-K. machine upstairs? <laughs> yeah. By the way, be careful with dark chocolate. They're not all the same. Some of them are really bad. Yeah. You got to get. Yeah, you got to get. Yeah. You know. You know what you'll. You know what you'll find. The ones that are the least healthy are the ones that taste the best. Oh yeah. On the dark chocolate. What? Yeah. Tell me anything. The best things for you to eat taste worse. I am a little disappointed in the staff. Nobody brought any excess candy to the mm-hmm. show. I had some excess, I didn't like have I said, any. pastries. I ate all the candied eggs. I had some Ooh. excess, you know, pastries, Love but I, did, I, I knew what would happen. Yeah. Uh, the I other mean, thing they're, they're is, like crack. Oh, we got any jelly bean people in here? <laughs> you know what? I used to not like jelly beans. I've acquired a taste for yeah. them. I'm the opposite. I used to eat them. Now I won't. I don't know what I, they're I, a gamble. I don't, I don't I, yeah. like how it's a gamble. It's I like, don't hate them. Ooh, is this marshmallow? No, it's pu- it's buttered popcorn. Gross. What ruined it no. was that I game like everybody was playing. I don't like the black ones. Either. You remember the game oh, we'd play where the what was Lacy. it? You you had to eat a different. Oh yeah 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 yeah. There was and one. Some that, of them were horrible. Yes. Yes. I, yes. Does anybody? Re- Rick, that's a drinking game. <laughs> oh well, okay. <laughs> to me, there's the <laughs> still horrible. Right. To me, there's the cheap jelly bean. That's some bigger ones that are like super sugary. Yeah. And then everybody started going to those little small ones like you're talking about that have all the different flavors. Yes. And uh, like y'all remember the originals? They were, they were, <laughs> they were pretty big. They were, a big and, they were pretty big. You just feel with sugar. A lot of choking kids. Yeah, I didn't. Wow. But these little ones, I can tolerate them. I, I'm just not jealous. I, mean, I don't, come I don't hate them. them. I mean, you know what Shouldn't I'm saying? should be hungry. I just ate. Sherry gets some that the kids all love Thanks. when they were little. And, the, and it, you get them, and it looks like it's a carrot because all the jelly beans are tangerine. And it's it's it's, it's filled and with like a like carrot. Tangerine. There's Adler's favorite but one. But tangerine uh, jelly beans are actually pretty good. I they, bet they, they are. Yeah, yeah, they really are. Unfortunately, they also look like the licorice. You know, it's like no. ooh, watch no, out. No, this one is like it's all licorice. tangerine in one thing. Oh, there you yeah. go. And, and, yeah, and it's made to look like a carrot, mm. like it's so, which is kind of. I like a sour patch kid. Oh yeah, no. me too. <laughs> don't like any of that. Oh, we, yes. well, we no, sour patch kids no. are the best. Hey, you talk about. I don't dis- like that. We were so disappointed. We had a. Have y'all had anything where a sour. company or a charity will egg you, and they put a big sack of plastic eggs and said you've been egged by yeah. whatever company. Uh, our sister did that. She did it for my, our kids. Did she? No, they do as a son up. Uh, 
a fundraiser for the dance line. <laughs> good to have good, good president. Hey, I don't know oh, what happened. Good to have president. How about bring the oyster bunny? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but anyway, what I was saying is, well, then it dawned on me because I'm from the yeah. I'm from the chocolate candy world. I don't like all this other stuff. You don't These, like good sour patch. I don't like any of that stuff. Oh, sour patch, licorice, oh, sour, sour patch, now laters, all that. But stuff. nerds, I, I don't like any of that. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happens? But nerds. If, in if a you're drink. gonna if you're gonna egg somebody, <laughs> all those eggs have to be filled with that kind of candy, so it won't melt. I know. So yeah. I was I was kind of disappointed. We had a lot of sour patch in the ones that she sent the kids. Oh, they the first, loved it too. They had a sign sticking up that said mm-hmm. "You've been egged." They loved it. Open up the first egg. You know what was in it? I want to watch Bubba's reaction to this. Twizzler. Uh, hey, Rick, down on licorice. Greg, where are you at on Jolly Ranchers? I don't, I don't like Love any licorice. Twizzler. <laughs> what you say? You, you, so Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. This one. I when I was a kid. Them. I oh. hate Jolly Ranchers. Oh, oh they're great. When I, I was a kid. Them. Now, they'll pull your feelings out of your teeth. I don't, like, I don't like anything in that candy category. <laughs> what about a now and later? You remember them? Hate them. Uh. You want now and say one for later? <laughs> hate them. <laughs> I hate those. Girl, that bean we'd up. go to the store and we as kids. We'd ride our bikes to the store. Rick would get a big old Butterfinger. Yeah. I'd have some kind of licorice whip or something. Right. Something sour. Yeah. You, you think yeah. when my chubby self got off that bicycle and walked in Anybody thought I was getting anything other than a butterfly? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love? You think I was heading over uh, to the Nihilators? Ain't no way. <laughs> uh, Taylor's Grocery, she had good Nihilators. The grape was the best ones. But let me tell you, you remember the Marathon Bar? Oh, gosh. Oh, oh I love that. The Marathon Bar. The marathon. What think, happened to it? You think Chevy Boy didn't need a marathon? I mean, it looked like a Jacob's Ladder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened to the Marathon I've never had a Marathon Bar. Ooh. You remember I don't first? think I have either. I what I've ever even seen. It was. One. It was like a. It it's was good. It was like a it, rope. Yeah. It looked like. like and it was you know, caramel and yeah, chocolate. There it is. There yeah, it is. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Never had. I, I had it. one. It was yeah. a long time. It's full of caramel. Yeah. I think that's it pulled three fillings yeah. out. Yeah. Sure it did. Because it had to. It had. That sugar daddy will get you. I can't believe you didn't pick up on the marathon bar has holes in it, Greg. That's how they get you. That is how they get you. But I was just a kid. I didn't know it yet. Didn't they outlaw? Didn't they outlaw the sugar daddy because kids were losing their teeth? The sugar daddy is. I mean, it's like fighting something. Sugar daddies can extract. Teeth. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, right. it's unbelievable. Where were you on sugar babies? Oh, oh, I like. Them. I bet yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been a sugar mama kind of guy. Watch out! Okay. Right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't do it. All right, we'll come back. We we don't have to do it. <laughs> don't do it. We all had the line. Every one of us had. Leave it alone. Leave don't it alone. Don't do it. Yeah. I'm done. Not done. That. Uh, Fifteen minutes past. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Debt. But to treat the church differently than they do other parts of society. Yeah, it's it's really mind-boggling to me. I mean, like I say, we're. <laughs> The, our, our qualifications are we had civics in eighth grade, uh, but it, it's just so, I mean, it's written right there. It's so straightforward. I, I don't know how it ever got to this point. This the, you, you have to read things into the Constitution that are not there, and their job is to interpret it. And I, I'm glad right now that we have five pretty solid justices that I think in most cases are going to do it that way. I mean, any of them could go off the range at, at, for a, a particular case, but, you know, thank goodness they're there to, to counterbalance what we've had. Well, I mean, this is a big, big deal because if, if you've looked throughout world history, which is one of the reasons why the founders put this in the Constitution, anytime there is a tyrannical overreaching move, you know, every time the, the communists took over, I mean, there's some great st- – and heart-wrenching stories from when the Soviet Union took over Romania. I mean, all the different pastors uh, and and priests and fill-in-the-blank all had to line up and swear allegiance to the Soviet Union. Uh, And uh, and if they didn't do that, uh, meaning that the Soviet Union now is placed in the all-encompassing place, they were were put in jail. And there's there's a great story, and I think it's in the book called Tortured for God. I think I remember that right. I can't remember the the pastor's name right offhand, but he and his wife were in line, and she said, you realize they are spitting on Jesus. And he looked at her, and he said, if I say that, then you're not going to have a husband. And you know what her response was? Well, I don't want a coward for a husband. Yeah. I, I, I I would rather have a husband who stands up for the faith in jail than to have a coward at home with me. And of course, he stood up and got put in jail for 14 years, and they put her in a <clears throat> in, in a workers' camp. Yeah. But uh, but see, this religious freedom, we cannot give ground on it 
because it, when it goes, then you're on the road uh, to uh, to a tyrannical, overreaching government that says we are now to be worshipped, not your religious conviction. Well, and two, it just shows inconsistencies. When they were trying to shut churches down, but they were letting protests go because they said this is such a precious right. We yep. can't interfere with that right. Well, you can't interfere with the church either. So nope. if we're going to play that game, you've already opened the door, pal. Sorry. Churches are meeting are just as beautiful as protests. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Yeah, it, it, you know, I found out some things, uh, you know, with me driving this new Hendrick truck with a lift kit on it. Yeah. You know, and this is this has been something that, you know, as I've said, I love it. It's, it's drawing a lot of attention. Uh, my, my sons think I'm super hip. <laughs> uh, but, but again, I'm one injury for not being able to get in and out of it. <laughs> oh, so, so I'm walking anyway, with a limp right now, Rick, from getting in and out of mine. <laughs> all right. Well, let me ask you this, Bub. I don't know which one of ours is, if they're the same height. I know mine is on up there. And, uh, my oldest son saw it for the first time and he said, this is up higher than I even thought. So, you know, we're all getting older now. So you, you have your, your monthly prescriptions of, of your cholesterol medicine, yeah. Oh, yeah. Your, your, your blood pressure medicine you know, what, whatever it may be. Well, you know, they do the automatic refill. So mm -hmm. you have to go by and get them. I couldn't get it. I, I, I was in the truck and, and I went by to get, I don't know which one it was. I think it was the <laughs> cholesterol medicine. And when she put the drawer out, I couldn't reach it. <laughs> it's yeah. too far down. You have to it, undo it, your seatbelt, undo the door, and hang out. No, <laughs> I have got to do that. Too. I was hanging yeah. out, waist out, yeah. because I had to get enough bend in my body yeah. to get down there and get it out. You know what I mean? You got to be able to bend, or you can't get it. Rick, I don't know just from a <laughs> measurement standpoint who's got the highest one, but I know when I lean up against my truck, I to to get in. I have to raise my leg as high as the top of my pants pocket in the back. And and Bubba, you know, I've been wanting to get down the parking deck and see you get in that. Well, yeah, yeah, let I me tell you how you. let me tell you how I do it. I have to lean back at about a forty five degree angle. Left hand gets a hold of the handle inside. Yeah. I throw my foot up there and then I jump and grab the steering wheel and pull with all my might. <laughs> Good wow. night. Bubba, look, how about I felt the pharmacist, you know, they're they're not God love them. You know, with everything, everything they're going through, they usually are pretty serious because it's, they're in a real serious world. Oh, yeah. I, look, I, I looked in there. She was laughing her head off. She's like, I don't, I don't know what to do to help you, sir. And I said, no, I'll get it. Like, and, 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 I, and I literally had to put my waist up on the windowsill so my body could bend down yeah. to grab it. I went and, through a drive through the other uh, day, Rick, and I told the girl, I said, just throw it to me. Just throw right. it. I'll get it. Just throw it in. If it gets in here, I'll eat it. Just It's past the hour. Thank you for being with us as uh, we make our way back. We'll get to more of your phone calls coming up bottom of the hour uh, at 866-WE-BE-BIG. All right, so we, we got a couple of videos. Um, sorry about that, Bubba. That's on us. Um, everybody here is to blame. You missed. Yeah. Did you miss what just happened? What did he do? He came in and gave his drinking buddy a candy bar. Oh, he got one Nobody for Greg. Nobody likes to Both eat. of them. There's no dark chocolate up there. He got one for Greg. Yeah. Nobody likes to eat alone. <laughs> you know what he's saying to you, Greg? Thank you for the many times that you brought him in oh, and, yeah. and with that's his right. eating buddy. That's, that's right. You got to have somebody take care of you. Him. Yeah, yeah. You know, if, I mean, you, if you need an eating buddy, hey, Bubba, got one for you. You know, that's right, right here in front so of us. That's so true, right there. Satisfies right there on the path. Yeah. So Satisfies. they both went and got. Well, Did Bubba it arrogantly got, too. Like thank just you, Bubba. like looked at me and Speedy and you yeah. and just said, "Hey, well, you, that's just you want." That, that's I know. Just, that's yeah. just, I'll keep yeah. throwing stuff away. Hey, just like this. If if somebody were to walk through the door right now. Okay, and they had two beers. They wouldn't give us one. I mean, they would take it over to Greg, and and they would. And they would. Well, y'all two eat healthy. I know y'all don't want one. You're right. I'm still mad at Rick. I think those are actually. Thank God, that's so funny. I think this is actually not a bad. This is yeah. I wouldn't eat any food. It is right. It is. It's not a king size. I normally see that's a step up in the right direction. It's not a king size, Helmsy. Yeah, it's a fact. Yep. There you go. I think that's not that's not a bad. Yeah, I tear that one up. You know? Yeah. So there you go. 
King size. Of course, they ruined them when they went to two. No, I agree with all of you. We've done this candy bar thing before on the show. I agree with all of you that if you get down to it, it's really hard to beat a Snickers. It is. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you just get down to it, you know, there's no there's no dark chocolate up there. Maybe we need to make a recommendation. Okay, yeah, we will. I is the little. You know what, Bubba? I'll do a review on the snack room. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We see no dark chocolate. Uh, all right, so after, is yep is yep a big thing? I mean, doesn't it cover all things? I mean, everybody has their own internal, but if you're going to rate somebody, isn't yeah. yep kind of? I see the yell come through. I don't know what it means. Yeah. Yeah. I hear a lot so of jokes many. about when somebody's unhappy. They said they're going to okay. go on yep and write a bad review. Yeah. So uh, is that a big I'm, of a deal as it used to be? Nah. See, I don't think it is. Nah. I don't know. I yep. Don't use it. I think that's kind of when yelp. it first came out. Oh. Yeah, it's yep, uh. not yep. So if I really want to be like my yelp. mom, yelp. if I want to be yelp. like my mom and get paid off, which one do I go? I'm sorry. Oh, like my mom, when she got Google. paid off by she that company, Google. which one did she do? Google? <laughs> probably. Is that probably, what you mean, yeah. business? Yeah, yeah, probably. I, I don't know. I don't know. By the way, what is this thing? I had this weird thing happen. I know we keep going to get these videos, but I, then we think of things that are better. But <laughs> but what the other day, what was I trying to do? Oh, I was trying to book a reservation at a at a restaurant for a date for Sherry and, 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 uh, and me last week. And I went to make the reservation on the app found the place, and I had to, like, enter my Google what? password. Mm. Then I had to go to YouTube mm-hmm. to confirm it. I don't think I had And confirm it. What, what, what in the world yeah, is that? Yeah. 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 I'm just security. trying to get a table. It's a, it's a security measure. I'm just trying to get a table. What, am I going to take somebody's they table? They want to make sure it's you. So there's people out there randomly booking me good tables? I guess I, mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's ooh, just more of a Google. Uh, like, if you have a Google Drive but, or sometimes when you're trying to get into it, they make you do that. But why too. am I going to the YouTube? Uh, why, I don't know. That's just the I way just, you YouTube you and can, Google are connected. Yeah, and you can oh, set up yeah. a different. Um, yeah. um, uh, I guess it's a hassle. A security step. You can you can set that up. But right now, I think that's the. Well, default. what I, what I did is I gave them the password, and then they said not good enough. We're doing what's it called a two. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Two factors. Two two factors. Two, two, two factors. Factor. Well, see, yeah. that makes me just not want to do it. Yeah, two levels like, verification. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I understand. I don't want anybody yeah. getting in my bank accounts, but we're worried about res- reserving. Well, and I, but but I, mean, I think they're using. Here's the why they do that, Rick, is because they're using your Google information. Okay. Through that app, mm-hmm. okay. and so they're and you they're also like use that Google, Google information. Yeah. Google's kind of the one source for yeah. everything. And so you. if they're they're not necessarily protecting the restaurant, they're protecting the other things that are more important. Understood. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let is me it, tell you, Google I'm, is too big and too powerful. By the way, yeah. okay. even from a market right capitalist guy, they they need to be limited. Don't remember oh. which one of you did it. Might have been you. When we had that I guy, it was one of the old studios that we were at, and he was one of these know-it-alls, and y'all nicknamed him Google. Oh, Google, yeah. That Speedy them w- did that. That was, that was, <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a nickname hit so good. You know, when one will just land and it's perfect. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, going as Google. And, 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 right. knew. and you talking about <laughs> sticking, it stick. I mean, everybody in the building <laughs> called him that. Did. All right, so uh, we've got a couple of weird videos from I'll yesterday. We Bubba, would you rather watch a man nearly get sawed in half or watch someone go in a sinkhole? It's, we're going to do both. Oh, we're sawed in half. Oh, I'm going one. saw. All right, let's go Give sawed in half first. This okay. Is, this is in Oregon. A man almost gets sawed in half by a four-foot saw blade. Mm. Yes. All right, so he's about to walk into this building, and, and seconds after he leaves this spot, a saw blade comes flying through the air and sticks into the side of the Good night. Uh, so he's coming in. Uh, you see him. He just came in, mm-hmm. and then you're about to see a saw blade come <laughs> flying through. Wow. Where did it come from? It, it, some construction he site or something. He didn't just come in. He'd been gone. Oh, what, two, two to three seconds? seconds. You, thought right. you thought he'd be a little tighter. You <laughs> thought he'd be a little closer. Hey, hey, I thought he'd be like brushed behind him. One Mississippi. Two, Greg, guys. that's not even three Mississippi. And I'm not sure he was even standing at that part. He was more of this. Greg, he walked so right past that. No if he would have no taken, no taken time this morning, have one more sip of coffee, it'd be cut in half. Yeah, yeah. So that's not close. That blade That blade looks like a concrete He was inside already sitting down. Yes. How, how does it how does it get loose and go running across the parking lot? I guess lot? somebody didn't. I don't somebody know, didn't. That thing, what is that? Two foot? Looks two like foot across? It says it's he four. Said four. Greg doesn't think it's a big deal, so let's move on. Well, you know. Look at that. I, I thought it was. I, I wanted to like brush his clothes and cut his shirt. You did. You wanted well, to I mean, cut that it. Would have been a better video. Oh, here he goes. The no. door is still open. That he just walked no, through. He's in there sitting down eating. <laughs> Guys, I, I, I thought. Uh, look, uh, well, that's, hey, Rick. Look, that's close. Door closed right. I thought any that's, closer. Uh, that's uh, that's under five seconds. No, it's, no, oh, it's right at five. No, y'all are misunderstanding. It's like those people going the across the bridge. The fact that happens a big deal. The fact the fact yeah. that is is it close? Yes. Is it as close as I thought? No. 
That's all I'm saying. Oh, man. to Adler's point, the door's still closing. I think Thank it's a setup. you for someone acknowledging what I've been saying. Greg, I, I hear you. Listen, buddy. I'm, I'm a workplace best friend. Everything you've you said up to this point, but it was not a setup. <laughs> oh, this is a better view. You can see a little bit more of it of the construction site. Okay. Boom. Good night. I Give will us say that this. sound effect. <laughs> Boom. Don't you know whoever was in charge of the equipment that slung that thing off? Just, just panic. Please look at that. You know what? Panic. Where is this going? Greg, you know I know you don't think that's a big deal, but look at that. You know who I almost expected to see after that Bubba is Wally e. Cody going, yes. <laughs> and an Acme delivery truck. Yes, yes. All right, next we got a sinkhole. Oh, Knock the hat off his head, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> that's the rest of the day for you. I'm know, sorry. Know, All right, so <laughs> it's not. It wasn't a crack back block, but Greg. That's just <laughs> that's the first one, and there's so many more to go. All right, so here. Here's a, here's a sinkhole, Bubba, in China. Oh, he a, doesn't care about this. This lady just fell at, in a hole. At a mall. And it like, uh, I'll it, be hey, it. guys, if you're shopping for clothes and this oh happens, my. Oh my. that's a big deal. Oh. Look, look at, at the, the dummy. Look at the mannequin. <laughs> I thought the mannequin was another person. I did, too. Yeah, I thought you bit said dummy. Had, that that, that no, is impressive. She had no hope. That was no hope to get out of that. How yeah, far Greg down? Care. How far down did she fall? And this will show the aftermath uh, uh, below. It looks like a uh, just one story. Did she live? Because she got yes, concrete falling in. Yeah, over did, there. do you think fall on her or did she break a leg on the way down? She got I'm going to say by hospital, but lived. All right, Greg's going to be unhappy if she's not injured. I, know. I think she got assaulted by that mannequin. So that's man, oh, oh, man. That's, that is. Now that's. Wow. How? Oh, wow. How's that happen? Oh, that, wow, you guys, it's uh, China. Let's be honest. I've been I shopping. They were excellent and everything. I've been shopping with my wife before that I wish that would happen. There she is in a stretcher. Hey, I have to. I wish the ground would just eat me up. <laughs> yeah. I wish I followed. Just take me. Break my leg. That's fine. <laughs> Look, everybody should visit me at the hospital. I said, I'm not shopping anymore. Wow. <laughs> now, that, that is, was impressive. That is incredible. Phone calls are next. 866. We be big is our number. We'll come back. We'll chat with you. Calvin Speedy Wilburn yeah. moves to the phone. There goes Speedy. He's ready. Lines are available. What do you want to talk about? We'll chat next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. <laughs> Ring the window. Ring the y'all window. Gonna, y'all going to pull a hamstring getting in and out of those things. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba. The show another day is upon us and we start this hour as uh, we have been doing since the attack on america back at 9 11 we start with the national anthem hey it's uh, rick and bubba brand new hour seven minutes past the hour hope you've enjoyed the kickoff hour with speedy the real greg burgess helmsy and eddie van adler they now stay with us uh, as we now jump into another hour and then finish out another day of rick and bubba do not forget thursday is the first gift of Rick and Bubba Christmas, the 12 working days of Christmas, and Santa's uh, little helper is standing by. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Buster. Rick, glad to be here, honored and privileged, and uh, wow, there's a little frost on the pumpkin this morning. You know, uh, <laughs> this this thing with, with, with it, you're so right, uh, th- this thing with, with COVID. So, so Greg and I are, you know, quarantined, uh, awaiting test results uh, and, and all this. I'm getting tested today um, and, and the, the three-day test. So, so we'll know. Greg's waiting on some test results. So, so anyway, we're, we're in this weird mode. So anytime you've been exposed to COVID, well, there's this mind game that you get into. I mean, there's certainly some markers that you're looking for. Hey, do I have a fever? Uh, do I have, you know, am I having trouble breathing? And, and I don't have any of those things. And Greg said he didn't either, but our minds are messing with us. It's like, I can't tell all of a sudden, like yesterday, I convinced myself that I was cloudy 
you know, that I didn't, that I <laughs> yeah. didn't feel right. And that I, that I didn't, I wasn't sure of myself. Ooh, I hate, uh, I hate that. Yeah. It, but I don't know if, is that just me, my mind mm -hmm. turning on me? I mean, is this the tight shirt during 21? Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> right. and, and then, and then I went, Oh, I, my, my body's kind of aching, but then Sherry goes, well, Rick, every time it gets cold, your body aches. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I'm 56 and my joints hurt. <laughs> uh, so I can't figure out, I'm going to just have to have the test. Um, I don't have a, a lot of symptoms except for the ones that may be in my mind. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Rick, I'm in the same boat. I, I, I noticed, I noticed you have changed locations. So where are you now? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually in the same location, but Sherry yesterday, she makes a good point. She goes, why are you facing <laughs> with the window behind you? Why don't you turn around <laughs> And then, and by the way, I'm watching the sun come up. Uh, if you're listening to the show live or watching it live, when the sun Titan came, came up, up this morning, and so then the 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 light of outside will actually, you know, now help. And she said, nobody wants to see some curtains or a window behind you. Turn around mm -hmm. and face the other way. So I'm just facing the other way. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that'll be better. Better natural light. It'll I don't know if better. that's good for us because you could, like, in school, just be staring out the window and get yeah. kind of two blocked a little bit. But so, well, Rick, what is I, that I'm behind to see you? See light right now. I'm seeing some light out there. <laughs> yeah, Rick. What is that behind you over there? The round thing on the wall. What is that? Uh, like right mirror. here. Yeah, it looks like a porthole or something. What yeah, is that's that? a mirror. Mirror, it's just a mirror. <laughs> yeah. What you're what you're looking at behind me, for those of you that are watching yeah, the show, something gray this, back there. What is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, this is this. That's the back. Um, is it? Was it called back? What, what's that thing? Uh, uh, backsplash. Sink. Backsplash. Yeah, that is backsplash behind me. There's a sink behind me and kind of a a kitchen area mm -hmm. downstairs. Oh yeah, and th that's what that is all behind me right there. You, you know what I thought that, that was on the backsplash. Mm -hmm. You know what I thought that was, or what it looked like initially. It looked like one of those giant boxes, like I used to have the, in the back of my car with a woofer mounted to it. It you know looked like what? a big round speaker that, on there. What if that was nothing but bass? <laughs> and you oh, were bringing yeah. the bass. <laughs> How about this though? When you look at it on YouTube, it looks it looks it's so much bigger than what you think it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a really big mirror uh, back there, I mean, you know, a pretty good size. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's the sink. And, you know, when we're down here, like, you know, you got the ball game going, that's where you get your snacks. And uh, there's a refrigerator back over this way. Uh, and then uh, back in there is, uh, you can see back in, back in that area back there. I think you can even see maybe where the, um, where, where all the, uh, uh, the electrical boxes, you see yeah. that those, those, those two doors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we see a door frame. Uh, yeah. You know, something yeah. There. yeah. Yeah. Around that door frame is, you know, when we first built this out down here. Thirty-five minutes now, past the hour, and here we go. Uh, phone calls eight six six. We be big. Speedy's got the calls for you, and we want to chat with you. Uh, and if you want to join us, and you're kind of producing the program now, uh, you're you're producing the program, uh, so we trust you with it. Uh, your phone calls coming up, Bubba. I have great news for you today. Great news for you today. As you just turned sixty, I'll be turning sixty later in the year when we start talking on the air it's happening to speedy now greg we started getting those aarp cards oh, and all that kind yeah. of stuff well we don't right. like what that that organization stands for and we do not agree with them on uh, on many important issues so we kind of felt like we didn't have anywhere to go today bubba that all changes say hello to the association of mature american citizens amac.us slash Bubba, we have somewhere to go. Uh, look, as we have, uh, another critical election is coming up. A wave of concern has washed over America, and recent studies reveal that an out astonishing 56% of our fellow citizens report feelings of anxiety or dread impending doom about the upcoming presidential election. That's why we stand with AMAC. Dot us slash Bubba, the Association of Mature American Citizens, more than a senior discount organization, but they've certainly got you covered in that department as well. Uh, we've been uh, trying to find an alternative to AARP, and we got it. We found it. Uh, during these challenging times, the AMAC team is fighting for common sense to help our nation return to traditional American values. Now, as an AMAC.us slash Bubba member, 
Uh, we will enjoy, Bubba, money-saving travel benefits for hotels, car rentals, cruises, you know, the stuff that you're thinking, I, I, theme parks, uh, your shows, events, movies, food, dining, more. But they also offer an array of insurance discounts. Hello? Uh, it's just a wonderful organization. Membership will also get you the AMAC magazine, free Social Security and Medicare advice, a trusted voice in Washington, and a community of like-minded patriots who love our nation. Now, as a fan of this show, uh, you're probably as excited about this as we are. Uh, you can visit amac.us slash Bubba, and you can seize the exclusive election year special. A four-year membership is only $30. This is a membership everyone in the audience can and will love. So join us and take advantage of this election year special. Get four years for just $30 and be part of the solution over the next four years, not the problem by becoming an AMAC member. You're strengthening a movement dedicating to preserving the principles that we hold dear, and you'll save a lot of money, too. And it's a win-win. AMAC.us slash Bubba. Yes, there's an alternative, and you can find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. That's good news and a great new sponsor. Uh, all right, to the phones we go. Uh, let's go to uh, Cecil in Georgia. Cecil. Ce Cecil, welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you? Hey, what's going on? Cecil. Hey. Hey, uh, I would, my question is, does Auburn fans, do they want Alabama to lose? In, in basketball, not as much as football. Yeah. Uh, in the Final Four. Well, final let me ask you, are you, a, are you an Alabama fan? I'm a Georgia Tech fan, but... <laughs> Well, we all got the rambling wreck. Yeah, we all do you sure. Do you think the Alabama fans were pulling for Auburn when they were in the Final Four? Probably not. No. I don't know. <laughs> I would say no That's to both. I'm asking you the question. I don't know. Yeah. No, I would say uh, I, I'm just making a general stereotype now. The general fan would pull for their team and whoever's playing the opponent. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and because sport. they see any success by the other program – as competition for recruiting, yep. Uh, we that, can, that, just based on what I have witnessed personally, and you don't want to pull for your enemy, right? No. Right. Uh, Cameron out of Pell City, listen to ZZK. Cameron, go ahead. Hey guys, how y'all doing this morning? Good. I think Greg, you were talking about the uh, the game involving jelly beans. Yes. I think it's bean boozled. Yes, yes, and there's some really gross tasting jelly beans in it. Yeah, yeah you'll get two greens, and one might be a booger, and one might be green apple. Yeah. Oh You're my! Exactly. What are you talking Somebody about? Somebody brought it to the show. It was one of the interns, and we played it. It was terrible. Oh wait a minute! I do remember that. That was horrible. Oh, my. I got a hold of one of the bad ones. Uh, yeah, the taste stayed in my mouth forever. One was peach and one was barf. They looked exactly the same. Oh, oh no, terrible! Oh, Why? Why, yeah. would this? Why would anybody? Why are have we that? doing that? Why, Rick? Welcome to Rick and Bubba. Wait, Go ahead. Picture of puppies. Hey, <laughs> good morning, guys. You you are going to be missed next year, but I, so I think the only logical choice to replace Rick and Bubba is Gary and Beth Mullen. Oh, We're yeah. excited about the opportunity <laughs> to replace Rick and Bubba. <laughs> I, let me tell you, I mean, some people thought you couldn't have nothing when they retired, but, you know, apparently you can have something. Is that what you're kind of thinking, something along those lines, Rick? That's perfect. Yeah. Something along those lines, and I'm kind of concerned about Dickie Gadmeyer. I have not heard hide for hair for, for about him since you guys announced your retirement. I, I know Coach Saban put, pushed him to the edge. Yeah, it was too much for him in one year. There well, seems you know to be, uh, yeah. there seems to be a, just an avalanche of people retiring. I learned about a few more yesterday. I know. Did you? Yeah, you told me about one. Of oh, them. yes. Sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a – couldn't quite get six more months out of it. Yeah, I mean, all we need is six months. <laughs> right. <laughs> is that too much to ask? Philip, Enterprise. Philip, go ahead. Morning, guys. Hey, I wonder if they're ever going to see a return of uh, Hang the Hound, Henry's, uh, Henry the Horse's Alter Ego. Anybody remember Hank the Hound? Uh, Anybody remember briefly, Hank the, yeah. briefly remember yeah. Hank the Hound. Where, where, where did Hank, that come from? He gave kids bad advice. Yeah. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. Hank the Hound. That, oh, yeah, that may yeah. have been when, uh, you know, whoever portrayed Henry got tired of doing it, and he tried to change it to something else. Yeah, I ran out of ideas, I think. Uh, <laughs> he cooled quick on Hank, though. Yeah, where did the Hank head go? I gotta find it. I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere Speedy around here. Speedy is making what? What? Speedy? I, I don't know. We, we got, we got it. We know. <laughs> 
Oh, I mean, it was. What, what is he saying? And he's making all kinds of. Calm down, Cuddles. He's going to leave the ground if he <laughs> flaps Thompson, any harder. Calm down, Cuddles. We're right here. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. What? That he had a uh, he had a head that he put on that was a dog, okay. not a horse. Okay. Yeah, we were just talking about. But it. Do you know it? <laughs> <laughs> Harry, thanks the banker from Deal or No Deal for being on. You see him in the video. Eight six six, we be big, David, uh, out of Memphis. Hey, David, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Hey guys, appreciate everything y'all do. Sure. I've got a question I've been wondering for a while. What's the story behind Bubba killing some lady's snake at some outdoor event? Yep, yep. Yeah. What that, do you mean the story behind it? Yeah, the well, he probably, pretty much summed it up, right? Do you are you saying why? How did why was there a, a snake? How did this happen? Is that what you're asking? The details? Yeah, how did it happen, and how did Bubba end up killing? Him? Well, well, you know, I, yeah. I don't like snakes. No, um, I I have to remind people that our all just, all knowing, all loving God cursed that animal and took its legs away. <laughs> and um, so I don't think we ought to be friends with them. And um, so, you know, for a while, people thought it was funny to like try to scare me with a snake. Mm-hmm. Uh. And uh, I, I don't like them. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to climb a tree. I'm going to defend myself. Right. Uh, I've killed a bunch of them. I mean, if I had notches in my gun for all of them I'd killed, that thing would be cut up like it had been through a briar patch. Yes. But, um, this lady came up and kind of stuck it in my face uh, without me seeing what was coming. And, you know, I don't really, I can't for sure tell you what happened. Right. Black. Because when I came to, she was laying on the ground crying, and her dead snake was laying across her leg. Yeah. yeah and she had was... a giant footprint on her shirt. But and her I wig had fell off. Yeah. And she, she had it in like a pillowcase yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. I thought it was, I, I really thought she was getting brownies out. Yeah. And it's like, hey, Bubba, <laughs> Bubba, what do you think about this? And she yeah. decided to take the snake out. The last thing yeah. I remember seeing that, that, that tongue coming at me, mm-hmm. you know. And then Rick with his big eyes, like, yeah. I can't believe that just happened. Well, so you thought it was brownies? Yeah. yeah. And I, <laughs> well, David, you know how sometimes you look back on something you watched and you your mind begins to tell you there's no way that's what you saw? And oh, absolutely. I went through that. Uh, I was like, you know, mm-hmm. what I just saw, I've never seen Bubba move that way again since then. But have you ever, have you seen Kung Fu Panda? The yes, sir. <laughs> that that was it. Uh, I, he, his body moved like I've never seen it. it. But one at some points, I know it's not possible. It seemed like it was in slow motion, and uh, and you will lose a listener if you kill somebody's pet. You yeah, certainly will. will. <laughs> and uh, the, but but that kind of is on the person. It wasn't on both. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that she is, went right over to QSB after that. But, lost uh, her. Lost yeah. that listener. <laughs> I said there was something about center in those days. Oh. Every time we went to center Alabama, oh. something bizarre happened. Something just went, t- would always just go terribly wrong. Yeah. Usually involving wildlife, which I can't explain that. Yeah. I mean, you realize somebody had a cougar, now a real amazing. cougar on a leash walking it around. Yeah. Yeah. A real cougar with a big tail. Yeah. Everything. Ah. I missed that story last week with that and killing that guy, I guess. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It's like, well, I don't want the fuse box to be sitting right in the middle of it. So they built some doors that open and close uh-huh. yeah, it yeah. up. Yeah. And, and for the audience, this is where you got kicked to uh, when Sherry was uh, cooking for Thanksgiving uh, and you thought you saw the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Uh, yeah, right over here the, is the yeah. TV. Uh-huh. And, uh, and I thought I was watching the Macy's Thanksgiving <laughs> Parade on CBS, but it was from last year. <laughs> That's where it happened. Rick, how did you get the clock from Oxford, Oxford Middle School behind you? Yeah, yeah, that right looks now. like the clock you spend in our classrooms. Remember? Yeah, you yeah, stare at it. Yeah, I remember sitting there watching a clock like that going, Oh, I would cla- stare will, at will, it. Will class ever end? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, that's an old school clock. I, I don't know why we like old school clocks, but we got a couple of old school. If you go in various rooms of the house, you'll find an old school clock. Yeah, oh, I like a good old school clock. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of the kids nowadays can't tell what time it is. By the way, if it's not digital, I got I got no, one. That, I got one. It would just stare at that and go, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. You're you're, you're absolutely right. So um, they can't do that so or writing cursive. Yeah. So that's uh, that's kind of where we are. Um, I can, I don't know whether I have COVID <laughs> or whether my mind's just messing with me. I, I literally go from one extreme to the other. You know, you'll get to that point. And go well. That's it. Huh. And then all of a sudden you'll, you'll bounce back and feel fine. Yeah. So I'm, I'm at day five from exposure. And according to our doctor, Bubba, he says 
five to seven, four to seven, right in there, is when you kind of are going to figure out what your experience is going to be like. Uh, so we'll see. These next few days probably will tell us a lot. And plus, we'll have a, a, a test result here by Thursday or Friday. You yeah. know, uh, we're learning more and more about this as we go. And I think we, along the way, and even now, we go, the, the more we know, the less we know about it. Yep. Uh, I saw where Dr. Burks had said that if you traveled over the Thanksgiving weekend, you need to just assume that you've got yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, the, you know, the contagious uh, level of this is, is incredible. But how about this? There, there's a story today, and I, I'll just give you the, you know, the, uh, the headline on it, basically, because there's a lot of B cells, T cells, uh, CD8 sales, all this stuff. It, it's a very in-depth and hard to understand article if you're not a medical person. But uh, they, have, they have done a, a lot of checking on asymptomatic people, people who tested positive but didn't have any signs. And they found out, and they're claiming that a large majority, now some of them are just bad tests, we know that. Uh, but they said a large majority of them were mounting a robust immune response that differed greatly from those who actually fell ill with it. And uh, they have been able to test them, and they're showing antibodies for it. So they were actually, uh, a, a, a large number of people were fighting it off on their own. But you just don't know if you're going to be one of those people that will fight it off and have very limited uh, symptoms or if it will, uh, you know, get into your nerve system and give you all kind of problems. Are we trying to say there's a story out today that say some people's immune system is stronger than others? Mm -hmm. That is correct. <laughs> and, you know, if, wow. we, if we. Wow. How about that, Rick? You know, as, wow. as, as we've talked about, too, even <laughs> even every individual person, your immune system goes from highs to lows, even at different times during the day. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, it's the nature of being a living uh, being i mean we're not a machine it doesn't have a static point that it operates well on. just yeah. like our well, energy level just like our intelligence and our you know some days you think better than other days some days you you're physically better than other days it all goes inside i asked this question this morning i think it is remarkable and this is not a jinx by any means but i we were talking two weeks into this thing we were making bets on who was going to be patient zero and at this point, no, I'm I, saying, I know. at this point, uh, it's a fact, it it's a yourself? fact, it's a fact <laughs> that at this point, no one's collected on that bet. Okay. That's a fact. Uh, and we don't want, but, nobody but, wants but, to lose that bet. But to your, your point that you just made, there is a, a scenario where every one of us in this room has been exposed and we just don't know it at this point that we've yeah. actually gone through it, that our immune system handled it and we can just kind of move on about our day. There is that chance too. Have any yeah. of we don't talk about the, that. Have any of y'all had the antibody test? I have not. Mm -hmm. I haven't either. See, there is a chance that everybody that is associated with the show could take that and have it. Yeah. What if we were immune right. and we didn't have to worry about it? We could just go to the mall and hang out and not even worry about it. Guys, I know it's a dangerous thought and I don't want to be reckless, but I, I'm here I'm quarantined again. I'm almost pulling for a positive so I can get to the other side of it and be free. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm. See you in 2021, Rick. Yeah, I mean, you know, 60 minutes past, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. More of the Rick and Bubba Show coming up. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I know that, that we were just sent a story that we, we have uh, some men that, that fought. Nine minutes uh, to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba, thank you for being with us today. And we'll get to more of your phone calls before the day is done as we work through the stories of the day. Uh, so, Bubba, here is one, um, you know, there's all sorts of um, new inventions out there, people trying new things, uh, new products. Uh, we, of course, love the, the MyPillow product. Uh, we've been sleeping on those for years now and uh, slept on those last night. Uh, but people are always thinking they can come up with a pillow that, that may be the next step. Um, here's a company that is trying a new pillow and people are concerned about the shape of it. And the answer, the question is, is this something that you would rest your head on? Cause it, it has a, 
Now this is by, <clears throat> this has been actually put out by Sir Mix a Lot, right? It's funny. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. yeah, you know every celebrity is trying to have some, you know, some 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 side hustles. Uh, so he, y'all want to just let the video if, talk if, about, it? The video they, talk about it? Okay. Why is he not endorsing this? Yeah, well, yeah. maybe well, maybe he is. Here okay, so this is the name of the company is the Buttress Pillow. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. A nice booty is one of the best things on earth. <laughs> oh, Rectangle God. pillows are boring and uncomfortable. That's crazy. If we're going to put our face in something for a third of our lives, Come on. let God, it be a nice soft butt made to be laid this on. This can't be real. real. Just cradles your head. <laughs> no, this is so soft. Adler, oh this God. cannot be real. What What are we doing? Oh, oh they put some yoga on pants on it. That is over the line. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. This is hands down the best thing I've ever been saying. Oh, my God. Adler, what what are you doing? What websites are you hanging out on? What are you doing? Chris Adler. This has five star reviews. Which one was the pillow? Yeah, 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 which was the pillow? I I looked down. I didn't know if I should be watching. I made it a small screen, by the way. Ooh, rumple smooth skin. (laughs) (laughs) Becky. <laughs> so is Becky, this real? Look at my pillow. It's real. <laughs> it's not real. It's got tons of five star reviews. <laughs> it's got it's real. Is this it's really? Real. Is this? A, is this some kind of parody? It's a right. real company. The Buttress Pillow is the name of the company. Adler. And they have all kinds oh, of different real. sizes. If it's it's real. If it's shot. real, why don't you order one? Right. Well, I think, don't on think I back. haven't. You know, when he was laying on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Can you design your own pillows that come with in one? It looks like, I mean, what do you, you know, mean? Size. You want a slim fit? Yeah, or, like, yeah. can I get Terry's? And make a pillow out of it? I don't think they're doing molding. In, in oh, really okay. Really you can, no. uh, Remember, wow. this is about comfort and resting your head. Sleeping. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So All sleeping. right, so you can get it with jeans or, you know, no, like something no. else. <laughs> okay. No. Right. Oh, so that's real. It's real, yes. It's a real company. All right, I need you to click on the OMG. <laughs> go back to the second one and see what it where it takes you. So okay. you buy no. stuff that Do goes not. on it that Rick, has a G string. Hey, Rick, I'm sorry. No. Jeans or Greg, Greg. yoga no. pants. Look, that is hilarious. Yeah, no. different yoga pants and such. Yo, maybe your maybe your wife is out of town and you miss her. Or something. No, my I goodness, I don't. <laughs> Rick, are you okay? I should have said no. that. And you're having trouble sleeping. Oh Let my me, goodness! I, can I just tell you, I've seen the freak show that is our society. Oh, the freak yeah. show cannot handle this. No. Oh, Rick, <laughs> there'll be somebody trying to marry one. This, this is going to yes. be. It won't be long until somebody. You're right, Greg. Is is uh, but, but there's going to be worse. I'm picturing that, I'm yeah. picturing the Long hotel that, the hotel manager as you walk in because some people have to take their pillows when they travel mm-hmm. and you've ordered one of these you come walking through you got a butt over your shoulder you know he's, you know he's going to say so you just believe y'all married. <laughs> All right, so, so Mike, Mike Lindell's actually come out with a version. It's called My Buttress. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So wow. they've got different sizes, yeah, and uh, the Bodies. original Double Bubble is one. The Double Bubble. Uh, the OMG. Look at that booty is another. And then the biggest <laughs> size is the ORT, Our Royal Thinus. That is so good. It's the made of uh, it's made I'm of it's made of latex. Reading. It's I'm actually made of latex. No, don't worry about him. him. He's just reading. Can't we watch that SUV flip? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, quick. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. Yes. Can you show that guy with the saw blade. Again? Yeah, can you show us something? <laughs> it was else? so scary. <laughs> show us something else immediately. Oh, they take payment options. Okay. Oh, that's good. At least you ain't yeah. got to. What, what's the big butt run? One hundred and thirty-nine. One hundred thirty-nine for, for that big what? old rope. Yeah. Right. By the way, Bubba mm. had that price ready to go. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> camo. Two of them. Nice camo. Hey, it's hunting season. Put that at the at camp house. No. <laughs> no. Go with the vibe. Golly. Hey, buddy. All right. So can hey, we, what is wrong with Can we see the what SUV? To Adler? It yes. was about, <laughs> let's see, it was probably about, what, six weeks ago, a yeah. couple of months yeah. ago. What I'm, happened to you? No, so I'm, I'm going to say <laughs> J- July of 23. I, I, it, is that it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Ever since he got pulled over by that police. Yep. That's when my life went it's downhill. Like, it's like when his when he got the van. Right. Uh, do y'all want that uh, SUV video yes. for real? I yes. want to know. For the love of all I want to know who here. thinks Frankly. it's real and who thinks it's fake. And that's what I want to know. Uh, I think it is probably, unfortunately, real. It's that definitely real. I think it started out Bad as a man. joke and it turned real because right. they probably put posted it and then people started trying to order it. I like, would wow, buy it. Better get one. Adler. 
It's like, talking it's about like the boat the I was talking. I, I had moved on. I was, was talking, talking about the, the SUV. The SUV. Oh, yeah, I wasn't oh, talking about oh, the other. Okay. I was talking about the, this this here. So okay. some people think this is fake? Yes. Okay. All right, so like Greg Burgess. Burgess. Oh, no, it is real. This is some Saudi rich guy in a... Y'all tell me what kind of... I think that's a Hummer uh, SUV. I thought it was like a FJ... Oh, maybe that's know. what it is. Maybe. FJ Cruiser. But yeah. he's, he's some rich Saudi guy, and he's cruising on the beach, and he goes flying. This is why you wear a seatbelt, everybody. You can hear him. Everybody. You can hear him fly through the air and splash in the water. The big splash is actually him. Yeah. After flying through the air, doing donuts, doing donuts, uh, out of control. Wow, wobble, 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 out of control, out of control, flip. Oh. And look, y'all, oh, he gets wow. up and Boy, limps off. That thing landed on him. I know. Okay. Could have so, died so what easily. What about the dude that was swimming? Had to get out of the way. I know. So Not him. He's about like a guy with that, that saw blade. I think that's probably <laughs> real. You start doing that rolling flip, that's when you get slung out. So yeah. in the in the What's fake camp, do they think this is a stunt guy or it's a or it's an optical I, illusion? No, no. They think AI this is completely stuff. AI stuff. I, I oh, think AI. It's, yeah, okay. I think it's real. But they they say things like, "Why is he coming out from under the undercarriage of the car?" The way that it's oh, it, it looked saying. like he was coming fake. out the window. Didn't yeah. And, I think he came out the window. And so a lot of people, there's a lot of people that think this is fake. I don't really know. I think it's entertaining to watch. And it the is. guy's obviously limping out of the right. water. I think I've it seen. seems a little drastic to just do that and start rolling. I've, I've seen a lot of guys in these white, what are, what, what do they wear? What is that called? What? Yeah. Careful. A- Arab, Arab guys with oil money where yeah, whatever i've seen Small. so many videos of these guys drag racing bmws they have so much money uh and they i've seen so many crashes uh in supercars and things like that so this didn't surprise me or strike me as fake at all because i've seen these guys with this oil money they just play they just so you're pretty much the world's a pl- playground yeah. i'm pretty much let me ask you this when he started getting out of control why didn't he just take his foot off again? that's poor driving Panic. yes yes panic all right, Helms. Let me see if I can see again. It in I don't think mo. I don't. I think it's real. I'm just okay. saying there's a lot of people out there saying it's fake, okay. and you can go through the comments on Instagram, TikTok, and a lot of people are calling it AI generated. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's see here. All right, all right. I don't know enough about it to, to uh, comment. Yeah. The moment way. that he flies out is right here. I think he comes out that window. I think he I comes out this, that he's window. Well, he's got under. big air. Yeah. It's a, it's a thobe or a Kandora nice. that they wear. Oh. What is it? They speed? got money, I'll tell you What's that. It's yeah. an expensive yeah. vehicle that is uh, undrivable at the Ooh, moment. Yes. Oh, look at it dented what? up. Is oh, that yeah. A, it looks like a Bronco. Speedy, what would you call it? It does like a Bronco. Uh, it was a Kandora or a thobe, I believe. Yeah, he did come out the window. I think he came out the window. Hey, I can make that happen. Wear your seatbelt. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. over Thanksgiving leftovers. Now, when when Bubba and I hear these kind of stories, this isn't as weird to us as it may be for other people. But we have a Chicago man. Of course, in Chicago, if you murder somebody, it may never even make it into the headlines. Right. You had, we had another bloody Thanksgiving weekend, Rick. <laughs> but this Chicago man, Bubba, now think about this. You and I can understand this. Charged with murder, and you shouldn't murder someone over Thanksgiving, after stabbing a man in a fight over Thanksgiving leftovers. Yeah, I, I don't find that too strange. Uh, I know there's probably panic in some circles, but mm-hmm. uh, I love Thanksgiving and I love Thanksgiving leftovers. Uh, Thank- I, I, I look. I had I had. Uh, I'm getting choked up thinking about. It. I had <laughs> I had dressing and gravy for breakfast the morning after Gosh. Thanksgiving, and God we we you. got a turkey this time. Uh, we, we picked it up from a, a local restaurant and, and we didn't cut the turkey until we wanted the piece of meat off of it. And it has been outstanding. Mm. I have eaten more turkey sandwiches this year than I think I've eaten in my life. <laughs> and well, Rick, I just yeah. put that bread out there and put ketchup on one side, mustard on the other and put that. And I actually went to some of that highbrow mustard, that Dijon stuff. Oh, and man, I'm going to tell you, Look it has it. been good. I, I, that is delicious. <laughs> Yeah, apparently uh, there was that one of the guys was digging in the leftovers with his bare hands. Uh-uh. Now, now don't forget this figure, Bubba. We look for it in every story. Three fifteen a.m. Boy, they're hungry. Mm. Three fifteen a.m. Uh, they got in a, a, a punching fight 
and then one of them stabbed the other over Thanksgiving leftovers nine times. Good gracious. Uh, Greg, this is what you say about somebody running their fingers off in there. Yeah. That's what happens. You don't like that. That double dipping, it all leads to bad things. I love, but, I love how they say that, that the punch uh, was, hit, uh, was, was thrown and then the fight went out into the front porch. So they're throwing each other all over the house. Yeah. It, it, look, Thanksgiving leftovers, this is the first year I told Bubba, it, it, it has been many, many years since we've had leftovers because we've been hosting Thanksgiving uh, with both families, my wife's family and my family. Uh, which, you know, that your numbers get up in the thirties. Yeah. Okay. And, um, so let me tell you when, when the Burgesses and the Bodines hit a Turkey, mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, you look over there, you know what you see, you see the bones. Oh, James, he about, he can tear it up. Can he? Oh, you think he huh? won't get in it? So, yeah. Uh, so this a, year, a rock since Mason, we went, you don't think a rock Mason eats. <laughs> oh, look, rock Masons, they, they eat like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> and, hey, you so, know what, uh, too? They probably don't have to have a gym membership. <laughs> no. So, so this year we went down to 10, uh, you know, nine of us. And then, then, uh, young Broderick's, uh, you know, girlfriend, Cam Tastic. And, you know, she's, she's not, she's just a little video thing. She, she's not going to make, do any damage. And uh, so we actually had leftovers this year. Haven't had that in years. And we hit them turkey sandwiches. What about, and you just hit on it, Bubba. Is there anything better than dressing the next day? No, no. I, and that gravy, golly, that's so good. Mm. You know, we just, I, I guess, because we don't get it during the year. I just, I almost freak out at Thanksgiving. I mean, I need, I need to have it once or twice more a year just so I don't get too, too jazzed when it comes around and right. overdo it. Because I'll... Look, I'll be honest. I overdid it this weekend. Okay. Yeah, did you? Yeah, 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 sure, I did. Look at me. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, I yeah. I know. I, I think we all had a little bit of that. Now you were a topic of conversation at our table, uh, talking about you getting your stomach pumped. Well, but, that was know, a long time ago. Uh, Look, but <laughs> I knew, I knew that I was going down a dark path this weekend when I was hiding a piece of pecan pie and putting sweet potato in the very back of the refrigerator and hiding it with other things that I knew no one would touch. Right, stacking I, stuff up in front of I knew of I was you going know down a Pimsy, path that you're, didn't need. You're thinking like a fat guy. I was, I was. Bubba, let me tell you the ultimate fat guy move, and I don't feel good about it, and, and I did not do it. So that's the good news. you know. But, but the thought came in, which means I, I've got some work to do. Mom and dad, you know, uh, dad will be 80 in January. Mom just turned uh, 79 in November. So they did not come. And they were like, you know, we just don't want to take the chance. And, you know, it was, uh, it was real sad to have to do that. But we understand. Yep. So so when when it was over, <sighs> you know, we, we had my nephew who goes to Jacksonville State University. And everybody started gathering leftovers to send them. Yeah, I'm like, and, and he can't look, care all that. It'll be bad by the time he gets there. <laughs> and, and I thought, well, they made some food. They did not eat today. Mom said they made a nice little meal together. They don't need that. <laughs> and, and the look I got was like, are you <laughs> suggesting that we don't send some of this to your mom and dad? And, and well, I was like, just, I didn't, I'm not, I'm just saying, let's entertain the thought, <laughs> you know, that, that, that's or, that, cause she, or don't but overload got, the plate. You know what I mean? Right. Just, just well, give them a nice what, portion, but, but don't, don't overdo it. Well, here's the thing, Bubba, and this is the thing we love. My sister had brought those compartmentalized uh, plates, mm -hmm. and like they, they had perfectly put the dressing in one, a uh, giblet gravy in the other, the turkey in another, uh, you know, and, and then the mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, that's that's real easy just to throw in the microwave and heat and be ready to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Rick, I, I, I've i got it down to an art. I mean, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm assuming everybody else does it. You know, I, I put everything I want on my plate and I warm it once. Then I take it out. Then I put the gravy on it. Mm. And then I warm it again. Of course, with a paper towel over the top so it doesn't splatter. Right. But you don't want to over, over warm the gravy with, with everything right. else because it's Here we go, six minutes past the hour. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here for a brand new hour. 
Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here. Thank all of you for being part of the little party we call Rick and Bubba. We only ask for five hours each and every day. Here we go. All right, so that, that'll be moved to tomorrow. I'm upset. Uh, okay, all right, so... Um, we, send me a link to that. I need to study that. Uh, we did the full story in the kickoff hour. Got a, um, a question. Got a story left over from yesterday that a lot of you were asking us about uh, that we did not cover. I didn't even know what happened while we were on spring break. That California has now implemented the twenty twenty dollars per hour minimum wage, mm-hmm. uh, and it is crippling the fast food industry, which we knew it would. Uh, and, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> the Whopper's up to seventeen fifty. Yeah. When you when you take, uh, as we've said many times, we we have a lot of things that um, uh, we see a lot of marketing out there by companies mm-hmm. that do marketing that is designed for a, a fake world, and then of course it's a disaster in the real world. This is also fake world economics, yeah. but when it goes into the real world, it just doesn't work because it's fantasy. Uh, and it's not reality. Here's NBC News. Uh, they'll give us an update on how it's going uh, in California. So here we go. It's one of the highest minimum wages in the country and the first time state lawmakers have mandated a minimum wage for just one industry. Supporters say it's time for the billion dollar corporations to pay a living wage. How's it going? But many franchise owners like Jessica Diambra, who runs 11 McDonald's around L.A., say the law puts an unfair strain on their businesses already operating on slim margins. Do you feel targeted that it's specifically for fast food? Yes, and I think people just don't realize that. They see this big McDonald's brand and just think, oh, they've got all the money in the world, and it's just that's not at all how it is. McDonald's, Chipotle, and Starbucks already saying they plan to raise prices to offset the rising labor costs. Yep. Pizza Hut preemptively laid off 1,200 delivery drivers like Michael Ojeda. I was very frustrated. A lot of us got our jobs taken from us. He was let go after eight years. What's the point of the raise if you don't have a job anymore? Good the- question. Uh, good question, Hoss. Very good question. By the way, yeah. What what was it before this? Fifteen. Was it 15, 18, something like that? I don't know. Better, better that and get paid than 20 and not get paid. Also, you have to kind of look in the mirror and say, I'm still delivering pizzas eight years later. But anyway. Well, uh, here's, here. here's the thing that, and I understand people want a living wage. I got of that. Course. But I think the point they're missing is you have to have an entry point and then work your way up. Um, th- this never works. McDonald's is not going to lose a dime in this nope they're only going to charge more for food so everybody that goes to the restaurant is paying for it um right i know it's easy when you vote for it yeah well we want to do that we want to help them well you might as well just give them money yourself because that's what's going to happen and what and what the the franchise owner was trying to educate those who you know live their lives with the view of the world that a child has McDonald's is a big operation, and they make lots of money, so we they can pay whatever they want, and they won't miss a dime. But what they're missing is McDonald's, the corporation, and the people at the top are making money off all these franchise people, what you pay for a franchise. And the margins of people who are running restaurants, Slim. First, first of all, they work their rear ends off from sunup to, to, to sundown and on into the evening. And the margins, and Bub and I were in tried this business for a while. We were not, you know, we were basically our brand, but we knew enough about it because our brand was associated with it. The margins are unbelievable. People who are successful in the restaurant business are a unique yeah. crowd. I feel like standing and applauding. And so, what happens because these margins are so tight in the real world, not your fantasy uh, fake world, is they just cut employees and raise the cost of food to cover it. So what did we accomplish? This is elementary. So the same people, and Rick, let's look at it this way. The same people who work at McDonald's got a raise, but now when they go over to Pizza Hut to eat, the price is up. Mm-hmm. So have they gained anything? I would submit no. No. In uh, Jan- in 2018, it was uh, $10 an hour. Then 2019, they made it $11 an hour statewide in California. 2020, they made it 12 an hour. 2021, they made it 13 an hour. 2022, they made it 14. 2023, 15, 50. 
2024, 16, and now they're making it 20. So that's a considerable jump, even wow. looking at their that's jumps. Yeah. And did, and did I hear her correct? It's only for fast food restaurants? Correct. Yeah, and I think that's where, that's if it's right. challenged in court, it will lose because they have handpicked an industry to do that. Now, if they did it across the board, they might get away with it. Not going to be smart economically. But uh, I think that if it was challenged in court, they would win because they have selected a particular industry. Well, you go to the more modern, say, <clears throat> McDonald's. You go in now, a fairly new one, you have maybe two registers, and then you got the kiosk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're going to be they're... replaced by kiosks. Because they don't Absolutely. call in sick. They can work as many hours as they want. Yep. Right. The old kiosk. Well, and Bubba was making the point nobody's getting on this, is when you go into the fast food industry, there must be an entry level. And then you try to become the you know regional manager or maybe one day be a franchise on you you work your way up when did this sense of entitlement hit our society mm -hmm. so terribly bad that this is what you get and we're seeing it in every industry i mm -hmm. mean we take college sports and this everything that's going on with college sports right now i mean when did we deem that we were treating college athletes so terrible we were giving them everything under the sun and it just wasn't enough well, and it just wasn't enough and I, it just wasn't enough and it's the same with this it actually started back early in our country when, uh, was it uh, refugees they were going to pay for? And Jefferson made the speech about it. Wasn't it Jefferson made the speech about doling out money from the treasury? It was, you remember uh, that? It was actually, I think it was Madison. Madison? Yeah, it was yeah. Madison. Yeah. And he said, we can't be in, from the government, we can't be in benevolence. There you go. You know, if, if y'all want to be benevolent mm -hmm. to, I think it was French uh, refugees right. during right. the French Revolution. And they were wanting to pay for them. If, if you want to help the French refugees that are hitting our, our border, then you, the church, you, the individual, y'all handle benevolence. The government does not get in that business. Yeah. Uh, and, and look where we are now. And, yeah, and, and look absolutely. where we are now. Yeah. So, and and it just escalated throughout history. It is it is the Achilles' heel, I think, of democracy that you know the that you can vote yourself money out of yeah. the treasury mm -hmm. uh, to buy votes with, and it's been done for a long time. We have the greatest Ponzi scheme in the history of the planet called Social Security. Yes. <laughs> right. And and we're seeing we're really about to reap the benefits of that. Uh, with more people retiring than paying in. So yep. it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of steps along the way where it was uh, terrible mistakes. And I don't think, you know, I, I, I have empathy for the people wanting to do better, but I don't think this is your answer because no. it's only cost your, I mean, this, and again, the same people who are working here are going to go to places it's cheaper to eat and they're the ones that's going to see the biggest price increase. So again, so guess what the next thing is? Right. They need twenty five an hour. Yeah. Well, and and I would ask absolutely. this. Let's go ahead. Let's get ahead of the curve. Let's figure out exactly how much you need to be in your mind for everybody to be good. If if twenty is good, forty would be better, right? right. Sixty would be excellent. Why don't we just make it sixty? And then hamburgers going to cost fifty five dollars. Right. So I mean, where, where does it end? There right. is no. We're chasing a carrot here yeah. that we can't get to. There is There's a, no yeah, answer to yeah, this. Yeah, there is a number, and they act like there is no number. And I think we've reached a number. I mean, you really don't have to look any further than the pizza delivery guy who's been delivering pizzas, and, and, make, make, and he had income from that for eight years. Now he doesn't have a job at all. The minimum wage is up. He just doesn't have a job. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he joins, you know, uh, another uh, uh, 1,199 people. Who also lost their job. And guess what? When he goes to McDonald's, the food price has gone up too. Mm -hmm. Now he has no job and price has gone up. Have we helped him? No. Okay. No, not so at that's all. that's the point. Yeah. And and to your point, uh, Helmsy, there is an, an overreaching that's kind of been unprecedented that I've seen just in society is a lack of gratitude and contentment. And uh, I've been you I've been talking about this with multiple situations. It since it, in general, it feels like right now. When you say to someone, I have done this, this, and this for you, and you know what they'll say, but I want more. Yeah. Do more for me. That's not enough. It's never enough. And and but at some point the real world creeps in and says, yeah. Well, you you've you've hit the the law of diminishing yeah. return and you, you, it adjusts itself. The, we can look down the road, minimum wage one day will be $100 an hour, and a hamburger will cost $100. We still hadn't gained anything. We That's still right. can't We still can't survive on yeah. what we're making. Mm -mm. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 
it go, it goes nuts, you know, start <laughs> splattering mm-hmm. in there. You don't want that. Let, but, let me tell you something, young people. See, that's Picasso. That is. <laughs> see, 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 see what, what y'all just heard, only we would think of that. And because I was about to ask the question about how you handle the gravy on the reheat. Mm. And and what you just said is like somebody asking Saban about the process. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, 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 I mean, what you just did is beautiful. It, it's mm. beautifully done. It's perfectly done. And that's exactly how you reheat the gravy. Yeah. And let me tell you, you know, you got your, your big items, mm. but. And I know we've talked about deviled eggs before. I don't know why, as a child, I ran from them. Uh, I feel bad. Yeah, I, I because don't I, like deviled eggs. I, feel I like, always get a, a one done without it. Yeah, I, I feel like half my egg. life I, I, I just missed out on them because right. I love them now. Right. And we had an entire plate of deviled eggs left over, and we put back in the fridge. And every time I'd walk past the fridge, I'd grab me one. Every time. Um, I just, just reach in there, old cold deviled egg. Oh, it was good. Good. I, I tell you, and this this item didn't always get a lot of PR at Thanksgiving, but mm. but Betty's cream corn. Yeah, and she <laughs> she does corn, and it's so sweet. I eat it for dessert. <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> I, and I I don't know why we don't have that during the week. You know, every yeah, week. Right. <laughs> so good. I mean, I would eat it last as a dessert. <laughs> it was great. Well, again, cream corn for for dessert. That's a veteran. 44 minutes after the hour. We'll be right back. You are tuned to the Rick and Bubba Show. Don't you touch that dial. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. We appreciate all of you guys, and thank you for sharing a few hours with us each and every day. Going on 27 years. How about them you apples? Know, our, our birthday's coming up, buddy. I know it. I know it. Happy birthday to us. <laughs> yeah, look, so right we, now. We started in 1994. Look, right now, we're just, everybody's just day to day. Yeah, we, I know. We just, hey, thank you, Lord, for another one. Let's, uh, how about one more? I know, Adler, and I, I know we have a birthday coming up, and I never thought I would get to this, and we talk about it every year for the last couple of years. I forget how old I am. Uh, and Terry has to tell me, or I have to text my sister and say, how old am I? Seriously, uh, I know? had to do the math the other day because I kept thinking those numbers are not adding up. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you, <laughs> when you're a four and you go, wait, 26, <laughs> there's a six. It's got to be, it must be 56. Uh, it's got to be 56. So, you know, on, on the Charlie Brown Christmas special, which it was a big revolt here at the house because my wife wanted to watch it on November the 30th and the boys were screaming, we can't watch that Mm -hmm. till it's December mom. Mm. Uh, but mom won. Uh, so we, we've watched (laughs) the Charlie Brown Christmas special and, and I think our show is kind of like pig pen. Uh, you, you remember when he gets the mirror out and he looks at himself after the naturally curly haired girl says, you're a mess. Yeah. Mm -hmm, And he looks in, he he looks in the mirror. He says, frankly, I look better than I thought I did. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, where did you see it at? Because we were just talking, did you go to, uh, is it Disney that's got that Uh, now? Or which one was it they bought? Rudolph? What'd they buy? You know, I don't know because we went looking for it, but you know, we actually have it on DVD here. Yeah, I think so. We do too, yeah, so we, we, but we could find it streaming before, but we couldn't find it anywhere. So we just went with the uh, DVD. Yeah. I, well, you remember we had the deal. I think Apple purchased, was it, it, it was Charlie Brown or Rudolph? I can't remember which one. But anyway, they, they, they have it now. And I think you have to be on their streaming service to have it. Um, you know, it's funny how some of this has evolved and we've talked about it. Um, that we had network TV, and then we had cable TV, and mm-hmm. you had to watch what they were giving you. And then they had some shows on demand if you had the right digital setup. And then streaming came along, and we were all, oh, my gosh, streaming. I'm about to, I've just got to stream or I'm going to die. Mm-hmm. And then streaming has turned into, hey, you got to buy the service now, and most of them have commercials. At least it's, I keep seeing them. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm on half the time. <laughs> uh and and now they've got so you used to could go to Netflix and get about everything. Now all these companies are are starting their own version of it, mm-hmm. and they're carrying their products back to their platform. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like we come full circle again. Yeah. Now now we're paying for the service, we get commercials, and we still got to have like eight different channels to download things on. Yeah, no, you're right because you know NBC did the same thing with their programming. It's kind of like the Rick and Bubba COVID mask. Yeah. If you're going to buy masks, why are you buying them from other people? You might as well buy them <laughs> right. from us. Yeah, might as well. <clears throat> so. Yeah.
22 minutes now past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show as uh, we work our way back. Bubba was on the kickoff hour, but that's been a while ago, as many stories were. The 2024 iHeart Radio Music Awards share the Icon Award. Meryl Streep uh, gave her uh, the award. And um, so um, Cher is one of those studies that we've got going. The Rolling Stones, of course, mm-hmm. Keith Richards being one. Um, but Cher also in that same study, um, is it, is it, are they even real people? <laughs> I mean, it's like how in the world can they continue at their age to do what they do? Well, many people have speculated, Rick, over the years that if there was an all-out nuclear war, the yes. only thing that would survive would be cockroaches and Cher. That's yeah. correct. Uh, so <laughs> and, I, I don't know. And, and maybe we throw Keith Richards in there. I, I mean, I, I'd I, watch I, Sonny and Cher when I was just a little kid. Oh, so, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So, How old was she then? She was pretty young back then. 16 when they first met. So, really? Yeah. Yeah. Right. What about when they started the TV I don't show, know about yeah. that. Like, probably in her 20s, maybe. Have you seen her with the, uh, was it the Jackson 5? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, I have. That video was yes, floating around the other day. Yes, did you I see have. That? Sure did. And they were all doing uh, one of their hit songs. Was it yeah. them or the Osmonds? No. Wait a it minute. Was it, was the, oh. it was the Osmonds. Was it the Osmonds? I don't know. It, I well, think it was the Osmonds. They're the white Jackson 5. Greg, we know that. Uh, I think it's about you with a highlighter. Didn't they, didn't they cover superstition? <laughs> Wasn't that the one I saw? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, here, is this it? Yeah. Oh, it, it, it is yeah. the Jackson Five. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And That's Michael's like Michael's Michael's, Michael's going to do the. Uh, uh, can robot. look at Michael here and then tell me. Look at Cher trying to do the robot. Y'all, Cher don't need to be doing that. No. Michael could move there too. Oh yeah. There he goes. Yeah. That is not the clip I was thinking of, though. That's, had, that's, uh, there, you, there's two. There's yeah. one that, with the Osmonds, too. But I saw this good. clip, too. And the Osmonds are doing Superstition, I think. Yeah, I think that's what oh, it was. Okay. I, Don, it was Donnie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, you're absolutely right. But I saw this one. You just showed two after. I mean, they're both, they're both <laughs> out there. I saw it. After. But anyway, but I told Helmsy earlier, because, you know, sometimes I, I had to take Helms to talk to him about life a little bit. <laughs> and he was he talking about Sonny Bono and her being 16. I said, but look at Sonny. There's, if she'd been any older, you could have never got her. That's I mean, true. I mean, uh, he had to be—he had, had to, he had to be true. older. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Rick, he had to groom her. You're right. He, <laughs> he did. That's terrible. Greg. Corporate Greg, accurate but terrible. Yeah. Uh, Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. <laughs> right. Half breed. <laughs> That's a song. I didn't write it, but it's out there. It was great. That was one of her big hits, wasn't it? Was. Yeah, we oh, played a little bit. Of it. it was a huge hit. A song. I remember Reed. listening to that on AM radio, baby. Yeah, oh, yeah. And uh, I, we didn't know you Since weren't supposed the day to. I was born. We didn't know you weren't yeah. supposed to sing half free. Be mad at then you were. Be Things changed. You could then. Nobody cared. Things you could change. cheer for the Washington Redskins then, too. You're right. Yeah. You could. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, you could. Uh, uh, Bubba, this is gonna. This is just. I, th- she's seventy-seven. Yeah, Have, and it's dating somebody that's like thirty. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, forty. Sunny forty year, well. Forty-year <laughs> age difference between them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Sonny was twenty-eight and separated, married, married but separated when he uh, first met sixteen-year-old Cher. Oh, yeah. wow. he was borderline going to jail. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Check their Rose? We, we Rose? borderline. Yeah. I was going to say, Greg, what <laughs> borderline? What legal? Well, back then, what law are you working no, off? No, back then, well, girls got on what married state? at fifteen. Oh, dude, yeah. okay. Yeah. Different. Well, I didn't know different state rules. State to state yeah, laws. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right, Greg. Thank you, buddy. I'm just telling you. No, what you told us, Rick. I used to love the Sunny and Cher variety show. It was uh, almost it was as funny. good as Flip Wilson. Yeah. I love Flip Wilson. I did too. But Bubba, Here comes the judge. But Anything that had a big giant, their name in the big yeah. giant letters, yeah. that's good. But, but Bubba, good. don't, don't, for, don't Flip forget. Flip Wilson was. In the 70s, if you didn't have a variety show, you were nothing. Yeah. Oh, Rick. Really? Mac Davis yeah. had a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. did. Tom Jones. Tom Andy, Tom what's his name, had one. Yep. Tom Jones. Do you remember, Jones? Uh, oh, oh. Do you remember Jimmy Dean's? Right. He had Ralph, that puppet. He became a Muppet now. Yes, he did. He got passed on. Hang on. But the. Sausage. But I want, but the the vast. Now think about it, the vast catalog of Cher's music, which, yeah. which the kickoff hour had to uncomfortably come to the realization that they liked a lot. Of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We start. It started out as a joke, right. and then we started listing, and we we're like, wait a minute. But but listen to this. This vast catalog <laughs> over decades. She's right. seventy seven. <laughs> Greg, have breathe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, man. <laughs> I know. I know. 
<laughs> that was Rick, good, when I was a kid on the AM radio. It was a good we song. We heard it all the time. It was a good yep. song. Did we not? Yep. I'm looking to see if it made D&G would spin it in a it, minute. It's yeah. on the essentials, Rick. It did make it. Yeah. I, I oh, yeah. was going to make a prediction it wouldn't be on no, the essentials. No, it's, no. Rick, that I was her first the, really no, no. It may still be one from a, from a From a political <laughs> crisis. <laughs> I, I thought they would have removed it. I thought they would have removed it. The left wouldn't. Well, she's an icon. They wouldn't push Cher out. Rick even starts out with Indian drums. Oh, yeah. Huh? A lot of 70 songs kind of had that sound oh, to yeah, it. Nobody they did. Huh? My oh, yeah. I mean, you can't miss that. Father married a Cherokee. Oh, she's putting it on the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Indians weren't big on it. No. Oh, she put it on. You could do that now. You got to put it on the white people. <laughs> That's right. Now they go. If she she probably rewrote it. And my white family didn't like me. Yeah. Because they were inherently evil because of their whiteness. <laughs> exactly. You couldn't do that. No, you the couldn't. Indian can't be mad in the song now. No. <laughs> no, you're right. You have to change it. You yeah. must change it. Yeah. Yeah. If you, the, the, white devil, white devil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, what, what is so this we deal all... about the 40-year-old pants? Was she wearing pants that were 40 yeah. years old? Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. She came out in some garb. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, She's older well, than look, Let me tell you. Her pants. She, she, she is not uh, going to um, adhere to changing her wardrobe at the assisted living place i'm gonna tell you that can i tell you something can i tell you something about Cher? is that we were making fun of the song titles and we would play them oh, yeah, sure. like we all we sleep alone like, and we're like, like that's hey, funny hey. and then all of a sudden we started playing we're like okay oh, yeah, yeah. i hear that all yeah. the time Look, she's, I like yeah. she's done some good oh, she work. had a run yeah. in the 80s where she had a lot of hits. Yeah. greg yeah. gave me a lot fernando and oh, she was uh i mean she she was cutting edge yeah. with auto tune playing yeah. with oh yeah stuff, oh she right the first time you heard that you thought what's that right there i got the remember i said something messed up you remember the first movie she was in Moonstruck. No, Silkwood. That, that Silkwood. Mm. I just threw it out there. I just mm. didn't know. <laughs> one, all, one, uh, all I could think one of. One Academy Award for whatever one you just said. Moon, Moonstruck. Moonstruck. You, you forgot it that quick? I think. You, I, I mean, I, I just did. said I it. I forgot it that quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> that was over with Moonlight or it's like Moonlight Graham. <laughs> <laughs> I want to think you just weren't listening. I, I don't uh, really. Okay, good. Uh, but, that, that so was Silkwood, is that the first one she was in? Yeah. She did a movie with Sam Elliott, too, Mask. Oh, yeah. yeah. You You don't remember that? Let you remember you, that? I've never heard of that. Oh, come oh, Rocky on. Dennis. Rocky I've never Dennis. Heard of You've that. never seen Rocky I've Dennis. I've never oh, heard of the good. movie. I'll tell you a funny one though. You better go home watch Witches of Eastwood. Witches of Eastwood was funny. Yeah, it was. Jack Nicholson. What's the deal with Mask? You know this. You know who Rocky Dennis is. I've never heard of this. Hey, roll the trailer. I've never heard of this. Adler. Watch the trailer. That was an honest mistake. If there's something weird, watch the trailer. You're being insensitive right now. Okay. Very insensitive. Bad boy. I didn't know. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It's just, it's getting more and more complicated again. Now, instead of changing channels, on our cable box or our satellite dish, <clears throat> now we're just having to change apps to go to whatever, you know, it's just, I don't know. It seems like we're we're in some kind of dog chasing his tail circle <laughs> and we can't get out, you know? <laughs> well, well, Bubba, I can clear that up for you. It's like uh, we've said about everything that we do here is <clears throat> great technology, but you better be able to monetize it. Yeah, and, well, that's uh, the problem. And so now everybody realizes you have to monetize it. Yeah, uh, and, and you add so, college students in there that all they do is stream. It's, it's a, you know, it's a list well, of stuff. How about I have good news? Because we did watch the Peanut Special. By the way, this one, the DVD had the special features too. That I went back and watched the story of the Charlie Brown Christmas Special. Really, really interesting story. Uh, Charles Schultz um, put that uh, the scripture reading with Linus in there, and he made a lot of opposition about that. And even the guy, which Bubba sounds a lot like our story, uh, even the guy who was at CBS and Coca Cola wanted to do the special. Coca Cola started it. If you've got a sponsor, if you want to know how the Rick and Bubba show solidified itself to a two-man show, hmm. it's when good old boy theater got a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and Coca-Cola went to CBS and said, we want to do a Christmas special. Uh, and, hey, we like this Peanuts comic strip. And, mm-hmm. and they created it for a sponsor. Um, wow. But, uh, and, uh, but it, it's a very interesting story. And uh, it ended up being this, you know, of course, there were only three stations then. It ended up getting like a 49, 50 share. Yeah. Uh, and when they brought the, the they finally, because they, you know, keep in mind, it was a comic strip. So they had to bring an animator in that could take these Charles Schultz characters and make a move. 
And so they were interviewing that guy and he was not a believer. So he said, when he talked about putting something from the Bible in there, I was like, well, this is, this is not going to work. <laughs> and, um, and so uh, they put it on and even CBS saw it and Coca-Cola and said they were underwhelmed by it, thought it was clanky and not real smooth. They didn't think it, they said, well, we're committed to it. Let's run it. And it ended up bringing in like a 50 share. Uh, and they showed all the letters they got from all over the country thanking them for putting something like that on and it has and it has aired uh from 1965 uh every single year since well you know i i know that not everybody's on the same page but uh you know christmas does have i hate to bring this up to everybody it does have a biblical root that's why we're doing it yeah. mm-hmm. uh so we don't make everybody participate or you know you have your own version but it does have a biblical root to it <gasps> That's actually yeah. what we call the Christmas story. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Even the Bubba, name. Watch out, Cuomo's gonna gonna get on you. Nah, he is. He's, he's gonna say, you Christmas, know, no Christ, that. Christmas, Christ. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings with degrees all over the wall. But uh, there you go. <laughs> Christmas has Christ in the beginning of it. <laughs> well, Bubba, and if you are, if you make your way to the crest. Yesterday, the Christmas lights went up. We watched Charlie Brown special. We got the Christmas lights up. The tree is coming today. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if y'all can see these pictures, but uh, I got out and took a picture wow, yeah. of, the, of, of the Griswold lights. They are up and they're running. Uh, Sherry put some uh, even closer pictures on her Instagram yesterday. And, uh, and you know, she, she also put out a Bible verse. <gasps> But anyway, so uh, so the lights are up here on the crest, baby. Uh, some people didn't sleep as well last night. <laughs> Rick, wow, I, I nice, want to tell man. you, I, I'm I'm amazed that any group could do that much in one day. That that just looks like an awful lot of lights to put up. You know why? Because it is. Mm. How about this? Uh, they started putting those up during the show yesterday, and they finished about four thirty yesterday afternoon. Hmm. Well, that, I'm going to tell you, yeah, that's incredible. That, that's an incredible job. Sherry's pictures got me in trouble at the house with Caroline because the minute she saw it, she was, why, why can't we do this? Mm. So yeah, well, I got well, pressure. I got pressure. I said, maybe well, I, I said, maybe next year I kicked the can down the road. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and there's been years that we didn't do it and I almost didn't do it this year, but when the, I'm so glad we did, I mean, now more than ever, we just stood out there in the driveway, looking at the lights, you know, mm-hmm. of course, wearing masks. Cause you know, I may have COVID mm-hmm. and, right. uh, and, and just, um, <laughs> Uh, it, it just, you know, it, it just makes you feel good. It, yeah, uh, it I, does. I, I just, I just love it. I oh, mean, look, I can see the house around the uh, big truck you got. Oh, look, nah, that, that's a really yeah. nice picture, Rick. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, is that looks truck... like some kind of uh, Christmas card or something? <laughs> <doesn't> it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, Bubba. Boy, it is. It is. And when it was snowing yesterday, I thought, you know, it was just flurrying, but it was flurrying a lot. Yeah. And we were all going, hey. Hey now, yeah. let's not let's not get into all that. Speaking yes. of light, it looks like the sunlight's come up there uh, at the old Zoom yeah, spot it. there, Rick. We're back. Uh, 35 minutes past the hour. Phone troll. Uh, the Patriot Mobile phone troll. Make your phone money count at patriotmobile.com slash Bubba. Helmsy on the phones. Uh, 866-WE-BE-BIG. Uh, largest number of people in the shortest amount of time. Uh, speaking of Patriot Mobile, as you hear, uh, they're a brand new partner to the, uh, the big show now. Uh, PatriotMobile.com slash Bubba. Many options for phone service, but how about uh, making your phone money matter and start spending your money with a company who shares the values that so many other companies are now compromising? You're like, I don't want to send my money to these people. Uh, But do you have a choice? Yes. Thanks to PatriotMobile.com slash Bubba, you do. Uh, For 10 years now, they've been America's only Christian conservative wireless provider and when we say the only one we mean it they are the only one that's why we're so proud to be partnering with them they offer the same dependable nationwide coverage that we all want giving you the ability to access all three major networks which means you get the same coverage that you've been accustomed to but 
Now you are no longer funding agendas that none of us agree with. When you switch to patriotmobile.com slash Bubba, you're going to send a message uh, that you uh, want to be with a company that uh, is for religious freedom, the sanctity of life, Second Amendment, uh, military, veterans, first responders considered heroes by this company. Uh, and the money that you're already spending anyway now is going to make a difference. Uh, here's one other thing we love. 100% U.S.-based customer service team, making switching easy. Keep your number, no problem. Keep your phone, that's fine. Or you can upgrade if you want. Uh, they also help you find the best plan for your needs because, uh, you know, that you, you need a customized plan. So join us and go to patriotmobile.com slash Bubba, get more info and free activation. Uh, or you can call them at 972-PATRIOT and just tell them the code Bubba. you also find a direct link to patriotmobile.com slash Bubba at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. Phone call standing by. Uh, 30 seconds a pop. Uh, if you want to join us, Helmsy's ready. JR in Alabama. Welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Hey, morning, fellas. Howdy. Hey, buddy. Dinner. All righty. Uh, y'all were talking about Cher earlier. Actually, one of her better tunes that I thought was uh, she made a duet with Peter Cetera back in the day. Do y'all remember that? I do. You yeah. do not, Greg. You don't remember that. What was I the song? I, do. I just know he had ever hit. What was the song, <laughs> JR? Uh. Lord, ask Greg. He'll tell you. After uh, all. I, yeah. After I do. all. After all. After all? Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I do not remember that After song. All. I bet I'll remember it when yeah, I hear well, yeah, it. Yeah, it was a big hit. Do you remember it? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, I, do. I, I don't remember the, the harmony. After, remember Bubba would I, sing I, the Peter Cetera part. He would. Yeah. After all. Also, <laughs> okay. he's known for it. Yeah, it's <laughs> not great. It's not as good as your inspiration, but it's good. <laughs> but it's it's really the love thing. <laughs> You've heard that music. Oh, yeah. Greg, you got that. Welcome. There you go. That's what it is. After all, you remember that. After all, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember that. You're probably close. It's probably something <laughs> like that. You know. Give me a year on this. Eighty nine. No. Yes, I, Rick. I remember that. I wasn't in this world. Maybe now. <laughs> I just remember it being on the road. Rick Silent Rain was on the road now. That's true. Uh, all right, uh, we eight, covered it. Eight. <laughs> I got a picture yeah, of that. Stand up and shout. <laughs> uh, eight six six. We be big. If you want to join us, you can. Sammy, welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you doing, Sam? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam, I am. Hey, uh, yeah. Hey, how y'all doing today? Well, just doing uh, a radio show. I, that's the best thing to do some days, right? Amen. Hey, now. Uh, Hey, uh, talking about Sonny and Cher, uh, Greg said that Sonny was close to going to jail back in the day. It remind me to never have Greg as my lawyer first. <laughs> well, now, what stayed in different times? In those it days, was a different time. you've seen coal miner's daughter. Loretta had four kids now. She was 15. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you didn't even know the era. Yeah. But uh, if I, you were in Appalachia. Let me tell you this. I would disagree with the caller. I want a lawyer that says I borderline broke the law. Right. Not that I did. He didn't quite do it. He was close. <laughs> he was close. He, was close. Did. he, he walked just, up to the line. Walk in the line. Walk in the line. Said, before y'all get on my client, let's talk about Cole Miner's daughter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was only 20. about Jerry Lee Lewis? <laughs> wow. Oh, oh Jerry Lee. Cost him. Yeah. A he, double. A double whammy. Yeah, he did a double whammy there. <laughs> yeah. Too young and too close. That's right. Hey, if he'd have just left her home when he went to England. <laughs> they gone. said he'd been as big as Elvis. Mm-hmm. Kyle, got him. English press didn't like that mess. Right, and everybody gives mm-hmm. Elvis a pass for dating Cilla, and she was that's like, "What?" True. I saw. Or she wasn't his cousin. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that was, was one thing. Uh, Kyle What's in Birmingham, ZZK. Kyle, go ahead. Hey, fellas. So uh, going back to the twenty dollars an hour thing, did y'all see uh, the Waffle House strike last week where they just demanding twenty five dollars an hour? I did not yeah, see that. that up. So, they deserve so it. Waffle House folks are, are <laughs> striking, wanting twenty five an hour. Yeah, they walked out on the job and demanding twenty five dollars an hour. Yeah, well, they're gonna ask for that. Get fifty. You're right. I mean, it's uh, you know, I, I've, wow. I, 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 look, we all enjoy a little Waffle House, maybe in the right setting, <laughs> uh, moderation, please. But uh, that food. There's, it's inexpensive, and and if 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 our if our guy back here on the griddle is knocking down one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, that that it's waffle gonna be hard, yeah. <laughs> that waffle's going to sting. Yeah, th- we had a story. I, I, Scattered I inexpensive. I don't think we we covered the numbers. I was looking for it again a minute ago. I've lost it here, but uh, it says now you need to make one hundred and ten thousand dollars to afford yes. an average home. Three B is a, one yeah, of the videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. Uh, 
Yeah, it used to be seventy five thousand just in twenty twenty. Right. Mm-hmm. And I saw another guy. I don't know. I haven't checked the numbers on this, but uh, and I don't know where I saw it. It may have been a reel or something. But uh, he said that forty percent of the all the money ever printed in the U.S. has been printed since twenty twenty. Wow. That's the kind of money what? we're rolling out. What? Well, you can't. You can't. You can't prop up billion dollar wars around the globe and not print money. That's right. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. Uh, let's go to Jimmy. Uh, we haven't even talked about this. Jimmy and Fairhope. Go ahead, Jimmy. Hey, guys. I, I'd just like to get your thoughts on what you think is going on with uh, Sean Pito, Diddy, Combs, and Ooh. and the whole mess he's got going. Well, it looks awful. It I, does. I, yeah, you know, at first, you know, he went out and he, his his representatives and he were, you know, denying and whatever, and everybody has their day in court. But I, I do think you have to kind of tilt your head and go – this particular organization that concentrates on human trafficking, I just don't think that they randomly show up and start taking everything out of your home they can find and putting it in big vans and driving away with it just because they may be on the wrong trail. It, it, it doesn't it's usually not good. And then people started bringing up you, things that were openly admitted in the past. That I saw. And you flee out of the country in I, a hurry? I saw a troubling interview with the uh, Usher. Talking about when he was just a teenager and he oh, and he was go the parties. He, he ended up at one of the parties and 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 the time they're interviewing him, he's not ratting out P Diddy. Right. It's just they're interviewing about what he saw back when it happened. Right. I mean, not you know he was just reminiscing. These charges are not out at the time. Yeah. But yeah. now people are bringing that mm-hmm. interview. Going, well, listen, to what he's talking about right here. That don't sound good. And yeah. it didn't, and it didn't sound good by the mm-hmm. way. It was not sound mm-hmm. like there was some things going on. Mm. Now I don't know who have his day in court, but I, I don't think it looks good. No, you're right. When they show up and start packing stuff up, they usually know what they're looking for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the human Getting trafficking there. people, this is not like the local police that got called in there because it was too loud. Yeah. You know? No. And, and it won the allegations that he, there was video uh, that he would hold against others for mm-hmm. not. They, was some they wouldn't come out. Like, well, I got video. Now you, you come out and. and people it, are claiming it's an Epstein situation yeah, where yeah. there are tons That's of. Right. Uh, I was just about to say that. In camera. It sounds very Epstein like when you hear the charges, yeah. doesn't it? Yep. Or the allegations, I should say. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, we continue. Uh, let's go to uh, James. James, welcome to the show. Go ahead. Hey, good hey. morning. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, I heard on the the twenty dollars an hour, the owner of Panera Bread was a big contributor to the DNC. That that law, the twenty dollars an hour, doesn't apply if you make your own bread. So Panera. Subway, those places don't have to pay the twenty dollars an hour as fast food restaurants. They're basing on bread. Yeah. Now, uh, tell me this: Why would you, if if you really think everybody needs to be paid that, why do you exclude the people who are probably working harder making their own bread? I yeah. Guess, it could, maybe yeah. because of things like this. Yeah, I don't know. But did, did y'all notice? Now, do we know? We don't know if that's true. What Powell just threw out there. But right, well, did y'all notice his name was James, and he sounded like James, James Gregory? Gregory? I know he did. He, he did. He did. But you know what I'm saying? We can't report. There's a man of a thousand. I mean, voices. He may be right. Hmm? There's a man of a thousand voices have a James Gregory. I do. I just it's hidden. Is that all you're saying? Use a lot. It only, it only comes out. Well, you don't see James him. much. You no, said. no. Yeah. Miss James. I hope he's doing well. Yeah. Cindy is in Scottsboro, 1017. Cindy, go ahead. Yes, guys, I just wanted to let you know uh, you got me pulled over this morning um, listening to the Oyster Bunny story. I was laughing so hard. I wasn't paying attention. So I look up. I see the blue lights. I'm going like 68 and a 55. Not too bad, but I'm thinking, you know, he's got me. There's nothing I can do. Pull over. He rolls the window. I roll the window down. He's like, you know how fast you're going? I'm like, not really. I was listening to Rick and Bubba, and they were telling a great Biden clip story about him saying the Oyster Bunny. And so I give him the whole spiel about it. He starts laughing and then just gives me a warning. So yeah, yeah, how about that? Yeah. Hey, you're hey, welcome, Cindy. Hey, 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 you you know, I'm glad all of y'all get out of those tickets. I'm not. But, I don't know why. You're, you're a living example. You just got a fresh one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a fresh one, a new one. That's when you need to go, no, I am Bubba. <laughs> that's, me. Oh, that's me. That's me. I'm, a, I'm not listening to Rick and Bubba. I am Bubba. Mm. All right, we'll be back. We'll, we'll check anything we might have missed. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Uh, Also, don't forget, if you're missing any part of the show, grab those daily archives. They're on the podcast channel, and they're also on the YouTube channel. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
curtain. Look at that. Dude. Here comes the sun. Yeah, you might have to uh, dim that a little bit. How peaceful is it to look out that window, Rick, though, and see the oh, the, the trees yeah. way? Oh, yeah. Well, it's just like, you know, the snow was falling. We had the lights going. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it was just, I mean, it was a great it was a great deal to kick off Christmas. Uh, yeah. And like I say, today we'll put the tree up, and, and we'll be ready to go. We'll be rolling. Mm. Well, that's good. I wonder if they can see your, your house from the space station. <laughs> Probably. Griswold lights are up. We'll come back. We'll take your phone calls on anything you want to talk about. 866-WE-BE-BIG. You can join us, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, you, know, you can bring up any topic you want to. We'll work through whatever's on your mind. When the Rick and Bubba show continues, don't forget to shop for Christmas at rickandbubba.com. Click on the store. Great gift ideas for the Rick and Bubba fan on your list. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. The Rick and Bubba Show. Merry Christmas from all of us here at the Rick and Bubba Show. 12 working days of Christmas starts Thursday. Make a note of that. Will of Meat is yet to spin uh, this week as well. Speedy, uh, along with uh, Adler and Helmsy and Bubba at uh, the Broadcast Plaza and Teleport. Uh, Greg and I, we are in uh, COVID quarantine pandemic to you. Uh, getting tested today. You should know something in a couple of days. Um, uh, Greg waiting on some t- test results as well. So that'll all uh, play a role on how soon we return to the broadcast plaza and teleport to be with the rest of the guys. So uh, I did mention that he's already there, but I do want to bring back officially for the hour. There's Bill Bubba Bussy. Hey, buddy. Well, Rick, glad to be here. And thank all of you for being part of the Rick and Bubba family. Let me ask you, is the technical name of what y'all are doing contact tracing quarantine? Isn't that what we would call it? Uh, I guess no, so. If you've been yeah, close by. We were actually uh, uh, possibly exposed. Uh, well, isn't that I what mean, a contact tracer is? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think yes. so. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I guess contact tracing would be now everybody's been around me since I was possibly. Well, I mean, if you believe that that Boomer's test, which it was a rapid test, if you believe it was accurate, uh, and his girlfriend who he traveled with and uh, dropped her off to see her family in Atlanta, they both came down from New York City. They had tested before they left. They both were on two different rapid tests, negative, uh, but then attended a wedding in Atlanta. Uh, so if you think his test is accurate, even though he's having zero to, to minimum, uh, uh, you know, any, any kind of symptoms, uh, then I was exposed to it. So um, I, I don't think that's contact tracing. Wouldn't it extend beyond that for contact tracing? I don't know. I, I, think, you're, I think if you think you've been exposed to somebody with it and you're quarantining, like a lot of the players, that's how we're losing them yeah. in contact tracing. So I, I think that's how we've lost you and Greg. Mine's a little different because I have a person who has not been confirmed that they have it. They just have symptoms. And I was in the same room as that person. So until they're confirmed, then it does figure out what, you know, I'm supposed to, I have no symptoms of anything at this moment, but this person has had symptoms, but they just have, they're waiting on their results on whether they haven't, they've had a quick test. that was negative, but they said they want to do the other. Yeah. We're yeah. assuming we're assuming that you that it probably is may not be. Yeah, you may get the word you're all clear, but yeah, we are. Exactly. We are. We are. That's erring. the difference. We are erring on the side of caution. Yeah, <laughs> um, Rick's dealing with a confirmed result, you yeah. know, or if you believe the result, whatever. But I'm just got somebody with symptoms who are waiting on their results. Yeah, yeah, and no one at our house has showed any signs of anything yet, but uh, that doesn't mean anything. And I'll get tested today, and and when we get that test back, because I'm doing the more accurate long-term tests we'll we'll know on our end i am showing symptoms of christmas cheer Mm. yep (laughs) watch i'm full i'm full of christmas cheer well your lights are up rick yeah i love it so let's unpack this i got to get this out of my system and i know (laughs) y'all do here we go i'm just gonna turn my mic off (laughs) yeah first of all i want to say that i'm sure that sarah fuller and her family are wonderful people i don't know them Uh, i bear no ill will as a matter of fact I think where we're coming from is Team Rick and Bubba is actually out of great respect uh, for women's athletics because I don't believe this helps women's athletics, as we said yesterday, at all. I believe it has actually set uh, women's athletics back, and that is this stunt that Vanderbilt did where they brought in a female goalie even. You know, I know they kick a little bit, but but, uh, to pooch kick a kickoff and then now have been celebrating this, what they're calling historic. Hmm. Did I hear the word immortality, finding her way into immortality? Sarah Fuller and the winding road to two sport immortality. Hmm. Oh my gosh. There it is. Sorry, Rick. I read it right off of ESPN. Hmm. 
Uh, well, Max Kellerman probably wrote that. But the, uh, uh, Sarah Fuller sounds like she's a very good soccer player and uh, and is a great athlete. And I, I get. Here we go, nine minutes to the top of the hour, wrapping up another hour of the Rick and Bubba show today. Thank you for being with us as uh, we work our way back. Bubba, a special Big Bubba anniversary shout-out. Well, Rick, we do. We want to give a shout-out to Tracy and Travis Hughes. Happy the Hughes. Having an anniversary today. Tracy's one of our YouTube cornerstones, and oh, they've yes. done a great job yep. uh, uh, promoting the show and supporting the show over the years. 31 years. What? Two. Happy anniversary, baby. I got you on my mind. There you go. They've been married the entire time the show's been on there just about. Yep. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Bubba, we have other stories <laughs> to cover today. You were telling me we have the last living survivor that was on the USS Arizona yep. during the Pearl Harbor attack has gone on in. Yes, he died age 102. 102. He was actually on the Arizona that sunk. Wow. Uh, there's only about 20 people still alive that was at Pearl Harbor during the surprise attack that's still alive. Mm. Total. Mm. But he was actually on the Arizona. How about wow. that? So, and, and Greg, you've been watching some special about all that? Oh, yeah. Well, I love him. World War II specials. Yeah. There's a good one on Netflix. They got footage. It's unreal. Oh, really? the line. I mean, they got the Germans. They got everybody. What's it called? I don't know. Something about World War II. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Greg. That a boy. Um, that pretty much covers it. Yeah, thanks, babe. Appreciate that. There's been others like World War II in color. And oh all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I'll get locked in that. Smithsonian has a lot. But, of those did, on but Netflix got a good one on there right now. Okay. Um, so there. It'd be hard to beat the movie Tora Tora Tora. Yeah, Tora Tora Tora. Tora. Yeah. A good one. Hmm. So I know that we all keep wondering about the election coming up in November. What are the Democrats going to do? To be able to, as some people think, steal the election again, or do do anything. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you know, you you see they keep throwing disease pitches. You know, we, we oh, yeah. they're disappointed that that COVID has now just become a virus like anything else. That's disappointing them that the death rates are way down mm-hmm. and nobody's really terrified of it anymore. Yeah, they got they need something to bring drop boxes back. Yes. Yeah, and, and so then <laughs> they yes. right. Then they tried something that was out of Alaska and that didn't scare us. I did. Yeah. What no, was yeah. that one? Yeah, I forgot. The, some uh, uh, some um, uh, Alaskan death. Alaska yeah, called- pox. Uh, yeah, yeah there pox. you go. It, well, it had a pox in Some there. Some kind of pox. Uh, Snow crab we, pox. Yeah. We've gone back to an oldie but a goodie now. Yeah. Mad cow. Yeah, I haven't Is the mad cow back? Oh, I haven't yeah. seen it in, in a See, while. See, that's just only another version try, of the wasting disease for me. Only here. if you try to vote. Oh, okay. Yeah. Greg, this is what gets you a little scary. If you can get the mad cow disease momentum going, it kills 100% of the patients. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And there's no known reason or cure for it. Mm. So if you can get, if you can find one, it's and 100%. affects beef prices. It does. Yes, it, really it does. does. Boy, that market will sway, won't it? So we have a 55 year old woman, sadly, me too, uh, in Michigan that they say has died from mad cow like disease. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's 100 percent deadly. No one has, as Bubba said, a a cure or the cause. They don't know where it came from. The name of it, I cannot describe. Um, do you see that name? Those words, mm-hmm. I, I don't. Know, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Something Jacob disease. No, and there's a, there it is. a word we can't pronounce there. So, uh, but if you find one out there, if the Democrats can find one that's 100% deadly, they yeah. might you, you might yeah. you might get a Dropbox out of that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean they they're running out of time though. They're got to come up with something this summer, and it's yeah, hard to yeah. get anything spread during the summer. Yeah, you know, watch your six. <laughs> there's always the West Nile. And, uh-huh. and speaking yeah. of that, uh, this came across my Twitter feed just the other day. France ban- uh, banned mail-in voting in 1975 due to fraud. Mexico banned mail-in voting in 1992 due to fraud. Mexico. Belgium banned mail-in voting in 2018 due to fraud. Sweden does not permit mail-in voting. Italy does not. Ukraine does not. Russia does not permit mail-in voting. Japan does not. No Middle Eastern country permits mail-in voting. No Latin American country permits mail-in voting. Alt Adler checking in. There just, he is. Just I, checking in with And that. I bet That's none of them of celebrated anything Sunday other than Easter. <laughs> now, you're <laughs> right about That's that. So That's good stuff. Bubba, 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 it's happened again. We've mentioned the minimum wage disaster earlier. Oregon's Democrat governor has now signed lawmaking drug possession a crime again. Uh, after the <laughs> liberal laws that everybody you know, seemed to celebrate and love, Bubba, guess what happened when you just started legalizing drugs? Well, you right? had a bunch of druggies everywhere. You had a flood of street yeah. use and homelessness all across the state. No. So now Governor, governor Tina is reversing the 2020 
drug, uh, when they were going to decriminalize all drugs, uh, they said the results of that have not been positive. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. Next thing you're going to tell <laughs> me. Wait to... a minute. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Are you telling me, one, if the minimum wage goes up, food costs more? How'd that happen? Are you telling me if you let druggies run wild, the streets will turn into homelessness and disaster? How'd that happen? Uh, I mean, isn't this stuff kind of elementary? Yeah, the ability to You're hold that air squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's well, tough. You know, yeah. I've, been, I've been doing a little better. I don't know how to have it. Bubba, but these things. Rick, are... next up, defunding police. We realized that was about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they won't pay me $20 to deliver pizza? <laughs> <laughs> An hour? I don't have it. Uh, so, you know, because remember what everybody used to say about pizza. It's it's high profit. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. if the person delivering is getting $20 an hour. It's yeah. not. I tell you, if I was McDonald's, I'd start making my own bread in the back. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Something if they, they the bread. Hey, if they find that loophole, don't you think they won't? I'd be making There's it. several stories about it uh, today because we'd mentioned it earlier. Uh, Fortune magazine even did one. They're calling it uh, uh, that it's an, an unusual exemption to California's unusual. minimum wage law. Yeah. <laughs> so that is correct. It really is. I think they call it maybe it. Back to Oregon for a minute, Bubba. Fentanyl, deadly, deadly. Yes. Since they around since they put it on the decriminalized list, decriminalized. And, and made it like a parking ticket. <laughs> you know what the increase in uh, the the fentanyl related deaths were? I'm going to say 400 percent, 210 percent increase. Rick, yeah, I got to ask good. you, how'd that happen? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Oh no. <laughs> if people can get fentanyl, it might kill them. How'd that happen? <laughs> uh, so. Uh, it's, it's I think it's the finger swap. Yeah, it's, it's that's what it is for it me, is, for is. sure. <laughs> Y'all like the squat being that low? You want to bring it back no, up? No, 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 I like no. it low. I like it low. <laughs> I like it lower. Yeah, keep the eyes the way they it are. It makes too. me look more confused. It does. Yeah. Does it hurt your eyes to do that? Mm-mm, no. no. Do you feel dizzy at all when you come back up? I don't. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's a good sign. There was a time you couldn't pull that up? No. Yeah. There was a time I would have tried that and I'd been in the show. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody go beat him up. Be car washed Joe doing it. Who's going to get us to the break? <laughs> Somebody hit the button. <laughs> hit the button. Hit the button. How did that happen? How did that You can combine the two. Oh, yeah. Wait just a minute. Rick, Rick, Rick. You're telling me. You're telling me. <laughs> yeah, the problem is you, you couldn't hear Car Wash Joe, what he was saying. Uh, no, he fade out on fade you. Out. You remember when he would say things that felt, sounded like they were pretty important, too, and they'd fade out we couldn't hear them? You're like, huh? I tell you, when I look at the numbers, they don't do <laughs> And he's like, was that important? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right, of course, he died. Uh, thanks for being with us. You didn't have to say that. Well, I just tried to remember that. And I'm worried about Merle, too. Uh, all right, top of the hour, if you're leaving us... <laughs> Have a big day. Don't forget archives today on the Rick and Bubba podcast channel and our YouTube channel for any parts of the show you might have missed. We'll catch you on the next Rick and Bubba show. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba.